Twitch Yeah, hello, hello. does that thing where Twitch like takes 20 seconds to update, you yeah. know. And you yeah, talk about the void for a while. It gets a little embarrassing. Sometimes you threaten a, a chat that's not even your own. They're going to have a stroke because you accidentally <laughs> entered in the wrong stream key. It's cool, though. No, it'll <laughs> never happen a threat. Anyway. A threat is a threat, you know. And hey, it happens. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> it happens sometimes, you know, it's cool. It's fine. It's cool. It's, it's fine, oh, it's that's why cool. we have the cleanup I feel, goons. I feel I'm feeling very cool. That's good. I'm glad you feel cool. You know who doesn't feel cool, though? Who's that? Me. Yeah, you're really sick. <laughs> that's oh, no! J-Man. J-Man, J-Man's a champ for coming out. I, <laughs> I gotta oh. turn that off. He's very sick. Chat, send some, send some vibes for J-Man. Oh, Do some your them, J -Man. Them. Yeah. I can't handle that. So, yeah, we're back actually for the, um, for the first interlude. Now, I want to take a, take a hot second to describe what's happening coming up. So, this game is broken up into chapters and interludes. Chapters give the group and the players and you, the audience, a singular set objective to work towards that will generally be resolved within a period of four to five episodes. You saw chapter one, dealing with the mystery in the university, handling that monster and moving on. That was an example of a chapter. It tells a complete story start to finish. We are now in the interlude period. This is a period of time reserved for the players to both internalize their characters and also explore the city a bit more. It also gives everybody more time to explore the larger mysteries that might be out there in the city. Now, interludes have a second function. After chapters, players might find themselves a little wounded, and interludes are a great time to theoretically unwound thyself, which is why this session is going to be a little bit different. In fact, for most of the session, there will only be three players, as two of the other players are currently dealing with heavy wounds. Hospital! The, <laughs> hospital, hospital, baby! <laughs> um, what they went through last session, they did a great job of fighting the monster. It still took a huge toll on them. And we have to communicate that, so y'all know the stakes. Um, and I'd like to just really quickly stop and say, Zogo Bane of a lot, um, Drax, Mad Connor... And stupid savant, thank you all for the bits, subs, etc. You guys are the best. Also, thank, thank you, Red you. Shoes Jeff, for the hospital bits. Um, but yeah, that's that's the general format that we're going to take with the campaign, at least for the foreseeable future. So, we have some time to pursue larger mysteries and follow up on some earlier leads that were not possible during the chapter because of the constrained structure. Um... Meanwhile, everybody else has a chance to reattach their limbs that were unfortunately detached. Um, yeah. In addition, oh boy, there's a lot. There's a lot of new stuff this time. <laughs> there is a new version of the rules up on the Windrose Everlasting Patreon. Please go check it out. It's, it is refined heavily. Um, we eliminated a lot of uh, terms that were muddying the entire thing. Um, it uh it just it just reads and plays better. And if you don't want to sit down and read the rules, there's actually a tutorial video there now with fucking fantastic art by Mask. It's really nice. It was edited by Christian. Like it's it's we did a good on it. <laughs> um and what one more thing. We have these fun little mini RPs that you can check out on the Patreon too at the $9 tier that are just fun side things that happen in the city. So uh, if you want to subscribe at that tier, you can check those out. They're fun. They're good. Um, and uh, yeah, I I think it's I think it's time for everybody to rep whatever uh, whatever they got to rep. So I, I did I already shielded the Patreon more or less. Um, uh, I'm gonna start from the top. Christian, chill. 
All right. Well, <clears throat> I also have a Patreon. That's the one I use to support 13th God and also uh, just about everything else I do. Right now, it's mostly 13th God, though it'll also go to supporting the other projects I've been working on secretly behind the scenes. And yeah, I keep people generally updated on what's going on with that. I also offer, offer a few benefits, like making custom character types for the, the JoJo rule set I run, or just straight up offering sessions of 13th God edited out a little earlier than they would be released. Um, and yeah, if you'd really like the stuff I do and want to support me, please go check it out. I do really appreciate it, especially like in this current time. It's it's, it's very, very much appreciated. It's fucking excellent. Um, Brennan, do you want to do you want to shill anything or are you good? I've got nothing to shill. I just fought nice. all my kids to bed and I'm ready for Indigo. <laughs> nice. OK. Not the uh, uh, J-Man, do you want to rep a certain discord? Uh, hey, you know what exists? The official Stabiness fan discord, or sorry, Stabiness official discord. It exists on Discord. You can find links to fucking everything on there, including Christian's Patreon you just mentioned, and the Windrose Patreon that you can get all the mini RP stuff mentioned before, and a whole lot of other shit on there. You can even get some special Patreon access if you subscribe to the $9 tier on the Windrose Patreon. It's pretty cool. Go check that out. Nice work. Holy shit. Roma. Hi, I'm Roma, and I do art, and I have a Patreon where I post art, and you can see Indigo icons early, and you can get assets that I make and generics that I make, and I do live streams where you can give me things you want me to draw, and I'll draw them for you. But only once a month, and if it fits in an hour and a half, <laughs> time for you. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Siv? Wow! I got a Patreon. I barely use it. You can put the link there if you want. I'm gonna try and use it more. I would appreciate it more if you just donated or supported the Windrose Patreon because oh. that's that's the good thing. That's the good one. And also tomorrow at uh, 3 p.m. EST, I believe that's what the time is for most of you people who don't live where I live. We have Evan Ward <laughs> again. It's back again. So, it's really good yeah, posting. check it out over on twitch.tv forward slash surprise round RPG. And That's it. Excellent. And I, uh, I promised in their place, uh, Heart has a Patreon. And you can see actually some future, uh, some future Indigo icons on it. Um, <laughs> go check it out. They, they do good work. Go support them. And finally, <laughs> Mask. Hi, I'm Wandering Mask. You can check me out over on, uh, we're trying out a new thing on twitch.tv slash homebrewed. There's an E in home and no E in brood. No E's in brood. And, uh, you can support me by throwing me a few bucks and I'll draw you a dragon based on a word over on my Kofi. That's, uh, Kofi slash Christopher King. Thank you very Excellent. much. Excellent. Okay. A most efficient way of handling the shells. Excellent work. It's 8.05, let's just hop right into it. Yes. Oh, so, no. there is something new that I would like to share with you guys. Starting with this session, we believed this was important. Yes! There it is! Oh. Calendars. A calendar to mark the passage of time. Now, the first... This, this was the day you fought the creature. It was the night you fought the creature, and it, this was the morning you fought the creature. That was an all-night affair. On the second day, you guys all woke up in various states of disrepair and greeted Teach at her brand new club. Now, you'd assume we'd pick up immediately after that. Not so, actually. The third day has also been completed. We are now on the fourth day of Ephigia. I'm gonna be real. Day three, entirely paperwork, entirely writing. It was very boring. Mm -hmm. We don't need to show that one. <laughs> um, but yes, we are We are currently on the day five, four. So keep that in mind, everybody. And as this campaign progresses, we'll be moving through the days pretty efficiently. Now you might note, one of these days is a little, it's, it's coloring a little differently. <laughs> That is because we have a holiday coming up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh boy. We, we have the Day of Veils. It's Ephigia's holiday, and it is most analogous to Valentine's Day. It is, it is a day of 
romance, love, partnership, all all forms that positive feelings take towards other people. It is it is the day that the shadows are their smallest in the year, and it is one of the most widely celebrated holidays within the city. You guys should consider who you're going to talk to that day, because there are there are special events, and it has a special significance to form a bond with someone on the Day of Veils. However, I don't want you to panic about this too much, because this is your very first holiday event within the game. I will spoil one thing about this campaign for you. It This one is set very early so that you don't get your heart set on one NPC, and, like, if it was at the midpoint, you'd be... You'd be encouraged to, like, I don't know, like, stick to that one NPC forever. Throw it to whoever you want this time, whoever you think is interesting, etc. Because this is the holiday that will happen again within this campaign. So, you will have a second shot at this one. So, do not worry your heads now. Go with whatever your gut says and uh, ask someone out for the Day of Ales. It's so, like in Harvest Moon. Yes. Where you have the spring harvest or the spring Thanksgiving festival where you give chocolate to boys, and then yes. the winter Thanksgiving festival where you get chocolate from girl. <laughs> yeah, so consider consider not where you are starting off too much, uh, and then there will be the final harvest moon date sequence at the <laughs> end <laughs> as the final holiday. Um, That's so, scary. <laughs> with that being said we are picking up on the morning of 5-4 in the abode of a one Beretta Pietro oh boy yeah you're up yeah. first so Beretta it's it's been some days at this point. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, time time has snuck on by past you, and girls' night did come to a close at some point. She's still in the bathroom. Did <laughs> Someone has yet to go home. <laughs> she has been here for the the school was closed yesterday. Is the big thing. Um, well, as so, long as she didn't miss school. Yeah, nobody missed school yesterday. Uh, the school, furthermore, was closed today. They've got a lot of paperwork to do. Um, <laughs> presumably, it is not closed for teach. Unfortunately, the one carrying the burden of all this paperwork. But uh, for you students, there hasn't been school. As a result, Noctua has not left your house <laughs> since. Has she left the bathroom at least? Yeah, she has a few times. She's a slug fuck <laughs> on the side of your sink. <laughs> um, father, is Noctua still here? Uh, let me check. Hey! <laughs> Very muffled compared to his own voice. Yes, hello. Uh, yep. Yeah. No, she's still here. Oh, good. Uh, Beretta's going to walk over to the bathroom door and put down a, uh, a little sack of croissants that she got on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> the door opens. She makes eye contact with you. The croissants slide inside the room and then the door closes again. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was my chance. <laughs> I mean, you can always knock again. It's our house. Yeah, but... It'd be rude to barge in on somebody in the bathroom, no matter if they're living in there or not. <laughs> <laughs> my my manners might not be what they normally are, but even I know that's forbidden. <laughs> Honey, uh, daughter, dearest, you might be ta you might you might be taking a little too much after your mother. <laughs> Let's just open the door and ask what's going on, okay? I think I have a feeling. I can be the rude one. <laughs> he he knocks on the door. Hello? 
God, now that I'm doing this, I'm nervous. See? It's not as easy as you thought. <laughs> no, it's really, it's really not. He slowly raps on the bathroom door. She walks over. There's a croissant sticking out of her mouth. Okay, you're up! <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Noctua was shy, Father, so if you wouldn't mind, would you mind going to the pool for a moment? I, 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 not at all! <laughs> Good luck! He runs <laughs> off. <laughs> Man, that was awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Goes out, dunks his head in the pool. <laughs> That's not how you're supposed to use it. You gotta watch the horn. She, uh, Noctua looks you up and down and slowly chews on the croissant. How you feeling, Nocti? <laughs> hmm... Oh, Nocti. That's actually a very nice nickname. Where have I heard that before? <laughs> she stops and thinks. <laughs> and then her eyes widen for a second. I haven't talked to Poplar in days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, about that. So when I realized that you were staying in my bathroom of all places for the past mm -hmm. couple of days, <laughs> I uh, at first I was concerned. And then I thought about it a little bit more. And I think I understand you a little bit better now. <laughs> she stops and thinks about that. How so? I think that above everything else, you are not a snitch. <laughs> <laughs> she blinks a few times. Hmm. That constitutes something of a problem for me because I am quite literally expected to be a snitch. Hmm. Yeah, I I apologize. I guess I have to apologize for putting you in the situation where you either go home and do your job or you snitch on... Uh, would you consider me a friend? I'm going to roll to die for her really quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blue. Oh, shit. Hold on. Let me just... Uh, yeah. She's gonna, she, she stops, she looks at something that's clutched to her chest, and then she, she actually raises and slowly lowers her head, extremely cautiously. <laughs> well, um, I, like I said, I just feel awful putting you in this situation, and believe it or not, I am actually a bit familiar with Atreus at this point, and I wouldn't mind doing the talking for you if it would make your life easier. <laughs> she, <laughs> her head kind of retracts. Hmm. It would make everything easier for me. Do you know what you're getting into, though? Uh, no, not at all, but <laughs> <laughs> these are the things you do for people you care about. <laughs> She, she, uh, she, she sort of clutches the diary to her chest again and then tentatively steps out of the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> it, would, it would make my life a lot easier, but at the same time, how do I put this? She stops and thinks for a second. It would be, hmm, I'm in a tough position because if I report the truth of what happened that night... I myself am at risk, but if I also lie, I'm not doing my job, and that also puts me at risk. So you answering for me would make my life a lot easier, but at the same time, it would be like you taking my life into your hands. <laughs> this, <laughs> Beretta, this rings. This sounds familiar, actually. <laughs> well, um, I completely understand if you don't trust me with that. That would no, be a no. lot to ask of you. She shakes her head. It's not necessarily a matter of trust. I'm more or less in danger no matter what. And I'm more likely to trust someone who has allowed me to live in their bathroom for the last few days. <laughs> oh, this happens often. Mm, thinks about lying. Yes. <laughs> she is <laughs> lying to you. <laughs> well... I'm going to do my best to make sure that you are neither a liar or a snitch. <laughs> but if I'm going to talk to Atreus, he's uh, quite imposing. Okay, yeah. Um, and I'm not 
actually in the best of shape. So we might need to make a little field trip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna cut you ahead really quick right now. Hold on, wait, 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 before oh, you yeah. do, before you do. Okay, okay. Uh, follow me real quick. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh, you doing it? <laughs> <laughs> um, she uh, opens her closet door and grabs a cowboy hat. By the way, <laughs> um, sometimes at night I am in a gang and I like <laughs> a blinks as a fucking avalanche of hats rains. <laughs> you get your automatic bond up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I think I'll save that uh, critical roll for later. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. Now I will cut you ahead to you know where. You know the place. <laughs> That's Mosey, little miss. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love her. <laughs> oh, <Chad>. Holy shit. <laughs> we. Oh boy, I gotta make sure the map is clean. Hold on. <laughs> Two seconds, I should have known. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I gotta make plays. I gotta have plays ready, and I gotta execute on play. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Never oh, stop oh, making plays. Okay. Yes. These are not break sessions. <laughs> <laughs> there is no filler. Sessions. <laughs> okay. Here you go. <laughs> you two arrive oh, on boy. campus. You borderline have to sneak in. Places like places closed. Dorm students can still get in, but neither of you is a you know dorm student. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, if you don't mind, I feel a bit more comfortable here. Why don't you pull up a chair and okay. we'll dial up Atreus on the cell phone. Oh <laughs> Beretta, you sit down and um, you uh, give Atreus a call. <laughs> You uh you take you take a second dialing and you're just you're both sitting there. Noctua doesn't betray much of her own expression, but you can tell she's actually kind of nervous about this one. <laughs> <laughs> so is Beretta, but she's not showing it. <laughs> yeah, the phone the phone rings a few times and you hear a click. You've reached uh, the office of Admiral Atreus, Admir acting admiral of the Gyalardian fleet stationed in Indigo. Well, howdy, Atreus. It's uh, <laughs> the Stampede King we met a couple of days ago. Ah, indeed. Have you well any further oh, information to discuss? <laughs> um, something like that. <laughs> um, I must say that I have found myself quite smitten with your daughter. The <laughs> line <laughs> goes dead. You're not sure if you've lost the connection. <laughs> now to his doinker six straight up. <laughs> Are you speaking of Miss Normalson? <laughs> yes, normal Normalson, that's what we're gonna call her now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, um, I'm going to tell you straight up. We've met, and um, she's actually come into some information that might be of interest to you. Well, if you're as close as you say, <laughs> you should know that that's her, that is, in fact, her purpose there. Of course. Just fidgeting like fucking yeah. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and because I'm familiar with her purpose, um, I, I have to say I put her in a bit of an awkward position where she'd either be putting me in danger or not doing her job. So what I figured is I'd cut out the middleman and talk to you myself. I see. So, my gang has been uh, investigating one of the happenings in the city. I'm not sure if you're familiar with it. 
I, I'll assume we both mean events taking place at the university. Yeah, university's haunted. <laughs> you hear a pen scratch? <laughs> yeah, so um, there seemed to be some sort of a ghost creature that was haunting the campus a couple of days ago, and me and my gang took care of it. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. As I recall, you requested Miss Normalson's help through me. Now, interesting that she should be in a position to put you in danger. One would think that in your particular line of work, you would be accustomed to handling danger yourself without bringing others in. Are you sure, certain this is the uh. route down which you intend to travel? <laughs> <laughs> Bretta, uh, do me a favor, roll to die. Uh, good, I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> yeah, with your going to the gazebo with your two dice oh, oh, that'll work <laughs> <laughs> that'll work great you you feel that you feel those words hit you are you sure this is a road you wish to travel and you feel your resolve buckle for a second but holy shit you are in the gazebo your dc <laughs> was a 10 you fucking beat it even i didn't even the need the gazebo <laughs> crazy oh <laughs> well uh, i'll be honest with you i'm used to a different kind of danger than this political danger but i'd like to propose some sort of alliance. <laughs> we won't speak any more over this line. I'd like to see you in my office. Both of you. <laughs> the phone goes dead. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, you feel like you maybe did good? There's some, like, building palpable dread in your stomach. But... Fuck, you got out of this situation. She seems largely distracted. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, how, you how are you feeling, Noctua? Uh, good, good. I'm doing good. Um, let's, let's go. Why Robotically not? starts to walk over. <laughs> you can, you can, like, okay, she walks ahead, fidgeting, looks back at you occasionally. You guys go to the Gylardian fleet. <laughs> holy shit okay uh, we we are gonna hop to another character because uh holy shit but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god um you in it okay let's um hold on i'll uh i'll i'll get over to you really quick okay i so. really like this picture of mala <laughs> yeah Something yeah. about her face just makes me go, Haha, that's Mallow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Cassius. Me? Yes. Cassius. It's, um, it's, it's been, it's been a bit since you, you were wounded. You've been, um. Been a day. Yeah. You've been trying to. You've been trying to rest, but, you know, it's you. <laughs> Staying occupied is also kind of important to you. Um, so, walking on a crutch. <clears throat> Cassius is walking on a crutch currently. Dodge has his arm in a sling. You both aren't doing too great. But you're oh. sort of... <sighs> you met up to enact a, a plan you'd honestly had for a bit, and what time better than the present to work on it now you texted frelia from the church and uh started to get to work about actually turning this overgrown district into a sort of a community garden dodge is like dodge is like poking around at the ground okay this will be a little annoying because um there's like road under this still a lot of this um i don't know I don't know exactly how they came through. If it's just cobblestone, I think we can rip it all out. But, like, I've I've never grown anything on ground like this before. Um, 
What were you thinking? He takes a step back. Like what kind of plants I wanted to plant? Yeah, uh, yeah, plants, shape, like, what's, what's your image for this place? He, like, he looks, he looks around. Well, I want it to be somewhere people can come together, and onions are very useful. Oh, onions, okay. Um, he's, like, he's digging around, you're both, like, <laughs> it kind of sucks. Like, you both take a step forward to, like, take a look at the ground around here, but you both have arm injuries, and bending down sucks, and just... Yeah, it's like, like Cassius can only bend over so much without threatening to, like, rip the stitches, so he's like... Mm. Yeah, <laughs> they both have kind of a pained expression, and there's, like, there's a second of silence. Um, thanks for trying so hard to save me the other night. I'm, oh. uh, kind of embarrassed. He... Scratches the back of his neck, hangs his oh, head a little bit. Also scratching the back of his <laughs> neck, embarrassed. Like, it's... I... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, uh... I was supposed to be, like, the... Like, I did bodyguard work for a bit, and I was... <sighs> I'm, I'm just frustrated with myself. Like, this is the part where I'd normally get mad and swing my sword a bunch, but I can't even do that right now, so... I just, um... I guess I want to help where I can, but I don't. Yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for talking about the farm thing. Um, this is something I can do. Like, oh boy, <laughs> he, he looks around. I um, I uh, I went to sleep for a while actually, and um, when I when I woke up, like uh, it's it's kind of what we do. He like pokes at his uh moth doinkers, um. We, we go through a big, long sleep, and uh, when we wake up, we're sort of, like, different as people. Um, I went through a big, long sleep in my village, and uh, village moved out while I wasn't looking. So, farming is sort of what I'm used to. Uh, but, like, getting a farm started, that's something new. I just lived off the supplies that we had. I... I'm... I'm sorry, <laughs> question mark, that your whole village left while you were sleeping. No, I, kind no. <laughs> of, I kind of relate to that. <laughs> he he smiles at that. Yeah, um, I, I thought you might. Uh, it, uh, it, it's not too bad. It, it happens in this part of the country. I just, I guess, do you still, like, remember them and stuff? Oh, yeah, of course. No, we keep up. Lots that's are in the city, good. actually, which is why I wanted to come here. Well, that's good. Okay, Most that's of them good. came to the city, actually. He stops and thinks. I, I was just a little insistent on staying staying back in the village, but, like, I, I don't know. It, it, it got to be a little bit too much. Um, sort of kicks at the ground around here. Okay, this might work, actually. Um, and then you, you hear somebody approaching from behind. Hey! Huh? Oh. <laughs> uh, and a, uh, a group of people actually approaches. They seem to be, like, mostly out-of-towners. You could tell sort of at a glance. Um, uh, like, this lady waves you down. Hey, um, are you Cassius? Yes. Cool. Uh, we're from the Farmer's Guild. Church sent us over. Oh, nice. Okay. We were just trying to figure out which of the which parts of the ground here are usable. Oh, you're starting something in here. Okay, that's why she called us over. Uh, this this woman walks up and starts, like, looking at the ground. Yeah, this is, this'll work, but, like, I think there might be sewer lines below here. Uh, come on, over here. She, like, leads you I'm over in this direction. Hobbling <laughs> on his crutch. She doesn't seem to, like, Dodge sort of reaches out a hand to try to, like, uh, <laughs> neither of you is in good shape. She doesn't notice. She scoots over to this area. Okay. Yeah, no, you got stones over here, but you can rip them up nice and easy. Um, she, like, she prods the ground with her foot. Yeah, um, most of, most of this community garden stuff doesn't really work out because city folk don't necessarily know how to make something like this, but, um, based on the orders you guys put in, she looks down at a piece of paper. You might actually know what's going on. Dodge Embarrassed, like, looks down as well. Yeah, um, we put a little bit of thought into this. Hmm. Cassie's does a thumbs up. Nice work. 
can't go wrong with onions and gourds. <laughs> Dutch <Yes. smiles. laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get more people over here. Try to try to get working on it. Um, we mostly like we mostly try to trade with people here, but like a good like ten to twenty percent of it goes to the church anyway. So like, I don't know. I feel like uh, we're we're already donating on that side of town. Might as well help this side of town too. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, and you you hear you hear another noise of someone approaching. Oh, oh. <laughs> howdy, Ballard! <laughs> oh. Howdy, oh. Arms and Misses! You see Cassie? He's like, oh, hi. and then you see him realize exactly who just walked up, and he's like, oh, um, hello, Mister, S- hello, Mister um, Sparky. That's me. <laughs> He extends a flaming hand. What? <laughs> I've been sent yes. here to help! Points the hand with fire! <laughs> Cassius, you can see, like, he puts his hand on his uh, over his mouth and he, like, looks down to the ink. He's like, did, um, did, did Frelia send you over here? That's the one! She's a nice lady who works at the church, right? Yes. That's oh, her? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, there's a lot she of crap to clear out. I could some brush for you fellas. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe and we should- And I was all, well, part, polish my chandelier and call me debutante. If that ain't just the chance pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. huh. I like this should... one. Yeah, he's, um, he's very good at burning things. Cool. Uh, you use... Benedict Thor- third. Sparky to most folks. Yeah, nice to meet you. You use, you use some of that magic fire? Yeah, lots of it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Good. Basically, that, uh, all the time. That's great. It's doesn't of a problem. Doesn't leave. Doesn't leave. Frustrating. Like I don't know. I don't know what you call it. A uh, chemical ashes. Gross stuff. Oh, no way. No how. You want me to get her out done? I I can be foom and then and then. There's not. Uh, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> maybe we should. Um, maybe we should section parts off so that the whole overgrown district doesn't. You know, catch on fire. Oh, heck, okay, don't you worry, we... none. Once I get her going, there ain't nothing that a fire can do that'll surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll clear out over here. She waves you off. The the people from the Farmer's Guild actually set to work over here. Uh, Dodge like looks back at you, Cassius. They are passionate, I guess, if nothing else. Yeah, I wish I could help more. Maybe when my stitches heal up. Oh, Jesus, Sparky's catching things on fire already. <laughs> uh, Dodge looks over at you, and um, actually, a character not present in this, in this scene is going to trigger one of their consumable gifts. Arch is going to trigger her worried about Cassius gift, and is going to portal teach into the scene. <laughs> as, as Cassius is currently doing something that, like, he is he is working to set up a garden, and no matter what, this is not him being in bed resting. So <laughs> the context of this gift triggering is you get, you get a text teach that says, Go find Cassius, and if he isn't in bed, put him there. <laughs> <laughs> Had to put you to rest, bub. And, uh, yeah, Teach, you walk upon this scene. Teach kind of stumbles over, oh, looking around. I didn't mean to tell the... <laughs> uh, she kind of notices the act, like fire starting and she's a little concerned at first she doesn't know what's going on and she's about to like walk over to like you know deal with that and she stops right in front of Cassie's and like there you are she kind of moves up <laughs> oh hey teach do you need something hey. yeah I need you to go get some rest bud <laughs> You see, like he's like he's like excited. To, he's like excited to see you, and you say that, and you see his face like droop. <laughs> I see that droop. Spotted. Come on, come on. Look, look you, it's only been a day, buddy. You can walk, and that's fantastic. But you, you no, got not, both I'm of not, you. Honestly, Dodge. What? You still got a broken arm. It's not, not a broken, broken arm. arm. It's a f- it's yeah. it's it's a few twisted up fingers. I just can't use the arm. I'm actually good to spectate this. I'm less bad than motions with that. It looks like he's about to you be like, I'm that. just standing here. I'm just standing here, like defend himself, and then Dodge throws him under the bush. Yeah. And then and then Teach like goes up. 
even he admits you're not looking too hot, Daffy. <laughs> Dodge mouthing, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of like goes up closer and like <sighs> uh, oh. <laughs> she kind of like oh, hang on, I can we move over here? It's getting hot. Yeah, yeah, oh, <laughs> she kind of like moves back and it's like, yeah, no, I mean for forget for for dodge over see look at this cassius <laughs> <laughs> well, dodge and me have a bit of a thing with our arms right now and but but this is this is you're gonna make you're gonna make me cry cassius stop it's, uh, fun. it's really no, fun it's not it's just... not fine cassius <laughs> you got you've earned a break <laughs> <laughs> Why would you want to run off here yourself? I I mean there are I just wanted to make sure things cuz people were coming I I just Yeah, but hey, Dodge over here is well, I mean, he can handle it, right? Dodge Dodge looks at looks between the two of you and then makes a stern tactical decision. Yes, I can. And then he looks over at Cassius and just whispers Listen, if if I don't throw you under the bus, we're both getting grounded. I'm sorry. <laughs> you, see, uh, you see a face of betrayal, but also, and he's just like, he like makes a face of touch, like, oh, and then he's like, he like sucks it up. And he's like, you're right. <laughs> then neither of us is building this garden. I'm so sorry. <laughs> he gives what? you he gives you a look reserved specifically for like that moment in a war movie where one person reaches out to the other and goes, "I'll come back for you." <laughs> Bye. Uh, teach teach like oh, wait, what are you both doing here? Um well, we were just trying to assess the ground that we're going to use for the community garden. Oh. <laughs> uh, There's a lot of ground that's being made very fast. Um, the lady in the hat is fucking cheering. Yeah. Uh, so oh you see, the, farmer, the farmer's guild is going to help tear up the stones. We were just simply managing and, you, you know, keeping hey, things... Hey, that's... That's, that's good. Order. But, so that Sparky doesn't burn down the whole abandoned district and all the buildings here that we could well, use. He waves. <laughs> uh, he kind of teach waves back. Look, I, I have a feeling that Sparky's got this covered. Cassius, I'm gonna ask you right now. What, what would you do if that fire started spreading in this case? You see him go to open his mouth, realize that what he's about to say is gonna get him in trouble. <laughs> By <laughs> not speaking, you've gotten yourself in trouble anyways, and she kind of like narrows her eyebrows down a bit. He holds his finger up. Um, maybe, maybe call Garm. <sighs> uh, she kind of like Garm is very busy right now. Actually, he's doing paperwork with me, uh, and oh. and that's yeah. Uh, I I was gonna wait to talk about this before this, but I think it's pretty topical. Um, I need you both to get some rest because I might need to, I might need your help in a few days. Oh? Yeah. Um, Cassius, you're, 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 you're like Indigo, right? You're a big I'm... fan of the community, right? Yes. Yeah. And, well, I am too. We're, we're working on some stuff. I talked about it a little bit, but we're opening up the university to getting a trade school. And with the goal of hopefully teaching a lot more people in the city to help themselves. And you... you see Cassius' seem... eyes light up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you and Dodge over here seem to have some cool skills that would be helpful for that, and we need people to help teach, basically. Are and you trying to hire us to become teachers? Yes, I am trying to do that. Um, and I... Let's... let's, let's uh, she kind of like... We hello there. She notices her approaching. <laughs> she overheard your conversation. You looking for farming instructors? Absolutely. She goes over and immediately switches over for a moment. We're looking for people to help assist with farming. We're looking for a lot of different trades. Hot uh, shit. She reaches out a hand and grabs Cassie's <laughs> shoulder and holds him so. <laughs> If you'd like to, uh, if you'd like, you can uh, go to the university. Currently, we're beginning hiring on. Tell them uh, Martha Teach sent you, and 
you should be able to get in pretty easily. Nice! Need the paperwork. Yeah. She runs uh, back and starts discussing this immediately with the yeah. elders. And she Cassie's turns back again. to dodge, immediately gets his collar grab, stops moving. <laughs> and then she turns around, all smiles again. Okay, Cassius, listen. I need both of you to get some rest because I think we've still got a long time working together. And also, um, she kind of like reaches uh, into her coat a little bit uh, and pulls out uh, some bowl and uh, hands it on over to Cassius. I got an advance to help pay for the track contract that you guys gave. So I told you, told you, I find money solutions. She hands you (laughs) some of her salary. Um, (laughs) Oh, (laughs) teach! Cassius Cassius does not know what is happening and just thinks that you're paying him. (laughs) Oh, I'll hand this over to Cal Cabrina on my way home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she uh, she hands it over. So, I'm going to need you both to get rest if you can, because, well, you guys, you guys did a lot. And honestly, I'm a bit worried. And I don't think I'm the only one, okay? You need to get some rest. The city's really busy. And right now, it's... I think this is the one opportunity where you could get some rest. So please take it. To be honest, it's been a little bit hard to rest. Yeah? I just haven't been able to get much sleep. Oh. She kind of stops a bit. Mm. I'm sorry about that. It's, uh, uh, you know, looks at Dodge. I, some stuff happened, and mm. it's, uh, when I lay down to sleep, I can't think about anything else. Ah. Uh, uh buddy she kind of like lightens up just like kind of slacks a bit yeah i know what that's like and well usually what you want to do is be active tire yourself out so you can your body wants to go to sleep i can understand it's really hard right now if you can't do that but uh mm, she thinks a bit Mm. well I could give you something to do that's not as physical. If you want to advance on some of that paperwork, that'll be something you could take a look at. Oh, yeah, I can fill out some paperwork. Mm. The important thing is that you rest and sit down and don't push yourself too hard, okay? And, uh, I mean, I could... I could if sleep, is sleeping always a problem, or is it just now? Well, I don't... I don't normally have problems sleeping. I sleep pretty regularly, but I don't know. It's, it's, I, he like keeps flickering his eyes between the two of you. (laughs) Like he wants to say something, but doesn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. (laughs) She's kind of like, hold on. goes down a bit. Let me, uh, let me, let me do something really quick. Okay. Uh, Dodge, uh, Dodge actually sees, sees that for a second and then goes, I'm going to go check up on the farmers. Be right back. Okay. Okay. Uh, she kind of looks. Everything okay? Beyond physical? Um. He, like, looks at you and he's like, I worry about talking about it because you seem pretty, um, pretty close with that guy. Mm, she kind of like, hmm. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, about that. Mm. Um, I've, uh, I, I talked a little bit. I got caught up a little bit on what was going on with that. Hey, you don't, don't worry about it, okay? It's you can, you really, can talk to me. Um, it's really hard not to worry about it. Um, I, I was kind of waiting for the situation to be over so that I could kind of try and, like, sit down and, like, work myself through all the stuff that happened, but trying to think about it is really hard. Okay, that's fair. Um, It can take some time with those things, and you've, well, it seems like you've been through a lot. I also, um, I was telling Dodge about it, and I was telling Arch about it. And mm-hmm. something really weird happened. Mm-hmm. Um, I was telling Arch what was happening, and then suddenly she started freaking out about how she could finally see the monster. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Why? I don't understand how that works. Huh. And I feel like they could see something I couldn't, just like how we could see it and they couldn't. Mm. She kind of like scratches her chin a bit. That is pretty weird. I can um, understand that being kind of frightening. I actually had a theory, if it's okay. I wanted to... I was wondering if maybe it's people who can't see the monster can see something else. Whew. That's... That's kind of worrying. Would it ah. be okay if I tried to explain it to you? Yeah, sure. Let's, uh, let's move a bit over here. I'm still very hot right now. <laughs> she, she moves over away you from... to hold your coat? Uh, no, I think I'm fine. Let's yeah, just, she let's says just... with only one arm because he has a crutch. Yeah, yeah, she's like, she's not, she's not going for that one. Let's, let's just kind of like move off here. <laughs> nice heat wall. She walks slowly so that she's going at the same pace as you. She doesn't, like, try to outpace you or make you feel like you're slow. This metal burns great! <laughs> yeah. Both Cassius and Teach wince. Yeah. Teach just kind of leans up against the wall with you. Okay. Shoot away. What is it? So, when we were at the, um... When we... When we were at the auditorium, um, I wasn't really thinking, right? Like, normally I can see the world and I pick up, you know, I'm a detective, I pick up clues, I use the information I have. It was like, no matter how much I, how much I could see and how much information I got, I couldn't, I couldn't, like, use it. And mm. then when we walked in, I was... I was worried that there was something behind the curtain, and as soon as we got close, it just grabbed Dodge from behind there and pulled him back there. And he hit the wall and fell unconscious. And as I, as Cassius is saying this, Teach, you, your sensitivity starts picking it up, and rather than hearing it, you start to see it. Ah. Uh -huh. And he and... starts explaining, and he gets to the part where he's like, "And as soon as it grabbed me." Um, tear came out from behind the curtains. Oh no, she's gonna see you can stab this she? Oh fuck. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Teach, um, roll to die for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oof. Mmm, what are you locking in off of that, bud? Ah, <laughs> uh, we're gonna lock in. You know what? Hmm. Oh gosh, that's hard. Can't have yellow's obviously gone, which is fine. I don't want that yeah. one anyways. Uh Are you gonna get mad at this? You gonna red stat at this? You're gonna get mad at me? <laughs> no, I'm gonna blue. I'm gonna okay. fail it, but we're gonna blue. Teach take four damage. Um okay. you witness this scene play out and you recognize a face that is so different from the one you should remember. Maybe it's distorted by the memory. Maybe it's distorted by the tale, but that is not the tear you know. And, um... Cassius is just gonna kind of keep explaining, and he's, he's trying to gauge your, <laughs> your reaction. He's hoping that you'll kind of, like, react so he knows to stop if you're getting uncomfortable. Mm, but... Geez. Yeah. He isn't he can't he can't tell the same way you guys can. Mm -hmm. So yeah. he's just gonna kind of keep going and he's like, and he was trying to stop me from picking up Dodge, so I went around and he tried to hit me, and then we were kind of arguing, and then um and then he I got hit. And it was like I stopped being able to, you know, before I couldn't use the information I was getting, it was like I wasn't able to even it, take in information after that. And mm -hmm. I couldn't really focus. And all I could see was him pick up Dodge. And I guess I just didn't really understand that he was trying to help me. Uh-huh. And yeah. so I hit him. I see that. 
and then Cassius is just kind of going to go through and explain, like, you know, Tyr got really upset and started provoking him. Mm-hmm. You know, he started moving Dodge around. I think he was trying to provoke me because I think I upset him. And I wasn't thinking clear enough. He tried to, he made some kind of offer to me, but I wasn't aware. I don't really understand what it meant. Mm-hmm. But I swung at him again and in the process, I just impaled myself on his sword. Oh. Hmm. She kind of stops for a moment, takes a few breaths herself, and just kind of tries to keep calm and thinking about Cassius in this case, and she reaches out to him and is like, and what's the part that scares you the most? I... I've never hit someone before. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I that just don't really I made don't, you feel feel worried. There's a couple yeah. of things that happened in that moment. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I remembered something. Mm-hmm. Um, I I've never seen him before, but I know exactly who he is because I think I used to know him. You suffering from some sort of memory loss? I have amnesia. Oh. Hmm. And you think you recognized Tyr, then? Well, more like I know I I know I knew him. Hmm. Teach tries to rack her memory and is like, did I know Cassius? No, he probably <laughs> never told me no. about that. Huh. Doesn't really, doesn't ring any yeah. bells. You, you Even if I heard, heard of it, him. It, yeah, yeah, probably just maybe. shuffled off into a cabinet. It's only like a side mention. Hey, Teach, can you roll to die again? Yeah. Stop killing my mom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a better blue. Mm-hmm. Teach something. You realize something in the middle of this. As you're getting caught up, that is a, that is a high enough roll. As you're mm-hmm. getting caught up and you feel this sensation. This is not what you came here to do. In fact, you are failing at what you came here to do. Yeah. Uh, and she... Cassius, Cassius is like, <laughs> he's like trying to like get this information out to you. Yeah. You can tell that he is really fucked up about it. Like mm-hmm. you're, and you're which, yeah. so you can feel the like yeah. extreme amount of emotion that he's holding mm-hmm. about this. And teach ends up stopping for that moment and she kind of clears her throat slightly <clears throat> ah she kind of like goes pats you on the shoulder very lightly making sure not to actually like touch an injured spot and she's like ah, yeah you've got a lot going on right now i can understand how that could hurt um I guess hey it's just kind of weird because well, I've never met somebody who knew me before two hmm. days ago and then suddenly like a bunch of people showed up like oh i knew yeah. who you were and, and I don't understand. And hey, hey. Uh, she kind of like, just kind of, look. Hmm. I can understand. That's probably a pretty wild experience. But you're still injured. You've got a lot to think about. And you know, I'm going to tell you right now, sometimes processing things, sometimes it's best to actually let yourself heal a bit before you face it. You're definitely not someone who's going to shirk away from it, Cassius. I know you like to face your problems head on. But really, get some rest. You want to do something? I can get you a book, or I could do something else. Like, if you, if you need any help staying distracted or entertained, maybe taking some time for yourself would be a very good thing. Helps you relax a bit. You can tackle it one thing at a time, you know? I, I guess it's just hard not to focus on it hmm. when I'm just sitting in my house doing nothing. Yeah. I'll tell you what. You can move, right? Yeah. You should really go home and get some rest. Though, I mean, if you tried maybe stopping by and seeing something on the way that's entertaining, maybe take some take a break, do something like that. Get a little bit of activity, have something to look forward to, but then mostly just stay home and get some sleep. I'm sure someone would gladly help take you out to the movies or something if you needed to, and then maybe take you back. Just stay with someone, focus on healing first, okay? Okay. Um. And uh, also, Cassius, um, hmm. tell you what, too. 
if you need to talk to someone more about this stuff, I'd glad to hear you. But, um, first, promise me you'll get some rest, okay? Uh, okay. Hmm. After all, uh, <laughs> you gotta be at tip-top condition in order to face a lot of stuff, right? You wanna, you wanna be effective, you wanna be fast, you wanna get as much stuff done as possible, don't you? Yeah, I guess. Well, sometimes the best way to do that is to take it slow. So You see him, like, pause, and he, like, looks at you, and he just nods. Hmm. Yeah. So, first, let's get you back. I've got, uh, I've got some business to take care of myself. I'm just kind of running the checks on everyone. Uh, but, yeah. Can you make it back all right, or do you need me to hand? Um, I, I can... I, you seem pretty busy. I'll, I can go back by myself. Hmm. She kind of, like, thinks and nods her head. Thank you, Cassius. Oh, yeah. No problem. Hmm. I'm, uh, glad you're doing okay. You're, you're on the path to doing okay, bud. I hate to see my friends hurt themselves. He sweats. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Don't worry. It's not a problem. You're you're doing your best. So I appreciate it. Uh, she kind of thinks a bit. Mm, okay, yeah, I think that's good. She kind of like pulls out a pocket watch that she has there, there and is like, uh, it's a, and she looks at the time and she's like, oh, wow, I, <laughs> oh, geez, that, that, she got it. No, it's okay. Yeah, head on back. I'll, uh, I'll go tell Dodge real quick. Um, and then I'll gotta head out myself. I think I'm late. <laughs> Teacher uh, timing's completely keep... fucked up. <laughs> yeah. For keeping you. No, no, it's okay. Teacher's not at best affected this right now. She was Teach, expecting you go, to walk in. You go oh, around yeah. that side, Dodge peeks his head around. Is she gone? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> Cassius turned around like he was about, like a horror movie. Cassius turned around. <laughs> like, like, oh no. Dodge is like, Dodge is like, great, great work. Let's 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 plan out this field a little bit more. She's going away first, was his brain thought. And then suddenly fucking from behind a hand on shoulder. Oh my one woo no kotatsu. Um <laughs> Uh, oh she, she, <laughs> uh, she, she goes and like, hey, bud, how about you hey. go get some rest too? The farmers <laughs> seem like they got it covered. Sparky's really confident. I think getting that arm fixed up would be great. And maybe you can come on by the school later and help everything getting all sorted. That sounds fun, right? Everything's been set on fire. That sounds fun. <laughs> Dodge all actually right. grabs Cassius's arm. Is like, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, Dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Teach you watch these two hobble off these people who are who are probably like they're like you can count on them to a certain extent to be scared enough to probably go home at this mm -hmm. point but you you still you still get this feeling and you lie back down you sit back against the wall and you start to turn over in your head what Cassius told you and I am going to give you both a gift. Hmm. It is, it is a gift that is just called the promise. You promised if Cassius healed up, you would tackle this together with him. Similarly, Cassius, you promised Teach that if you healed, she would be on your side when tackling this issue. If you both deliver on this, you get something good. Okay. Okay. Cassius will go home. We'll probably ask Dodge to come with him because he doesn't really want to be by mm. himself right now. I think Dodge's Wait. plan is to run you paperwork all day. Like, legit, just run back and forth between the school, and you guys are just gonna do a shitload of paperwork. Excuse me, Miss Teach, do you reckon they need all this here? Huh? Points she kinda like... The, points at the massive piles of junk metal. Oh, hell no! Burn yeah. it! Burn it all! The, uh, she, like, kind of, like, so basically, she was just kind of starting to slip into a hole thinking about what she saw, and then Sparky just lit a match in her head, and she's just, like, back up again, and she's like, oh, uh, Sparky, yeah, she stops a bit. Actually, 
she kind of moves around a bit, and she kind of looks around here for a little bit. Um, hmm. You know, if we're going to be doing a lot of plumbing and stuff like that, we could really use some spare pipes, and honestly, I don't think anyone's been sorting through for stuff like that, so I know Garm certainly doesn't have time to. Yeah, if we can, um, we can get some of this cleaned up. If you just leave the junk here, I might try to... Well, I'll ask Song to maybe get some people out here to get this all sorted through. There might be some stuff we can use to repurpose. Hey, uh, can do! <laughs> excellent. I was gonna make you roll to die for taking on a responsibility you just lectured two people about not taking, mm -hmm. but I think but you're good. You delegated. <laughs> yeah. The redirect. You pass it. You pass it to your friend and salute him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So wait I, wait, I said not to burn that. <laughs> <laughs> and we will True. cut there. Yeah. Cassius, you go back home. And you, you start to rest up. Give me a, um, tell me how he's feeling. Cassius feels like shit. Um, he, he feels very physically like shit, but much, 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 much more emotionally like shit. He's been waiting for the situation to resolve so he can cry. Oh, <laughs> Cassius, you come home and you let out a fucking good cry that you it sucks also because you can't you like you have to stop yourself at some point because you know dodge is coming back but like yeah he does not are. want to show that he regrets doing things oh. in front of dodge because he the thing he did was protect dodge and he doesn't regret protecting dodge but he regrets the things he did to protect dodge oh. and he doesn't want to make dodge feel like shit yeah, so you've you've bottled that all up, and God, it sucks. You don't even have enough time to like. You don't because Dodge is coming back because you guys are both going to do more work. You um, you don't even have time to like fully let it all out. You just you just put your head down on the table and you cry. So frustrated at the current situation. And that is where we'll leave off with Cassius. Rob, I'm so sorry. Holy shit. Oh my fucking god. And now, <sighs> now I mute Deafen for the rest of the session. Thank you for coming by. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Good luck with the session. Peace <laughs> oh, girl boy. Okay, next up. On another side of town, in the office of the grapevine, someone was out for most of the morning. She Real had. Quick, before yes. we keep going, is my mic fucky? I was alerted no. earlier that it might have done a weird. You no. are doing great. You sound Perfect. great. Keep going. Fantastic. In the office of the grapevine, someone's been. Someone's made herself busy all morning. Now, she finds herself back at her place of work, having delivered a story that has already started to make the rounds through the city. The city's changing. It's getting a little bit better a little bit at a time, and that is due in no small part to your participation. Publishing these events seems to have gotten a buzz about Old Town, and you can take no small amount of satisfaction in that. The ritual. The snap. <laughs> <laughs> the twirls. <laughs> she opens the door. Hello! You open the door, and you sense something is wrong. You've performed this ritual so many times, just the air itself seems to be different within the office. It doesn't have... It has that same amount of energy, an almost electric pulse traveling through the entire building, but it's not that same sparkly, glittery, wonderful, almost too brilliant to look at energy. It's something far more serious. And from the other side of the table, you you hear a voice. It's not the same yells back and forth between Dione and Salazen. It's calm and composed discussion. So, as I was saying, uh yeah, that uh that 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 story. <laughs> Salazen like Nods and leans in. <laughs> so, 
Mr. Salzen. What are you yeah. proposing here? I was thinking, um, well, we just, uh, we just published our best paper in like a, like a long time. And it was focused primarily on like, <laughs> uh, the, the reforms that are being pushed through the university. And, uh, we were thinking, um, you guys primarily as the, uh, the, <clears throat> the tide's edge, um, you, uh, you you guys could probably br break out some reforms of your own. Like you could tell you could tell the people how you're making the city better too, because um, people uh people like to hear this story. Isn't is that right, Guileford? Guileford, calm as a fucking cucumber, slowly nods. <laughs> Salazin is sweating buckets. Meanwhile, <laughs> Vaughn looks. Uh, Vaughn uh, closes his eyes and looks down, thinks to himself for a minute. And opens his eyes and looks back up at uh, Salazen. Fair point. So, you have any particular ideas for how we go about this, or... Um, maybe we could run over a list of th beneficial things that the Tide has done for the city. Like, uh, like, like garbage cleanup or something. Like, uh, I know you, you guys handle that. We do, however... Hmm... I feel like a lot of uh, other members of the citizens also help us out with that on a daily basis. I feel it would be unfair to give us all the attention there. Oh, um, huh. Yeah, that's, um, that's a good point. Uh, oh gosh, maybe, um, it was you guys that built that new park over in Seaside like a month or two back, right? We didn't, we didn't run a story on that. Um, we could, we could deliver on that now could hmm parks are a little boring though oh boy it's look it's just we ran that story about the university right like them becoming a trade school them starting them starting all these programs how the city might actually be on the upswing and i, I want to convince people that that's the case because i think it might actually be the case um problem is no none of the other faction leaders are willing to talk to me without uh Without me shoving propaganda down the people's throats. Oh, yeah. He... Yeah, that, uh, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> he slicks his hair back. So, uh... Yeah. Uh... I... I, I just want to... Like, I want to report the truth. I want to report the truth in a way that doesn't piss everyone off. And I want to report the truth in a way that makes people hopeful rather than returning to the depressed drudgery we've been living in for the last two years. <laughs> Fair enough. I agree with you there, given how things have been recently. How about this? We go back to the idea before of me sending over one of my guys, and you do a day in the life of a Tide's Edge member or something like that. Yeah, uh, that, that sounds good. Um, I don't know, uh, hold on. Maybe, uh, maybe... <laughs> <laughs> Everyone stops and turns. <laughs> oh, hey there! Sugar cookies! <laughs> oh, I'd love one. Oh, one would be fantastic. Thank you. Go, here you go. And you, sir? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, ma'am. <laughs> Sal is in his sweating buckets. The door is open. I'm going to from her desk. <laughs> Since the door was open, I'm going to assume this is an open door meeting. Sit. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is our, this is our most talented photographer, and also the one who broke the big story. This is, this is Bijou. I've been, I've been telling the one I've been telling you about. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. How's your father doing, by the way, Bijou? His memory doing any better? Looks between the two know. of you. He was already gone to work when I woke up this morning. He seems to be doing pretty good, though. Hmm. Good to hear. <laughs> the two, the two behind the fucking table, look back and forth between you two, like question mark overhead. And uh, okay, you guys, uh, you guys know each other? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay then. <laughs> Salazen looks at Bijou. How is she doing? <laughs> yeah, that answers that question. <laughs> he's 
he looks back and forth. Uh, yeah, we were, um, actually discussing, I don't know, coordinating with the tide a bit more, because, um, well, it's, it's been a while since I've seen people, like, this hopeful. Um, and the tide are the only people who are really willing to work with us, and, like, hell, if the university's changing, who knows if the, uh, the rest of the city can't change too, you know? And Tide seems like a great place to start with that. They're the the hero, heroes of the people and all that. Vaughn looks over. Notices the uncomfortable silence. Feel like I might have might have pricked a nerve or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just trying to get a handle on what you're talking about. All this important politics kind of stuff. Woo! Um. Hmm. 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 So you're saying that you're not super comfortable in taking the limelight with all of this, uh, all of this progress that's being made. You guys don't want to be the poster boys? Not really. I don't, oh. I, I, it sounds awfully unfair, I'll be honest. I believe in, I believe in proper reward for hard work. And quite frankly, we didn't really do anything to help out with the situation in the university. That is yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> Guileford smiles. Should I get another cup of tea for everyone? <laughs> I would love that. She thinks in the back of her head, Tear was there. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Scoop detected. <laughs> uh, Guileford, hmm. Guileford comes back and hands a cup of tea to everyone. Despite the tension of this conversation, he seems fine. <laughs> uh, God so bless. <laughs> so is in looking back and forth. Yeah, I, uh, that's that's the hard part here. Um, and one of the reasons that we're actually willing to work with you guys is uh, the other factions would jump at the chance. Like if we were talking to, God, if we were talking to the Tempest or their PR guy in particular, this would already be, I'd already be told exactly what to say. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Problem here is, uh, Tide is, um, can you, like, just, just, like, what's, what's one way that Tide's helping the community? Maybe we could build off of that. Well, we frequently do patrols around the clock to make sure any criminal activities go, uh, well, punished, I suppose. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, uh, well, I guess we also run a restaurant or two around town to cater for folks. <laughs> it's so funny bijou you the second he says that he like his the first part was the very stern vaughn the one the one that is the head of tide's edge the second part actually relaxes a lot you can tell he's very proud of that no oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes hmm honestly i'm bad at this i'll be more than a little lost i'm not good at talking to people nor am i good at coming up with many ideas for PR. Us in the Tide don't have a PR guy or a guy who's really good at talking, either. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. that's what happens when a bunch of monster hunters decide that they're the ones who wear the pants in the city, don't you think? <laughs> Vaughn's, uh, Vaughn's posture relaxes for a second there, and he mumbles himself. Well, we didn't exactly decide that for ourselves, but, uh, sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, can I, can I get you guys more tea? They already have tea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sal, do you want to go water that plant out front? I, that is my favorite thing to do in all, yes. <laughs> he walks out. You're looking a little wilted this morning. <laughs> You hear him decompressing in the hallway, just the loudest possible breath. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so... So you're... That's a bit of a conundrum. You're, you're saying that you guys are pretty much good where you're at in terms of, like, reward, but... You also feel like you're not doing enough? Or... That's about right, yes. You see, hmm. given our current position within the factions, we are actually quite constricted. 
We can't really get our we can't really get a message out there very easily without having to go through Tempest or Gailardia. And also, well, just through strict territory rules we can't get through very well. If we try to go in we try to if we try to act anywhere outside of our jurisdiction, well a lot of bad things can happen. I see. So I was well. hoping to potentially with your help, maybe get a little bit more of a word out there. Oh, there it is. I was going to ask, with people who have their fingers in so much trouble, you'd think that you guys would have some spies. Like, I know you're not <laughs> stupid, but I guess that's <laughs> what you want from us, right? Well, I wasn't going to say spies. I was more hoping for a real newspaper article. We already got something like that, I'll be honest. <laughs> Sam sneezes somewhere. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, though. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. Feels like, uh, your mood's changed a lot. So, uh, yeah, uh, you guys reach an understanding? <laughs> he looks back and forth between the two of you. Did we? <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm not quite sure. I think I get where you're coming from. So you basically just want us to get the word out there of what you guys are trying to do. But, of course, we are a newspaper. We have to be pretty unbiased about these things. Of course. I wouldn't have it any other way. Now, I will be honest. If somebody wearing red or wearing a fish-patterned coat comes up to me and gives me <laughs> some better information, I'm not going to turn them down. I don't play favorites, you know. Fair enough. All your job really has to do is to be honest and to be quick about getting the information to us. Okay. We'll come for a serve, maybe. I don't know. I'm not actually the boss. Looks over <laughs> at these two. <laughs> I'm not technically either, but this arrangement sounds fantastic, actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, you tell him, Bijou. <laughs> Selizen, Selizen's, like, leaning into his cup a little bit, like, looking over at Vaughn. Honestly, this sounds like actually the ideal arrangement. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, you roll up with any information you get, we'll publish it and make sure it gets out all fair and honest. Sounds excellent. Thank you very much for your time today. Hmm. Before you go, do you have any starter information? You know, like a little taste? <laughs> hmm. Anything that's happened in the past that you you think to yourself, man, if only I could have gotten that in the newspaper. <laughs> something that went under the radar, something that you feel you do reserve the you do deserve the uh respect for. Bond stops, thinks to himself for a second. Dot 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 thinks. There is one thing. You see, us here in the Tide are very proud of our sportsmanship. And I'll have you know that we have a damn good table tennis team, and <laughs> nobody talks about it. That's adorable. I love that. <laughs> the air in the room clears. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Thank you, uh... Thank you for your time, uh, Master Vaughn. Um, I just, can I get a word with you really quick? Sure. He, uh, he, he smiles on you at the way out. Bijou, that was fantastic. I just got here. <laughs> you, uh, the two, the two walk into the other room. <laughs> uh, Guileford looks over at you. That was very well done. Ultimately, I think the concept of fair and unbiased reporting is something that eludes Salazen after months and months and months of spin. Well, yeah, but I'm sure a lot of it for him just, he doesn't want to get in What is she doing? You're going to hurt your back like that. <laughs> you he waves um... a hand dismissively. <laughs> you, uh, you, you stop for a second focusing on Dione and... Then you hear the bit that Salazen is actually shockingly good at. You hear his voice drop to a sort of a low tone, but the silence in the office conveys it. And of course, if anyone were to get in the way of our fair and biased reporting, 
we could turn to you as enemy uh, as allies of the truth and enemies of propaganda, right? Yes, that sounds good. Oh, wow. excellent. <laughs> I'm sure so, you've just been trying to avoid anybody getting in trouble, right? <laughs> Actually, yes. <laughs> Kyleford smiles. And, you know, between you and me, he doesn't need to put that all on his own shoulders. <laughs> I, um, you're correct. I worry that in giving him the job of boss, he is setting himself up to be the fall guy if it all goes wrong. Hmm. He's not the toughest one around here. <laughs> Guileford sips his tea. He certainly isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Floppily, Sal comes back in, Vaughn having departed. Okay, good job breaking the deal, everybody. We all good, oh. Sal? Yep, <laughs> everything's oh, looking thanks. good. Oh, oh man. thank heavens. I don't know what I would have said if we had to explain why the head of the tide had been bludgeoned with a typewriter. <laughs> here, okay. here, let me help you with that. That is really heavy. Okay. Oh, no worries, <laughs> sweetie. I got this. She no. slings it almost it, it, <laughs> without effort. Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. I'll let her do her thing. Oh, man. <laughs> yes. So that solves the big issue. Um... Tempest won't bug our paper boy anymore, so that's good. Or else it'll be factional war. What? They did what? <laughs> they did yeah. what? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he puts up his hands. Smacks up against this. This is a glass wall here, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> what did they do to him? <laughs> they le I it leaves a big the hand print. Down. <laughs> yeah, Tempest has been uh, making it hard for Galav to deliver papers, especially crossing over that bridge. They've been ambushing him and throwing everything into the river. So... That's just... That's... And that is why he takes a step forward. It is good to have people on your side who are allies of truth and all that other fun stuff. Uh, especially if they set up a checkpoint to make sure our boy gets over to the other side of the river completely okay. Yeah, the Tempest That's just like an article discussing the potential of parasitic <laughs> fungus in all their armor! <laughs> <sighs> Seriously, I appreciate it, though. <laughs> I, I, uh, I didn't exactly know how to come forward and ask that, so we did like a we did like a good reporter, bad reporter thing, except, um, you struck up the very business level deal, and I did all the underhanded stuff. <laughs> hmm. You don't need to do that, though. It stops. Really? Seems yeah. Seems pretty important. Well, I mean, you don't need to do it by yourself. I was gonna be, se like, I was gonna be secret about it and be mysterious and only tell Guyerford, but no. <laughs> like, <sighs> Uh, I know you're like the boss technically, but like you can ask us about it, you know? He stops and thinks about that. Oh man. Um If I if I put that all this politics stuff on you guys, then I'd be out of a job. <laughs> he laughs very weakly. He clearly doesn't believe that even a little bit. <laughs> hmm. Well, if you like your job that much, I guess I can't stop you, but uh, if you get in over your head... Huh? <laughs> Remember, Sal, if you die before me, I get to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> he, a uh... funeral. <laughs> Speaking of, I have a yeah. plan for today and this weekend. Oh? Uh -huh. I have an idea. Another scoop. Another scoop. Oh boy, another scoop. He, like, he seemed genuinely actually extremely touched by you saying if you get in over your head. And, like, you threw him a lifeline for a second, and then you throw out the possibility of a scoop, and that sort of sleazy persona returns a little bit. Oh, a scoop! Uh, get over yeah. here, guy! Like, God, your name is hard to say when it's fast. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't scream, I think. <laughs> that is unfortunately why my brother calls me sunshine it's because he cannot 
do anything but scream. <laughs> she, she wibbles. She did a little squeal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's yeah. the plan? The plan uh, it, he hops up on the uh, table. <laughs> the plan is you're going to steal my desk, but okay. <laughs> I have a poll for the room. Hmm? When is the last time any of you went to a funeral? <laughs> and that is where we're going to cut ahead. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay. We're going to wrap up what happens with uh, Bretta. And then you guys have have a, have a date. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, boy. Yeet. Um, so... <clears throat> Beretta, back to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't expect to be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> so, a lot of faction leaders today. Um, <laughs> let me grab oh, no. a oh, certain, no. <laughs> certain person's theme. Oh, please boy. don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. So, Beretta, you find yourself. That's the wrong pog. I'll grab the new one. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jay, quick question. Did I start one. at C? Um, in my office. Did I yeah. start at C on purpose or did I start at a normal B? And if I did, do I have B plus for uh, a leadership so, role that I just did? You started at C because you are currently I equipped. In, you're, it's because you have student council president clipped in. If you want to, do you want to? Oh. Do you want to equip your other class as the primary? Yes. Okay, that will not give you an experience bonus at the end of the session, but you will on a average be higher. That's is fine. the advantage. Okay, cool. So, Beretta! And you should be at a B plus. You are correct. Um, yes. You find yourself... I need it. <laughs> you find yourself in the, uh, in the office of a one Admiral Atreus. Thanks for letting me in the front door. <laughs> Thank you for knocking. <laughs> Before we begin, is there anything I can get for you? Uh, I gotta say, I'm doing just fine. Thank you very much. <laughs> Not Understood. Looking between the two of you. <laughs> then let us begin with no uncertain terms. What is Noctua to you? And why are you here? <laughs> roll, roll to die really fast for me. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Hey! Oh my Ooh. God! That Ooh, that bad. what is that what is not doing to you? Just regardless of what you lock in, doesn't fucking matter. You beat the ten. <laughs> That, that hits you and you're just like, no, nah, I'm ready for this shit. Easy. <laughs> um, it doesn't even begin to phase you. <laughs> Good. I shrug it off and I look at him right in the eyes and I say, I consider Noctua to be a close friend at this point, but I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think I'm here to be friends with you necessarily, but that doesn't mean we can't get along. <laughs> <laughs> He nods. Do, I get, do I get a grade? <laughs> you, yes! <laughs> yes, yes, oh, yes, yes, yes! He seems to approve of that and nods. He looks at Noctua. Noctua, what yes. is this woman to you? <laughs> <laughs> she stops, she thinks, she remembers the earlier conversation today and the drama with which she stated that. And then she puts she puts a hand like she she puts a hand over her chest, closes her eyes, and then sincerely states, "Someone that I owe my life to." <laughs> His eyes widen a fraction for a moment. He looks at you, Beretta. Would you concur? Well. I don't really like keeping people's lives in my hands, but if that's what she considers. That's interesting that you should claim dislike, because that is exactly what you have come here to offer today. 
<laughs> well, then I guess we should just cut to the chase now, shouldn't we? What do you want from our agreement? And I will state now, Gylardia cannot al ally itself with you. We may reach a mutually beneficial agreement, but our position is too tenuous to spend our resources work supporting another faction, let alone the attention that would bring to us. Well, that's all I can ask for. Uh, I guess what I should say is it doesn't take any unnecessary snooping to realize that the champion of Noctua is a Zyvosi, uh, Zyvosi thing now, isn't it? It is not unheard of knowledge. So would it be safe to assume that maybe you guys are spread a little bit too thin when it comes to the university area? An interesting supposition. What I'm here to offer you, and in return what I would like, is a bit of assistance securing the university for my gang. And in doing that, the university will be an open field for Gylardia. Atreus tends his fingers. Do you have any idea what you are declaring? <laughs> yes, I do, which is why I'd like to, Jay. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, now, I sent you the list of my bullets and I have died yes. twice. So can you tell me which, <laughs> Holy can you tell me which shit. gift I am on right now? You have equipped Atreus's bond gift. <gasps> oh. You rotated oh the chamber God. two times, you fucking madman. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't actually have an Atreus gift, yeah. but what I can do is I can lock myself out of that Atreus gift, that hypothetical yeah. Atreus gift, yeah. And I would like advantage in this conversation. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Give me that good roll to, and you're presumably locked into your red or blue stat, which is the six or the five. Um, let's lock Take into red because we're gunning. We're shooting. Conversation. We're shooting. Conversational <laughs> gun gunning. And this is a I am fucking at a. play. You are you are at you are at A, so you get a plus two on this, and you get to roll twice for locking yourself out <laughs> of Atreus. <sighs> okay, <laughs> roll again. Unfucking real. I love it when a plan comes together. Holy shit. B fucking hell with the big yeah. brain plays. God damn. So this is the power of the university, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to play Beretta's theme. <laughs> damn right we are. <laughs> Atreus looks thoughtful and then exhales the university has been if not neutral territory then uninvolved territory for as far back as the factions have mattered your intention to take it is no small task and again i must reiterate our resources are not free to use however he looks at noctua You've shown good faith, at the very least. <laughs> Suffice it to say, there may be avenues we can pursue if you can make things more favorable for us in return. Now, he raises a hand. This is going to take a considerable amount of delicacy on both our parts. Mm -hmm. Needless to say, I don't think with Sampede King can enter the Admiral 
of the Gylardian fleet's flagship for a third time without <laughs> You would be shocked how delicate I can be. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you, your entrance the other day. I'd be hesitant I wasn't to make flexing that my delicate in particular <laughs> <laughs> There is one other thing. He looks again at Noctua. By coming here with Noctua, by bringing Noctua as your... He looks for a word. Vouch. You have intrinsically linked her fate to yours. Are you prepared to take responsibility for her life? I guess if my if her life is in my hands, then it's only right that I put my life in hers. <laughs> Admiral Atreus looks at Noctua as if seeking her response. She she looks between the two of you and then slowly nods along. <laughs> then he nods. Then Well then consider the Stampeders yours for the time being <laughs> no i don't think we should quite say that but we can at least have an agreement for as long as our aims are mutually beneficial that said i it will be i consider this a necessarily prudent step you will not be contacting me directly anymore I will I will find someone who will work as our go-between. You will report to them and no one else. You are not affiliated with Gylardia, and we are not affiliated with the Stampede Kings. Is that understood? I think that's more than fair. Then let this be the last time we meet face to face. Well, it was nice meeting you. <laughs> <laughs> Noctua, let's get something to eat. Atreus <laughs> actually stands up and walks around the desk. He extends a hand out to you. Oh. And you well. <laughs> she extends her hand as well, and they shake hands. Holy shit. And with that, you are given the name of a go between and sent on your way. A promise that you would not ever again interact with the Admiral, and your gang finds itself in the strangest position of vouching for Gylardia. I did not anticipate that in <laughs> the universe. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, oh my god. So, here's what we're gonna do. We are going to take a five minute break right now. Afterwards, I want everyone who is currently playing to meet to talk about the future of the floodlights, and then you will pro progress with your individual plans. Yeah. So, take five minutes. If you need time to reconstruct strategies after that shit, <laughs> <you'll play. laughs> am I allowed to? Am I allowed to talk during the break? Yeah, absolutely. Oh my Man, God. it's probably really good that Cassius is not going to be at this floodlight meeting because if Beretta or Bijou talked about their ties now with the uh, with Gylardia <gasps> or at the ties edge, it would be <laughs> massive. It would be massive Sims minus minus over it. <laughs> oh, Holy shit, you guys, though. What in the actual oh, fuck? <laughs> Dude, when, you, when it was like, okay, roll again, I was like, I was like, I imbue all of my energy into this roll, let it be a 20. And then it was, and I was like, fuck yes. <laughs> oh my god. That's another 20 for red. <laughs> Angel Eye 47 says this was supposed to be a chill stream, but Beretta just lit it on fire. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm gonna use the bathroom really quick. I gotta, I gotta like fucking splash my face with water. So, Y'all thinking I'm just gonna doing? stop there?
So now you're opening up a ice circle. I see how it is. <laughs> you can break a circle quick. Oh, don't you know, Martha? This is my own circle. <laughs> <laughs> this town ain't big square. enough for two circle breakers. <laughs> Welcome to the squared circle. <laughs> I'll have you know, professional, professional, I'm the greatest shot on this side of Indigo. Vernon, <laughs> oh you are playing a dangerous game. Oh, I know yeah. I am. If you, are ever, if you are ever in a room with Admiral Atreus again and I am there, you are in so much danger. Well, well if he's <laughs> in a room with Admiral Atreus at any point, I think he's a danger in general, so. <laughs> yeah. Because Cassius doesn't know and will out you instantly. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, that was amazing. Whew, that play, that worked, that worked. I'm glad it worked. Oh, <laughs> you rolled a damn 20 again! You know you're I'm setting back. numbers on the dice, right? I, oh, I'm so happy you set up everything. You did the, you did the two rolls to die. You called it. You <laughs> I oh, called it. I you was so called happy. it would oh, be two. And that I'm like, okay, so like this is gonna be kind of anti It's not. But my my favorite thing is it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't just two, it was two blanks. So I was rolling yeah. with no gift. Yeah. No. <laughs> That was such an insane call. And I'm like, I saw the like 22 that you rolled with your bonuses. And I'm like, oh, this is going to be anticlimactic when he just gets it on the first one. Boom, 20. Ooh. I knew it. I knew the second one would be higher. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. You just don't really do be the, we can gang. only go higher. <laughs> <laughs> the goat doesn't believe in maximum numbers. We gotta push the limits to find out what's beyond them. Boy, oh boy. boy so that oh. was so that was kind of like a date, right? <laughs> <laughs> that started in the gazebo. <laughs> it did start. Oh my it started god! Started out a date, we met the dad. It was a pretty constructive date. Did you just knock you up by the microphone? Yeah, I think we're, I think we're married now. <laughs> so what was that? I said, I think we're speed running this on a microcosm for you. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to beat Indigo in uh, six sessions. That's yeah. The goal. That's the goal. The plan. <laughs> oh. I hope not. Holy shit. <laughs> the fucking plays. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay. The best fucking scene. Oh my god. <laughs> that was. That was absolutely insane. Uh, you guys are going to meet up to talk about the floodlights with all the uninjured people. Bretta, hat or no hat? No hat. <laughs> no hat, that makes sense. Oh boy. I'm running out of people to tell at this point, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking God, okay. Is everybody here? Is everyone back? Yeah. Hmm. We're gonna take another break before this is over. Also, I wanna oh, I wanna get better about yeah. two breaks. Um, so, oh boy. Good luck, everybody. Teach good, my legacy. <laughs> good, good luck, crew. Um, a text circulates around that you guys need to talk about the future of the floodlights. Now that the creature is slain, the question of what next comes up. Um, something that not everyone has an immediate answer for. The three people who respond to it first sit in their, that wrong song, sit in the bar, the cross, waiting for everybody else to arrive. It's a weird, I, li I like this crew. Um, let me move you over. There you go. Oh, you guys are still GM layer. You three have been here for a little bit. Hmm. Like the colors. <laughs> yes, same. <Perfect> colors. <laughs> um, Arch seems mostly content to like sit and chat to the bartender. Mallow like looks down at you, Bijou. Hey, nice work with the story. Thank you. I. Hmm. Hmm. I'm wondering if I'm more proud of this one or more proud of the one from. Uh... A few months ago. I don't know. Well, I guess I gotta wait for a... I guess I gotta wait for it to circulate a bit. See what people think. Yeah. 
<laughs> um, Malo smiles. It's just kind of nice to, I don't know. You, you put it in, you put it in a really nice way. Like it was, I mean, obviously it w <laughs> she starts thinking about like, obviously you couldn't say everything, realizes she's in a public space, stops herself. I think you did a really good job of placing emphasis on the students, teachers, and members of the community rather than the university itself. Well, yeah, because the university itself was the problem physically. <laughs> Arch nods along. Yes, indeed. Mallow, mm -hmm. Mallow, like, looks down. Yeah, um, it's just, it's just nice, I guess. Uh, it's, 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 it's nice to see, uh, people looking at the university and smiling for once. Um, good job. The mm -hmm. drinks are on me today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know her financial situation's a little, it's rockier than yours, to say the least. Um, um, but yeah, Bijou, you published, uh, you published a paper, actually, uh, you published an article over the last few days that's actually made the rounds throughout the city. Could you give me a quick description of what that looked like? So, basically, what, uh, what the main sort of lens that the university situation is viewed through in this paper is that, um, it was simply a incident of Poor public infrastructure maintenance. The pipes mm -hmm. burst, and there was a gas leak, and just the university is old as hell, and that shit was crumbling by the minute. And, um, a teacher uh, took her uh, time off, her own personal time off, and her select few students who were willing to help out for extra credit to go and try and fix it themselves. <laughs> And a, cu a couple select members of the community that she knew she could rely on, and they they did that. So <laughs> the general idea that the public has is, hey, yeah, we fixed this. Also, isn't it neat that the university now won't have to deal with this shit because they're opening up a trades department, which is something <laughs> that we've needed for years and years. <laughs> so now you can learn how to do this shit on your own. Yep. Press is shockingly very good for the university right now. Not great for Daringway, but great for the university right now. <laughs> uh, Daringway. <laughs> teach, bit. teach. You've seen this. You've seen this paper circulate a few times, and like, you think it's you think it's very flattering, but you haven't had too much time to think about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of which, teach. You are the next mm -hmm. to arrive. Yeah, Teach steps on in, and she notices everyone in the corner. She smiles and goes up. She doesn't immediately sit down, and instead walks up right behind Bijou, and is like, after seeing her, kind of comes up to her head. Hey, I saw the paper. Thank you. That's it's very nice of you. I very much appreciate she it. Wibbles around in her work. chair. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, she kind of smiles, and obviously a bit chipper again, goes and sits down. I'll just have a water today. Let's let, let, let's sit at a booth so we don't have to like lean down at each other. Oh, uh, that's fair. All right. Peach. <laughs> <laughs> he goes and he goes to grab you. Water turns around, sees that you're gone. Well, she uh she hops back. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> she collects that. She collects some other drinks and then just kind of walks them to the table and places them down. And she takes on a seat. These ones walk over. They plop down too. Yeah. And uh, once once uh, Beretta gets here, we'll we'll hop to a different bar. Why? Hmm. Uh, she kind of like she uh uh she kind of like just kind of leans down. Well, it's because I realized how. Mm, you figured out about us because of yeah. us talking a bit too loud in a bar too, yeah. right? Yeah. You're learning. So... I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, Bijou I said why to be cheeky, by the way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We could so... go to Underworld. No. I don't like their food. <laughs> Arch, Arch looks genuinely taken aback. <laughs> Over there, uh, from behind the counter, the barkeeper goes, 
You could use my back room. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> she blinks like twice. Yeah, that's why I'd like to do it elsewhere. <laughs> Here's on that guy. What? I wonder if you say I want to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. From the door, two people come in. Hmm. Teach waves from over here and then scoots over. Oh, I'd hate to be late. <laughs> we were we were busy. We had a lot going on. <laughs> oh yeah, like what? Or we could we could... something you <laughs> walk hmm. down. Well, um, just some family matters. That's when we <laughs> knocked to his girls night. The aftermath of girls night is colossal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The uh, ripples of girls night will be felt forever. <laughs> do we want to, do we want to head out? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, hmm. She thinks. I do have some stuff at my place I'm not drinking, if anyone wants to do that, or if they have a better spot in mind. Isn't it a little irresponsible to be invited back to a teacher's house to go drinking? Ooh, <laughs> scandalous. People will be talking about it for days. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the teacher's like, okay. <laughs> Arch puts up a finger. We could use my shop. There is a basement. Hmm. Ooh, that's spooky. I'm yeah, that gets my vote. More wait, or no, less scandalous. Oh, no, wait, no, 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 I don't want to go there. There might be haunted things. No, 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 no. Yeah, I feel like I've had enough curses for the next couple of days. Oh, a shame. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, you, you stand up to leave and somebody wanders in. Somebody you've seen a lot of over the last few days. Oh. Yo. She, uh, hey. She kind of runs up real quick. Yeah. On got break? Text. Yeah, oh, no, um, okay, cool. got the text. Just, uh, mm -hmm. hold on, uh, you, you guys leaving? Yeah, we're oh, leaving. Oh, um, yeah, this will just take a sec, I guess. Uh, Song, okay. Song walks over and kind of stops everyone. Hey, um, uh, I know you got a thing going on. Looks around, it's in public. And, like, that's, that's cool and all, but, um, I, uh, I, I can't super participate or promise my time so uh i'm out <laughs> like he looks at mm. everyone here um, <laughs> mm. yeah like and uh, so the circle shrinks <laughs> like it was it was nice and everything but um it's clear you guys are handling some i don't <laughs> he looks over at nocto and just shakes his head whatever um <laughs> it's clear you guys are handling something here but um I ultimately don't think it's as big a deal as what we've got going on back at the university. And if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna be tackling that with everything I got, then I need all my time to myself. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna rely on you. You got my phone number if you need it. Only call if it's an emergency. Well, Professor Song, uh, I think that's more than fair. And allow me to be the first one to thank you for your assistance last night. Yeah, of course. Like I said, you got the phone number, I'll come running if you need it, but like, I can't do this on a regular basis. Yeah, that's fine. I think, that makes sense. I think the overall goal is to improve people? the city, and I think you'll play a vital part regardless. Yeah, I'm doing my, I'm doing that my own way. Uh, he like, <laughs> he, he shakes your hand. Take it, uh, take it easy. See you in class when, whenever the hell they start up again. Yeah, take it easy, song. Hope paperwork doesn't kick your ass. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> he, he seems very tired. Um, teach, do me a favor. Roll to die for me, really quick. One of your yeah. support, one of your support struts just bounced. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> oh, huh. okay, cool. Um, teach, uh, what are you locking in? I'm locking in blue, and uh, teach watches her close friend, someone she relies on, walk out the door, and yet she also just kind of like sits there. She had a very, very, very nice thank you a bit of ago, and she feels like, to some degree, the feelings that she felt then, she, she's got some support here anyways. No. Oh, <laughs> teach, um, teach, yeah, looking at, uh, looking at Song Walk Out, you realize, like, he's kind of been watching out for you the last few days, for sure, and he's been running around, like, borderline ragged to make sure you're okay, 
you're mm. actually a little happy to see him sort of put yeah. his foot down and go like, nah, I'm good. And you're like, yeah, <laughs> no, good, good on you, man. Yeah, <laughs> like, if it was just them, she probably would have jabbed him about being better at not being a hypocrite. Yep. Uh, <laughs> but for now, she's just going to keep keep it up. That's fine. We'll talk yeah. later. Okay, so All you right. go back to Teach's place. Oh, and Song, Song has bounced from the floodlights. Oh, what's up? As they leave, the barkeeper looks down at his counter and goes, None of them pay for their drinks. Arch <laughs> <laughs> will uh, pay! Loretta will pay for everyone, even though she didn't drink anything. <laughs> Arch will attempt to pay for everyone and be stopped by someone. Actually, Cassius ain't here, who knows? Um, Teach just Please, gave Cassius a lot of money before. and got stuck with the bill last time, so it was her, her turn to walk out first. <laughs> <laughs> one one of the people who can pay for it pays for it <laughs> because some of you have gifts that make that functionally yes. free <laughs> yes <laughs> okay so you go to teach's apartment oh boy y'all see teach's apartment for the first time well this is oh man quaint. <laughs> This is well, this is a lot for Bishu. She's never been in uh, a house like this, so she. Yeah. What is Beretta? She's been, <laughs> been in one house like this, but it was a lot less cluttered. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one just takes off. You notice, yeah. like, there's there's a lot of like period appropriate like fucking weights that are mounted on goddamn big ass stupid <laughs> gears like oh. it's there is there is a lot of material here that's just like wow this is technically state of the art <laughs> oh, damn i forgot about something she goes outside and tries to water her plants outside for a moment oh i've been slipping up all day well she, good at least what? it seems to be soundproof in here <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, uh, it certainly is, and I am now alone in this apartment. Uh, she kind of looks a bit. Uh, she points over. If anyone, Bretta, why don't you take the nice seat? No, I couldn't. It's your house. Oh, come on now, please. I insist. <laughs> well, if you insist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna sit on this box. <laughs> yeah, you can take the comforter, Beretta. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, she just kind of moves around. Would anyone like a drink? I promised I had some things in here. She kind of goes around. Uh, she, she goes, looks around her cabinets a bit. Uh, Bijou, you looking? Uh, yeah, she's just kind of looking around at the kitchen. She's trying to see where, like, the biggest area of, like, unoccupied spaces because yeah. she wants to do some stretches because she has yeah. been just sitting around all yeah. day. Yeah. Uh, Teach, Teach digs around. She seems like she's got, like, a lot of alcohol, but most of it's just unopened. Um, and she just kind of pulls some stuff out, puts it down, and generally just trying to goes to everyone and ask if they want anything. I also have just soft drinks or water, whatever you want. Water is more than enough for me, thank you. Arch puts I up a hand. I will, I will take a soda. Okay. Uh, she, she collects a few things, hands out, gives everyone a drink they'd like. And, uh... Yeah. Mallow has scotch. <laughs> <laughs> he she she kind of, like, hovers over and then looks. Nice choice. I... He <laughs> looks at her like, Mallow. It is, it is 2 p.m. He just like, nice 2 p.m. pick. Uh, <laughs> I will... I'll drink lightly. Very lightly. I'm gonna cut you off. <laughs> If I get out of hand, please do so. Yeah. <laughs> Have one, but you can take the bottle if you want. <laughs> Mallow, Mallow looks back at you. This is expensive stuff. I, I can't, can't really drink it anymore. So oh. I just have it around for special occasions. So yeah, it's no problem. Okay, so. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's. Uh... What's going on? <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's 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 talk about that. She uh she kind of like uh gets a bit of a water for herself and just kind of leans up against her kitchen counter. So, I think we've got something important to talk about. Um, first, I want to say good job, everyone. Um, though I do want to follow up that with asking how everyone is feeling. We managed to successfully 
save the university, and I think that's important to take pride in. Nakia um, puts up a hand. Yes? Is this a conversation you should be having around me? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks at Beretta. <laughs> I mean, Beretta, you did bring her, right? I did. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I guess if, um, I suppose there was an opening in the circle. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She smiles. And I know you have no problem with adding people to it. And <laughs> I feel like and she, she kind of like she kind of interrupts that real quick. I I trust, and if you were to bring them here, then you would have an invested interest in wanting them to join, right? And she's I mean she's already involved at this point. She was at the university know, exactly. last night, Martha. You know. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> she breaks walls um, this time. A bit more comfortable now and able to deal with your shit. <laughs> <laughs> She's back up to full power. Well, I'm, I'm not sure if there's some sort of knighting ceremony or something, but welcome to the floodlights, Noctua. <laughs> welcome to the floodlights, Noctua. She she goes oh, over and pats you back. <laughs> you you toast. <laughs> so Pizza takes another I drink. think oh. it would be worth discussing what we should do with our wounded members. Absolutely. Um, I did, I did want to ask that question and also just throw to everyone, uh, when we signed off on that, I, I was thinking we'd just cover the university, see what happens first. I know for some people that was probably, or at least a little bit, the limitations of what we wanted to do. Uh, if anyone doesn't want to right off the bat, stay in and deal with the entire city, that's understandable and you're free to leave. After all, Sung said himself as well that, well, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on, and if you if you don't have the time, please don't. Allow me to interject with some even more dooming information that mm -hmm. uh, myself and Noctua know about. Mm -hmm. The university wasn't the end of it. Mm -hmm. There is mm -hmm. more than one I suppose we couldn't problem. be so lucky. <laughs> no, of course we're not. These things just keep happening. So, oh. <laughs> we have been informed by hopefully a trustworthy source that um, the thing in the university that they were calling a phantasm, <sighs> there's more of them. At least three. Ooh, at least three, huh? At least three. They've I mean... already dealt with a couple. Mm. Well, Beretta did say uh, that there was more, and I did know that. So, that's... Hmm. Well, no, at least there's we a know. number to it, then. There, yeah. That's that's what I'm worried about, is that there's a number to them so far, but Three we don't plus. know exactly what's causing them. So, that number could grow. That number could shrink. I don't know. But what we can... Uh, not look forward to, but at least rely on a little bit, is that we've been told that they're not a constant. Mm -hmm. Which is something that I would like to get your help with. <laughs> Mallow perks up. Me? me? Really? Yeah, oh. you scotch drinker. So... <laughs> <laughs> From what I was told, apparently... Uh, let me, I gotta remember if I'm getting this straight, what were the months? Ugh. They said that they're at their most powerful when volume menace in the sky, I believe. I believe. Am I getting that right, Nucky? Not doing nods. Yes. But when Coyer is visible, they scuttle off and hide? Not doing that nods again. Of, look at that part was kind of vague, but basically. <laughs> Basically, she just kind of points to the ceiling, does like a vague gesture. It has to do with all of that nonsense. Mallow starts to like, wait, no, th that doesn't make any sense though. Hold on. Hold I on, know. On. Uh, she turns around. <sighs> Coyer's a constellation. That much makes mm -hmm. sense. When mm -hmm. that one's, that one's the big one. It's, it's mm -hmm. huge. It's not the brightest or anything, but it's big. It's really big. Mm -hmm. So... It has a lot of nights that it's super visible in the sky. You could at least see part of it. Um, mm -hmm. 
But, uh, vol volume isn't a constellation. She sort of trails off. It's, that's the name that we give the blank space between the stars. Mm-hmm. Huh. So. Uh, Mela's going to, Mela's going to roll the die really quick. Um. Ooh. Oh. oh. She's going to. She's gonna lock in red because that's the stat she wants right now, and she starts um, she starts cogitating in her head a bit. Okay. Um. Well, uh, how can I how can I help with that? I think how you can help with that and also help yourself in a way is um. You can use that as a break. I don't need. I don't think. <sighs> ah. I shouldn't have been there the other night. You guys saw me run away like a chicken. Mm. But, Mallow, I don't think you should have been there either. And I don't mm. think you should be there for whatever comes next. Not physically, at least. I think you should... <laughs> it sucks, but you should do the paperwork. You're the smartest one of all of us. I... I she... think that's... Yeah, she, she sort of like... She actually relaxes thinking about that a bit. Not yeah. that it should take any time away from your uh, thesis, your doctoral thesis. Hey, and you if you need know. any help with that, this, this could if you need any me... help with that, <laughs> <laughs> he, he starts and is overrun. No, don't worry, Martha. I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of just makes a face at both of them, like, let me yeah. talk to my girl. <laughs> <laughs> Duel steps forward and holds their hands up to stop both of them. Uh... What I was going to say was, you never know, this could help work into your thesis if it's connected. But I think... I think your life and the lives of the city is a bit more important than university paper, don't you think? She thinks about that. Y yeah, yeah they are. Um, I wish I could help more, but maybe this is the best way that I could actually help. She- I don't think it is. She relaxes. Okay, I don't know what they mean by when, when volume is in the sky yet. I just, I don't have enough information. But she pulls out, a, she pulls out a, a calendar from her pocket actually, and starts to just trace on it really fast. If we assume that, yeah, if we assume that the first day of the month was one of those volume in nights, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. She runs outside and actually, like, looks up at the sky briefly, um, and then scoots back in almost immediately. Okay, I can, um, yeah, I, I need more time. I need to actually go to the university. Hmm. I need to, like, I, I probably need to talk to Professor Alcott about this a bit, but I could probably give you a prediction of nights that Coyer is in the sky at the very least. Well, I think mm -hmm. if it's cyclical, then... We should have a bit of time, shouldn't we? Yeah, yeah, um, hold on, actually. She stops and thinks. Yeah, uh, hold on. Um, this, wait, yeah. She shows you the, um, she shows you the, uh, the calendar. Okay. If I'm right about this. We should actually be clear for the rest of the week, at least. Um, <laughs> I'll need more time to pick up the rest, but yeah. No, oh. Koyer's got their eyes open, at least for now. Okay. That's great Oh, to good. Hear. I had a big date coming up. <laughs> and uh, I should mention, too, you said you wish you could do more. I think you're fulfilling a role that only you could fulfill as well as you can. And if anything else, just anything, anything, if anything tries to get in the way of that, please reach out to us if we can help in any way, okay? Okay. Yeah, I'll, um, yeah. I'll, pl I'll, play, I'll play the back lines for now. And if um, anything comes up to you in your paperwork, you do have a gun. <laughs> Malo smiles. Hmm. So yeah, Malo, Malo, Malo like backs up a bit. Okay, so I won't um, I won't be messing around with the I guess combat team anymore. Hmm. I guess that would be important I'm, to piece together too but yeah i, I was kind of counting myself lucky because i got out of this without a sprained arm or anything that would have really gotten in the way of my paper mm, yeah you did 
<laughs> you did good in keeping yourself alive, but obviously that was a that was that a was, real messed up situation. That was worrying. She sits down. Hmm. So, for that, keeping that in mind, it's okay to split things up and be a bit more professional about handling this next spot. Um, and then she kind of looks, hey, Arch. Yes. Um, she kind of thinks a bit. Well, I definitely think keeping you off combat teams would be particularly good. Do you, um, is there anything you think you could, uh, do for the investigation team otherwise? Hmm. Don't know your skill sets too well. <laughs> she seems actually more upset than Mallow, you can immediately see. Hmm. 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 I would like to be present around these creatures. I want to encounter them and learn from them. But at the same time, I will admit I was not useful in directly combating them. Perhaps mm. I can help in a way that doesn't involve direct confrontation. I would think so, yeah. Um, there's plenty of ways to learn about things without seeing them face to face. After all, there's different... She thinks a bit, thinks about Cassius, but then kind of puts that thought aside. Even if you cannot see them, um, I think there are ways to do research on them. And after all, you're... <laughs> I would consider you the the most premier knowledge of all the cult stuff I know. Mm. That I being said, like the... the issue is that you can't see these things, correct? Correct. So maybe we can work on trying to find a way to help you do just that so that you mm. can be receiving something out of this ordeal. Yeah. I suppose so. She stops and thinks, well, I can maybe offer something. I wish to be at least I don't need to I don't need to come with you when you're con confronting these creatures but I would prefer to at least be nearby she stands up and pulls something from her uh pack it looks like a like almost a steak um and then she uh she takes it and then places it up against the ground and almost this you see something spread out for a second and almost move throughout the room. This is a simple ward. I can't do much, but I could maybe bring some of the goods that I have to make sure that you are properly supplied. Hmm. hmm okay. I have collected a lot of... I've collected a lot of haunted things. Hmm. She pulls it up out of the ground. Yeah. I think that would be incredibly helpful. Hmm. I mean, she thinks a bit more. Arch, um, you were able to see it when you talked to Cassius, right? Correct. From his yeah. perspective, I could understand it. So that means that to some degree... There's something about Cassius and I guess us that allows that perspective and it's not just being a sensitive. Hmm. So perhaps looking into what might have occurred then. Perhaps. Uh, hmm. Teach thinks a bit. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think looking into that would be good. No, hmm. She kind of thinks a bit. Arch, um, when did you come into the city too? She thinks little over two years ago. Mm, okay. So you were here before. And yeah, Selif saw it too. Ah. I'd leave that up to your court, unfortunately. I'm not too versed in the, all the occult stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Well, for now, I'll supply you guys. Thank you. Mm. She seems at least slightly disappointed at this, but like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> That's a... Another thing we should probably... That was originally what we were supposed to talk about, but we didn't. You saying his name reminded me. We should... When Selif wakes up, we should really ask him if he even wants to be involved in this stuff, because... Mm -hmm. We basically threw him into it, and... I don't know if you guys remember, the kid just wanted to go to school. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um... Now that that thing's out of the school, he still can, but like... Mm. My only concern is that what did Oribus call him? A trouble magnet? Yes. I feel like even <laughs> if he 
he didn't he found him his way out of this mm. club let's call it a club mm-hmm. this is not a gang <laughs> <laughs> um i'd be concerned that it would still find its way towards him and i'd rather we act as a shield for the boy. <laughs> I was going to say something similar. I, I'm concerned because, well, uh, obviously we can't. I understand now the scale of what we're doing. I didn't fully grasp the large scale ramifications and factionality and all that stuff when I walked in the door with this. I understand a bit more how dangerous it is to let all that go, at least from a public hysteria perspective. But at the same time, it's not much safer not being involved. Mm. Of course, like, the the danger is running in and getting ready to fight it, but being in the loop about where they are and what's going on is arguably a safer thing. I think more correctly chose (laughs) to be asking him if he wants to be in the the fight. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's what yeah, I mean. absolutely. Okay, cool. Then yeah, we're all on the same page. We'll ask him if he wants. I don't, I don't think it's fair to force someone to fight when they don't want to. <laughs> yeah, because no, no, I'm, I'm on Team Arch. I don't, I don't want to go near those things. I don't, <laughs> <wanna look at them. laughs> you don't have to. I'll do anything else you need me to. But... <laughs> You're doing a great job, honestly. Thank you oh. again. Well, thank now, you. I don't know much about phantasms or legions or anything like that, but. Uh, I'd be interested to see what the state of Oribus is with the changing of the star signs or whatever. Hmm. Has anybody heard anything from her? I have not, no. Well, me and you would have been the last people who got to see Sela, and we didn't, so... I, uh... I was planning on basically stopping by with everyone anyways and seeing what was up. I managed to meet up with Cassius and Dodge, and everyone else is here. Song's okay. I'll see if I can stop by and sell it a little later and see if he's doing okay, if he's even awake. Hmm. Hmm. She thinks a bit. If you have anything you want to leave for him, if he is asleep, stop it with me and I'll bring it there when I go. You have a phone. Well, I mean like a gift. Oh. Well, a phone is a gift. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. A very expensive gift for that matter. That's true. That's true. No, that's a good call. Never mind. Yeah. (laughs) Get a uh, phone, get all your numbers in it, and yeah. Noctua stands up, points to herself. And what would you expect from me? Hmm. Well. Mm, what can you know. do? How, yeah. What mm. are you good at? Mm. She stops and thinks for a second. To tell you the truth, I'm not very good at investigating or keeping secrets mm. or, um, I'm new to this country as a whole. So, I'm also not good about knowing things about this place, but I can. Um, She looks around the room, it's way too cluttered for her. She's like, okay, can everybody give me a step? Uh, Like, us, yeah. (laughs) She is going to roll a gun to try to activate her shot. Um, um uh, that uh that special role that I saved, she, she can have it so she doesn't get embarrassed. <laughs> oh. oh boy, okay. Okay, uh so she in this instance is this is this advantage? Um well I guess for revealing myself, I guess is it an auto crit or how does that work exactly? An automatic success? Oh. Automatic success. Oh fun, okay. Cool. Uh, if you're if you're giving her that, sure. Um, I have it. And I don't want you to go into a bush again. <laughs> yeah, there's no bushes this time. Noctua starts to focus in, and she she holds out a hand, and um, almost like it's the same thing you saw the other night. Teach an arch. Uh, mm-hmm. Light begins to wink around her fingers, and then it focuses into a singular point, and it it seems to tape take shape and she she holds out a palm and grips it sending this rivulet down uh like down almost spiraling towards the floor and in a moment it hardens and you see something that looks almost 
got bone-like inconsistency, and she holds it up. It appears to be a very jagged spear or even an arrow. Um, it's it's about like a, it's it's about the size of herself, very long. Um, and she sort of hefts it, and then drops it on the ground, and it hits and just burns away to nothingness. I'm reasonably good at fighting. Oh. Hmm. I have I have unusual I have I have a few unusual talents. Most of them are aimed towards ending life though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Noctua, um I'll ask I'll ask straightforward then. Uh take aside what you can do and what you feel like you owe to do. Is that what you want to do? Hmm. She stops and thinks. To tell you the truth, what I want to do is I want to see the city and I want to experience it. The The monster hunting aspect of this is slightly surprising, but it does technically still fall under the purview of my job. And I expect to treat this like a job. Okay. So I will go wherever is most efficient and expected of me. My reward will being will be being able to spend time seeing the city of Indigo. Well, okay. not to not to, to take us back to the conversation that we had earlier. Um, it didn't seem like you in particular were getting anything out of that deal. So I'd like to make that exactly what you get out of this deal. Hmm. I assist with the with the monsters, the phantasms, and I get to see the city. And okay. we'll eat at every restaurant you want. <laughs> <laughs> Holds out me, hand immediately. Holds out hand immediately. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> she, uh, puts her finger up with that. Actually, um, uh, she kind of thinks of it. That that's a good that's a good timing. Actually, I think I'd like to throw a bit of a welcome to Indigo party at some point after Selif gets up to get our you know, the new people acquainted with the city. It'll be good for knowing where is where, but I think that would be a good, important task to get up while we have a moment of free time. Uh, nice perhaps for a later up. date. Um, <clears throat> I could try to work something out like that. Um, she then, oh, uh, well, anything else in terms of, well, uh, membership, I guess? Yes. I think. Oh, what do we ahead. do about the wounded, too? Mm. Mm. Well, give them rest, that's for sure. I've already convinced both of them to go back home and sleep it off. Arch yeah, seems pleased with that. Gonna, are we going to do the same thing over again the next time? That's my that concern or... as well. Uh, Well, she kind of thinks. It would be unfair to assume they wouldn't. They give a, get a chance to learn. If they keep breaking that infraction, then, well, then they'd probably be out. So, I think that's a good enough reason to keep them from not doing it over and over again. Also, mm -hmm. Cassius did have at least enough sense to leave when he was beyond health. <laughs> yeah. Um, and with that, I think I'd still want to ask the both of them if they were okay with continuing as well, but I feel like they might be. And it would be very nice to have Cassius there, too. He does like fixing up the city. Yes, he does. And that should be a little easier for him now, if he can redirect that to teaching others. Uh, but, yeah. Okay. Hmm. And, uh, policy for new invites? Closed. Closed. <laughs> and what if they do something that is essential? We make another circle around this circle. <laughs> mm, she kind of like rubs her head a bit Ugh. Uh, that sounds like management <laughs> Beretta, Beretta managing her 99 different circles <laughs> in her head you don't have know what no you idea. mean <laughs> <laughs> uh, no I think Teach is right on this front consideration as it stands right now a lot of people have been moved away from the front lines. You may need more bodies. <laughs> yeah. Arch says ominously walking past. I mean, that scholar guy was a super nerd. It was easy to beat him up, but uh, <laughs> assuming they all be around that level, I mean, 
I don't know. No, they won't be. I just have that feeling. Yeah, I have that feeling too. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to my source and really okay. grill him about what's going on here. Yeah. So I'll get back to the group on that. She that's a me head. problem. Gosh, that's thinking about that guy makes my head pound. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. I think that's just about everything. Um. Unless anyone has anything important they need to say too. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Semi-related. Mm -hmm. Completely okay. unrelated. <laughs> it's like an extracurricular activity. Cheech raises her eyebrow. Uh-huh. Yeah, extracurricular like a, is the word for it. This is like a, like a smaller, smaller conversation that I'd like to have with you specifically. I feel huh? you're ready. You, you could probably hang out. Oh, cool. Thank you. Not doing nods Teach and her eyes a the bit. hallway. Teach narrows her eyes a bit. <laughs> Circles within circles again. Is this what? Or is this something else? <laughs> no, it's circles within circles. It is. Think of it. Think of it like God. a sphere. Okay. Uh, you guys oh. have fun. We won't be too Ish. long. I actually have to beer be real quick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. One. One moment. Uh, Teach steps aside. Bretta. Um. She kind of looks. How's your? Uh, how's your arm doing? Um. Well, uh, I should have the least complaints out of anybody. It's exactly what it was, an injured arm, and I think it'll be better relatively soon. It hasn't hindered me in any way. I'm actually quite a bit used to, um, you know, getting over things like this. You're, she, she, she stops. She's going to be like, yeah, I, I just wanted to make sure that you're not one of the people that's also shirking their injuries. But, I mean, what's a little injured arm teach, like, lightly taps you with her kind of frostbitey arm and like pulls it back a bit because it hurts a little bit mm. yeah but what's I, that I carpal that. tunnel <laughs> <laughs> oh that's great wait wait so you're, you're used to you're used to taking injuries then right well yeah i'm the leader of several clubs at school most of them being athletic Mm-hmm. okay cool oh actually sometimes cool. in volleyball you take an injury and you have to go straight to softball practice and no real time mm. off. <laughs> That's fair enough. I'm just getting a bit worried. You said you've been, you've seen other of these things before when we were at the bar, so I was kind of concerned. You seem, I don't want to be mean, but you seem extra gun, gun attent, not gun shy at all. I guess that's the, huh. Well, um, when you grow up at Pietro, you learn to be that way. <laughs> hmm. Otherwise, you'll get okay. shot by your dad. <laughs> uh, the awkward are you, pause. <laughs> are you uh are you doing okay at home? <laughs> no, I can't complain at all. It's great actually. Uh, okay, okay. It's one sure. of my best sources of stability, actually. Oh. Hmm. Okay, my then. my father's a I don't know if you've met him yet, but he's a bit eccentric. Hmm, I haven't. I've heard though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, um, please feel free to use my homework homeroom for rest. After all, if, if you have a lot of clubs and activities, that's going to make that arm healing process slower. Well, that's you'd be shocked. I'm, that's that's why I joined down. your homeroom in the first place. But really? here we are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Awesome. I'm glad. I'm glad we're on the same page. Yeah, I kind of assumed that being the only person in a homeroom class would offer me a bit of respite from frowns the rest of the day <laughs> but it's, mm. um i i won't complain about the situation that i'm in it's actually proven to be quite prosperous for me excellent well let me know if you need any other help with anything okay i can at least agree to do that it's the least i can excellent. do after all the help that you've done for me well, you, you stops been... fishing around in yeah. her purse found it okay <laughs> <laughs> I have my checklist. Okay, so, what, um, we have a little plan based upon some information that I might have come across. Okay. Um, she so... sneaks and tries to grab another drink from the fridge. What's okay. up? So, you remember that little uh, project that you had me in on the other day, right? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So, I ended up finding out a lot more about him, but. Oh. That just made me hungrier for more. I need to know more about Daring Way. In fact, I need to know everything I possibly can. 
<sighs> she thinks a bit. She takes a drink, just takes a sip. Okay. I can I can do that. Um a daring way. First off, is there anything I might be able to know just from working there for like a good while now? Anything About I can like Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oof. Um yeah. What would that be my typing stat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> roll I'm that roll. Like... Roll no, just roll it. You huh? get to you okay. still get to roll. It's just a raw d twenty. All right. All right. And well, you lose your yeah. swing in doing it. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Get rid of that five. I think I actually already rolled, so it's not gonna be. Uh, yeah, it's lagging a bit. So I'm just gonna yeah, roll no. a fresh d6 after a whatever that is. Yeah. So, yeah. No, you don't get that fresh d6. It's. Oh, we don't. It is literally just a d20 because it's not oh, enhanced right. by any of your attributes <laughs> because they're fucking wounded. Yeah. All right. Eleven. Raw d20. Eleven. <sighs> he was well liked a few years back, but like, yeah, something happened. Yeah. You like you you weren't keyed in on it. You were yeah. you kept your nose out of it. Yeah. She uh she thinks, well, I know he was pretty liked up until that point. Um I don't know. I mean, about two years ago a lot of people who were pretty pretty bright and liked, I mean, things change. Oh. And uh especially events can cause things people to change. Um he seems stressed out when I was talking to him. Oh, I think yeah. this sudden shift doesn't seem like he has much of a support network of people. Especially after yeah, stuff happened. Well, really? Uh, no, I guess I can kind of see that. I think part of uh, somebody who he thought was still his support network was the mob. <laughs> Ooh. What? Yeah, did you know about that? Nope, didn't think so. <laughs> In fact, oh, I my swing. Hang on. There we go. It's gone. There we go. In fact, um, he was uh, trying to rely on three different mob families, I think, if I recall correctly. Uh, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, and the uh, mob is actually something that keeps coming up over and over again with our group, isn't it? Yeah, it's bizarre. So uh, that much, yeah. What uh, what I did find out is that he did manage to get through one of them, but then, mm -hmm. uh, don't know if you've heard this name, Jeremiah fucking Deltano. <laughs> <laughs> you wonder why he was so stressed out when you went to talk to him the other day? That guy was the reason. Oh. Oh my God, daring way. Mm hmm. Okay, I see. I see. You're. Hmm. I suppose that falls to me to talk to him about. Um, okay. God. I guess it... I mean, when money gets tight, they're always willing to toss a loan out. Mm. And teach things a bit. I'm wondering if that's really it, because... <sighs> from what I heard in their little conversation, it seems like it, mm -hmm. it goes a lot deeper than just money. It, uh, really? It's history, I think. Of oh. course, they were vague about it because it was an angry conversation and both of them just trying to pretend like they they were the more important person, but, um... Wait, you could... You something could that I the, need to you investigate. Hear, you could hear both the conversations? Yep! Yeah. <laughs> you <Easy>, sneaky. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> just, that just poked out. I'll leave that be. Uh, she... <laughs> She's like, okay, yeah, so, okay, so it sounds like he had a history, and it things went wrong about two years ago, is that yes. around correct? The night in question. So, yeah. um, I, uh, Beretta and I were doing some chatting, and we, we've come as up we with do. an idea, as we do, as we do, <laughs> we've come up with an idea as to how we can do some investigating on our own end while you uh -huh. can do whatever you feel most comfortable about with Daring Way. Because even if you don't get super far with Daring Way, I'm going to investigate myself because okay. he knows okay. things that I would like to know. Yeah. Uh, she kind of puts up her hand. Absolutely. I, I have a provision. I cannot talk to him immediately. He is in the middle of Repair, preparing and getting all this program sorted and doing tons of paperwork, mm -hmm, I would be afraid mm -hmm. if we brought that to question now, that could complicate the process. 
Oh, of course. But you see, the benefit in all of this is that he doesn't know my face. He doesn't even know I exist. Mm -hmm. So I am at your disposal in that regard. Okay. Um, excellent. She, she thinks a bit more. Well, if that is the case, um, <laughs> she kind of like, yeah, if you wanted to keep an eye on Daring Way, I will also address him directly. Sounds like you both are going to be busy. Uh, <laughs> there are a couple of... We do have plans. Members. We do have plans. Yeah. Oh, and if you could keep... You know, that, that does come to mind a bit. Um, hmm, she thinks of it. You know, there is someone else at the university I'm a bit curious about. Oh. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, she was mentioned a bit ago. Um... <laughs> uh, that Mallow is gonna... Look at the chat. <laughs> uh, that Mallow um, is attempting to. She's gonna talk a bit with uh, the teacher, um, Cot. I had a conversation with her in passing that seemed innocuous, but almost gave me a hint that she might know what's going on. And I'm a oh. bit concerned about what could happen if she got. What's going on in regards to what? the city hmm. to quote her words she said she's here to she thinks a bit uh not to quote her words uh she she's just she mentioned something or other about coming into the city to fix something about it to, to fix some kind of like mystery or some kind of to make to to fix a hole that needs to be plugged, something along the lines of that. Well, that's what everybody who's who's not from here says, and then they come here and they get chewed up and spat out. But mm -hmm. what but, an odd mm -hmm. thing for a university professor to say, especially <laughs> after she appeared and first started working here after the empty night. Now yeah, that is writing curious. That down, writing that down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you need to just understand, like. I have nothing against Miss Alcott. However, um You don't. <laughs> like a liar. <laughs> uh, How good I are do. you at lying? <laughs> you know what? You know what? Can me and Beretta sense the yeah, girl yeah. hate? <laughs> <laughs> it is our uh, area of expertise. Yeah, you I'm both roll, roll. roll to do. Yeah, <laughs> both of you roll to do. <laughs> I don't hate Miss Alcott at all. Uh, but <laughs> she, you notice, like she, her face is she's smiling. You notice that, like her, her, she's holding onto a, a glass in her hand. And uh, you know, Beretta, did what? you know that I actually hated you for a few years? Did you? I, that yeah. doesn't surprise me at all. Did you know yeah. that I actually hated you as well for a good couple of years? Yeah, I kind of guess. <laughs> <laughs> but now we're thick as thieves. <laughs> I've never stolen a thing in my life. <laughs> I don't believe you, you lie. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Tisha puts down her glass. A small crack has formed on it from her grip, her iron grip. <laughs> like, so, if you could keep a look on her, I think that would be helpful to me. And in return, <laughs> I'm going to see if I can put the screws on Daring Way after he's delivered on his side of the promise. Hmm, okay. Did you, uh, you managed to extricate yourself from the situation, and it was <laughs> like you were being fucking grilled in the corner, and the second you walk away from those two, it is like stepping out of a boiling hot room. Yeah. <laughs> uh. You just got the country club roast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh Better God. not show up to the bowling alley on a Saturday. I don't think you're Better ready. Better not. Oh. Oh, holy shit <sighs> she she readjusts herself and then comes around the corner all smiles again okay so uh is that it circle two closed mm -hmm. i think so okay. anything else no i, I think fine. that just about covers it mm -hmm. what are you two gonna be up to then we're gonna, we're go gonna plan a wedding <laughs> 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 she thinks oh you're gonna go to Deltano, then. Yeah. Hmm. Sounds like busy work. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna be quite honest with you, actually. I've been doing my part for the past few days. 
I think I'm just gonna take the day off. Okay? Take day off. She looks over at her bed. Hmm. <clears throat> Go for a walk. That I'm gonna do. Here. Um uh, actually <laughs> my bullets have rolled around now. <laughs> oh yes. Um, here's some money. Why don't you take a day at the spa? The one that we went to the other day, Bijou? Mmm, mmm. Oh. Mm. Ask yeah, for Maria. I think you'd enjoy She's that. really, really good at nails. Her for, ask for who? Ask for Maria? Maria? Okay. She she's like, I don't know if I'd hmm. Should I she kinda like hesitates on taking the money from you. Uh, I feel like you've given away enough money to them. <laughs> this, is a, this is a threat. <laughs> she takes the hush money and just like, okay, yeah, that's fine. You two have a wonderful day. Good luck. I'm sure you'll you'll really do great on 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 Mr. Deltano. That's great. Uh, she she opens the door for a second. I'm gonna I I forgot my morning routine, so I'm gonna do that and then just go. No, I'm gonna go to the spa. They can take care of that for me. You had this Teach conversation you. without Chris, brushing your teeth. This is your house. Teach you. You opened the bathroom door, and predictably, someone is inside. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> She's got her grape juice. She's got her grape yeah. juice. She oh. just sits. <laughs> Noctua. Noctua, honey, let's go. <laughs> Noctua stands. Hmm sort of ducks her head a little bit, like respectfully bowing. Micha and just actually stop you. real quick. Uh, <laughs> yeah. She actually holds her still for a moment. Um, oh, and Miss Noctua. Um, I hope that she kind of turns and kind of like looks at them now. My circle time is what <laughs> wears across. <laughs> Teaches glasses flare. <laughs> and <laughs> this is homeroom hours get out <laughs> okay um well noctua will need you for later so don't be too long <laughs> she uh waits and then and then the moment she turns back and just like just like smiles hey um i just want to make sure uh don't worry too much about no that's that's not uh <laughs> You're still free to come to the homeroom and do anything on that front, okay? I, I know this is all a lot, and honestly, I'm sorry if it's been all thrusted upon you, not just from us, but from other people. I never really got to ask, what are you majoring in, Noctua, or what would you like to do that for? She stops. I I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, she looks back out the door. I didn't think I'd be given this chance to begin with, so mm. I didn't think of a major yet. I thought mm. that I'd be staying at the school short term, but um, do I need to pick one if I'm only going to be there for a few weeks? No, undeclared. You can stay in. Um, now, I hope you'd be able to stay longer, but um, she kind of thinks a bit. I can help you with that, too. As a part of New Homeroom, um responsibilities it would follow me to help you find your way around and do anything in that front you seem to be very very interested and so i'm hoping that at the very least you'll be able to enjoy your time there and find some use for it and not just as a floodlights member i would again like to reassert that don't feel like you you can talk to me about anything in terms of that front i know a new city and a new place can be rather confusing and a bit wild, okay? Yeah. Um, uh, she's, she's gonna hit that keep blue button. Sorry, okay. roll 20 is laggy as shit, so it's gonna take mm. a second. <laughs> no, she, um, you see, you see her expression actually change a bit. Like, today has been a lot for Noctua. Mm. Um, <laughs> today's been a lot for Beretta, too. Beretta ain't showing it. But, um, mm. she, uh, she... Ooh, okay, that works. Um, she, she kind of nods and then puts, puts the grape juice down on the, uh, the cabinet over here, probably without a coaster. <laughs> um, mm. uh, and she kind of, like... She kind of nods along and uh, goes, well, okay, um, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm 
I'm very grateful to be here to begin with. Um, actually, uh, I didn't expect to be um to to be welcomed in this city to begin with. So this is very nice. Um, I sort of uh, this is my first shot in a big city, and I sort of um, I thought I might have missed my chance already. So it's nice to be um given a shot. Uh, teach something about that resonates with you. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I'm going to just be a bit straightforward. That's the kind of the reason I came up to you. Didn't feel like any had given you a shot. And I can understand how annoying that feels. I, I think you were a bit confused when I told you that you had that same kind of look and you know, all that stuff. I, I felt that would click, but I feel like I should maybe explain myself a bit more. I just feel that, well, when I first showed up to university, I wasn't going to be a history teacher. Really? Uh, yeah. Oh, why? Uh, can, well, when I first showed up, I was a lot angrier. I wanted to be a politician. Can you believe that? Uh, <laughs> she, like, actually looks a little surprised at that. Politician, I suppose, is a profession here that people can just choose nope well yes well technically yes they could but uh i really dodged a bullet with that one uh because if i ended up going through with that and joining some cabinet i'm pretty sure i wouldn't even be an indigo right now <laughs> besides it it doesn't suit me it honestly doesn't and that's kind of what i wanted to bring up with you is that absolutely you deserve a shot and at the same time you also deserve some leeway you don't have to feel like you have to make that choice now. So definitely consider what you want to do. I think you might find that after giving it some thought, you might end up working towards something you never really thought you'd do. Think about what you like, not just what you're good at, if you know what I mean. There's always time to get better at things. She... <laughs> no time for doing something you don't want to do. Teacher, are you giving advice to one of your students? I am. <laughs> do you want to roll something about it? Uh, sure. Let's roll an empathy. Okay. All right. Let's let's see. Do you? Uh, this is gonna clash. You have something else that'll allow you to this to clash anyway. That might unlock a condition, but I might do that. I'll try that. Okay. Let's let's be a bright light today and see how that. Oof. Okay. So Oof. here's what happens. All right. Um, rather than um. You you try to you try to give this very good advice that comes from a a deep place in yourself, and you wind up almost digging a little too deep. And um, you, in the process of saying this, of like, well, it's never too late to get started. You think back to where you came from, and you think back on everything that you've done to make it to this point, and um, it uh, you almost feel nostalgic for a moment, and. Um, Rather than necessarily responding to your words immediately, uh, Noctua kind of, like, nods along with you and just goes, Well, what I like right now, um, I like how different this place is, uh, and, um, I guess a big part of me had given up hope on, uh, making friends to begin with. Like, life had already passed me by, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, um, it feels like I've been given a really good chance, and I don't want to blow it. So, I'm not. That's good. She, um, uh, she stands up straight and nods. She's tall as shit! <laughs> ah, yeah. Uh, Teach just smiles at her. Yeah, that's, that's a good way. Stand tall, and, uh, don't forget that, I mean, I don't think there's too much as too late. I certainly hope I'm proof of that myself. She kind of scratches her head. Ah. Uh, yeah, you, you seem like you've got... You you know at least that much, I'd say. You want to make friends? You want to be here? I think you're doing what you want to do, so... Yeah. I can honestly just say I'm confident in you as your teacher. She she smiles at that. Okay, um, I'm going to go then. I'm going to go... Yeah, sorry for keeping you. Catch up with them. Um... Thank you very much. She nods to you and exits exits the uh, your no your apartment. Hmm. Teach uh 
you you sit alone in your apartment and uh you unfortunately yeah you saw you saw a lot of yourself in this woman long long time ago you came to indigo having felt like hell too much of your life had already passed you by but you find yourself here surrounded by a brand new set of people that you didn't know a few weeks ago and um you take no small amount of comfort in the fact that it's never quite too late to start. Hmm. And, uh, yeah, you just got reverse Uno card carded. Yeah, yeah I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are going to follow Teach first, and then we are going to address the events of your plan. <laughs> awesome. Teach, I know where you're headed. It was okay. the thing you said you were going uh you were going to do earlier. Mm. Teach, you uh you you sort of pull yourself together and you head down to Main Street to visit that last student that you haven't seen mm -hmm. yet. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> emotionally just stabbing each other today <laughs> <laughs> so you arrive at the clinic and you find the doctor waiting outside oh hello there um hello, good to see Jamie. you again good to see you yes. as well a pleasure uh, mm, how's he doing cold it's a little too cold for me to work inside, so I've been staying out here. You're not monitoring him? Oh, I check occasionally. <laughs> mm. She smiles. You can go check on him now if you want. Yeah, I think I will. She uh, she kind of steps forward, goes up, touches the doorknob. Ah. It's cold as hell. By the way, he wakes up sometimes. Hopefully you catch him during one of those periods. Oh, I hope so. Um, she goes on, touches the door this time with her different hand. It kind of hurts a bit more to touch it with the frozen-y one. No. And she grips tightly, and she turns the doorknob, and it doesn't really give, I imagine, for being frozen. No. She's like, hmm. And then she just twists it and forces it open, like... <laughs> Ice cracking on the other side as she just pulls the door open. It hurts a lot, but yeah, mm. you you open that door, um, and mm. yeah, you um, you uh, you walk inside. Let me. It moved me to the wrong page. Okay, so let's uh, I believe it's this one. Teach you um. You walk inside, and it is it is frigid in here. Mm -hmm. um, it is, yeah, like there is actual wind howling to a certain extent. Yeah. It's, Teach, uh, uh, it's cold. She was a little hot when she was there earlier. She made sure to wear an extra layer underneath the already many layers she had, because she expected right. this might be the case still from what she had heard. Yeah. Still, really cold. Hmm. Hey, Salif, are you up? You give it a sec. He is not up. Hmm. Okay. She uh she moves up a bit, and uh, kind of looks. Hmm. How's he looking? Uh. You can see puffy marks around his eyes. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> she just kind of like. Oh. Uh, she kind of rubs her head a bit. <sighs> she looks at how frozen some of the stuff is around here. Um, goes and moves and puts some flowers she grabbed and a phone case and a few other things over on this end right over here. Yeah. <sighs> and she stops a bit and she moves back. And she kind of like... She kind of... Oh. She kind of moves over a little bit again and just kind of like takes a look, notices the tears again, and she feels that kind of like an icy knife through the heart almost because that hits her in a spot 
like she wasn't really expecting. This kid, great kid, great, uh, great kid. So much, so much enthusiasm for the subject he's coming in, and so much bravery for what he had done, sticking up for them, and to see him sitting here alone in a hospital bed with a freezing just freezing and crying hits her in a spot that she did not think she'd empathize with this person on it brings her back can you roll to yeah. die for me really quick yeah absolutely oh, oh. He's in the blue. So, okay yeah you um this isn't the saddest shit you've seen in your life but it's still gonna hurt i'm gonna ping you for two damage okay Continue you on block in what you want let that inform how you play out the scene Mm hmm down to four yes sir. um all right yeah teach uh hmm yeah teach will uh lock in blue in this case yeah i'll do that um she think i don't think it's working try clicking it again there we go yeah it's, yeah teach kind of just thinks back a bit a time literally decades ago at this point where she was sitting in well basically a makeshift hospital shifting in and out of consciousness holding herself there and realizing just how alone she was in that moment a fresh well frost burns just like she has now actually coincidentally oh. enough as she thinks back to that moment the pain both physical and emotional and she sees Selif sitting there, and she realizes and remembers the worst part, the thing that had her crying. It was waking up by herself with no one she knew, no one around. And Teach thinks to, well, that. And she just she kind of sighs herself. She just sort of steps back a bit, kind of moves towards the exit, but does not walk to the exit but instead sits down in the furthest corner on this couch and just waits she holds herself there oh. in the frigid temperature and decides that at the very least she can be here when he wakes up um yeah uh teach give me another one of them rolls to die i'm sorry oh, no it's fine Ooh. Ah. ah yep teach you you sit, you withstand, you you fucking absorb uh like all of the all of this cold and yeah, you it feels like today has hit you in a lot of weird spots, but this is the one place that you aren't like you aren't necessarily willing to give ground on. And um Yeah, you uh that's weird. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. Uh, okay. I can manually change it. Uh, you can right, manually cool. change it now, too. Um, oh, great. I'll do that. Uh, so, yeah. Teach time passes, and um, it gets light. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. sun starts to peek down, and um, you, uh, you hear a knock on the window, actually, behind you. Teach kind of peeks up a bit. She kind of pulled off her lab coat and kind of curled it into a little blanket. She was laying down on the couch. And she kind of pops back up a bit, cuts, cuts the sleeves on a bit. Which window? Uh, the one immediately behind you. Oh. She turns around and approaches, kind of looking you, at who's knocking. JV? You, you look around and, like, like, almost perfectly horror movie style, you see an inky black abyss pressed up against it. <laughs> With two <laughs> eyes puncturing through you. Ugh. She steps back a bit, and then she's like, Hey, wait a minute, I think I recognize that one. <laughs> she cracks a window open. That thing ain't coming inside. <sighs> mm. She kind of like... She still cracks the window open and then like puts her head out the window. Hey! <laughs> it looks at you <laughs> what what's up with the staring it's kind of uncomfortable motions with head at door <laughs> what what motions with head at door again Mo gestures what? to you like get the fuck out here <gasps> why what 
<laughs> Why don't you want to come in? Motions up the snow? Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> but it's a bit cold. Okay. <sighs> Points to she... self, shakes head, cuts throat gesture. <laughs> she closes the window and steps outside. <laughs> you walk outside. <laughs> Teach time has passed at this point. JB has fucked off. Okay. Um, she's, she's no longer here. Let's do... How may I help you, miss? <laughs> she floats next to you and sees, um... <laughs> yeah, this lady thinks you're talking to her. <laughs> looks over. <laughs> Orbis looks over at the lady. <laughs> Teach looks at her like, this is why I wanted to do it inside, kind of look. <laughs> Everything okay, ma'am? She, she kind of, like, talks and, and plays off and talks to the lady for a bit until the, you know, like... Yeah, you, the, you, the... you give it its due, and mm -hmm. eventually she winds up wandering off. Uh, Orbis, like, gestures head over to Allie. <laughs> wow, okay. She kind of stepped up. <laughs> Real alley cat you are. Ha <laughs> boo. There are a lot of, there. you notice there are a lot of actually colorful marbles on the ground, and Orbis mm -hmm. proceeds to arrange them in the air to spell shit to you. Oh, okay. Um, she, uh, she first spells out, thanks. Oh, uh, no problem. Thank you, by the way. She shakes her head, then looks back through the window, and then spells out, Can I ask you a favor? Uh, yes, you can ask. Thanks. Watch out for him. I already planned to. So, yeah. Will do. Are you, uh... Hmm. Do you intend to do that, too? Looks back slowly shakes her head no oh really hmm you really seem to like flock around him like you were his mom or something so that surprises me why that <laughs> the mom comment stops her dead looks, <laughs> back at, looks back at him looks back at her looks back at him almost like puffs up fucking indignantly <laughs> Um, you can, you can feel the invisible how dare you occur. <laughs> <laughs> then she, she smiles. Then she settles back down. And like, uh, shapes out in the war, uh, shapes out in the air. I think you may misunderstand something. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I think I might. Can you clarify? <laughs> What scares me most, dot, 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 aren't the creatures that plague the city. What frightens me, dot, 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 is my own boredom. <laughs> and that rests in the air for a second, and then she sweeps her hand back across, almost melding with the shadows for a second. Hmm. She floats back. I wouldn't be able to survive here without a fascinating host. Um, I see. So it's all a thing of boredom for you, is it? She's gonna roll to nine. <laughs> <laughs> um, she looks back. Uh, teach roll to do for me really quick. Okay, let's do that. I let's see what happens here. I kind of want to. Mm hmm. I don't know if this is an empathy roll or not. This is. I'd like to do the light thing again. <laughs> You're going to clash with her, okay? Give it a shot. Oh, jeez. Teach is lightest. Teach is lightest. No getting fucking... Yeah, no, you're coming up against the shadow. She, uh. <laughs> She just light is warping pretty hard right now. <laughs> yeah, you're like you're like trying to understand. It's like ah, so that's it, right? And um, instead of backing down from that, Orbis uh, Orbis flares up for a second, getting actually quite large in front of you, and you realize, oh yeah, this thing might actually be a little scary. Like you mm -hmm. feel a little bit of fear. Yeah. Hmm. And then she shrinks back down again, looks you dead in the eyes. 
and um, uh, she she holds up her hands and almost relaxes. And this is frustrating because you have seen you have seen this creature uh, like lackadaisically float around and pretty much fuck with anyone and everyone in the background of every single time you've seen her. Mm -hmm. And now she's deciding to be the bigger person, and part of that frustrates you. Yeah, that's that, that <laughs> reach in the Alcott zone of disliking that. Yeah, no, uh, and like she 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 floats up again. That's the problem. Floats that out in front of you again. Unfortunately. Stops. Thanks. Unfortunately. Floats out. Another. I like Selif dot 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 a little too much to drag him into this. Hmm. Hmm. So very res I can respect that at least. Yeah. Dot dot dot. You give him the school that he wanted. Yeah. That's part of my plan. That's my job, after all. She seems to appreciate that a lot. <laughs> hmm. And in a return, I would hope that you would be able to uh, do your best to stop the side of the city that would like to take that away. I don't know, so long as that's not too boring for you. I'm assuring you it probably won't be. Hmm. She, uh, she looks back at him, then looks back at you, kind of starts to float off a little bit. The, uh, the marbles float behind her. If that's what I'm asked to do, I'll do it. I'm Aww. a familiar, after all. Aww. She gotta, like, hmm. Yeah. About that. Who are you a familiar to? She almost struggles for a second, and then spells out Battle Illman. Hmm. Don't know if I've heard that name. Um, no, not really. Okay. I just wanted to know if there would be any sort of dangerous situation where that could come and bite you or drag you away or anything like that. If that does happen, let me know so I can cover for you. Or so we you can all cover for you, by the way. She almost seems like you You walk past her and like, God, she, she had you a second ago. You just got her. Uh, and, like, she stomps both of her feet and fluffs up. Mm. And then sort of brushes past. Like, almost, like, frustrated and floats the last of the marbles. Why do you think I have to leave? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, hope to see you again soon. Um... I'll let him know that you had to go away from some business. Can I also let him know that you'll be back soon? <laughs> she stops annoyed. <laughs> I don't want to make a promise I can't keep. Hmm. Don't and know with, how I'll handle that one. And with that, she vanishes. <sighs> okay. Mm. Teach kind of steps up a bit. And goes up to the door and opens it up and resumes her vigil. Oh boy, yeah, you go back inside. And, uh, oh boy, we are going to take our quick and final break. Okay. I got some M&Ms, I'm crying in the club. Man. Grandpa, <laughs> Grandpa needs to let his cat have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't know what the crimes that cat has committed, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the bathroom really quick. By the way, hey chat, how's it going? Hope you guys are having a good time. I can't read you right now because I have 
a lot of screens in front of me with a lot of things. Same but thing, chat. Hoping you're having a fantastic day. You're like day. a hacker. God, I wish. Chat's having an attack of, I believe it's called the feels. <laughs> That's good. That's good, chat. This session's fun. I like this session. This is... Oh, hell yeah. Can't wait to see someone get buried. No, <laughs> <worry about it. laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That's plan B. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to see someone get married then. There you go. Are you gonna, are you gonna, That's the spirit. Are you going to marry Noctur or something? What the fuck are you doing? Don't worry oh, about it. There's a plan. Okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. Well, what's plan C if the burying doesn't work? Uh, then we start killing. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's always always plan C is just my red pull stat my is gun. ready. <laughs> Nobody dies in indigo. Wink. That's why I take them out of the city and then kill them. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. A mob cat. Bring plan. them out to the grassier side. Grass is always greener. So is the red. <laughs> <laughs> the red's also greener. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna brown and something. Oh, hang on. Fucking. Black Knight motherfucker standing over yeah, there. What yeah, are you yeah, looking yeah, at? Yeah. Get the fuck out of there, bud. <laughs> You've been, been there every time we've been on this map. He has. I, I was just yelling at the Black Knight. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I'm sure. Don't worry about him. He's quiet. Oh, okay. He's hanging out. He's just Hope he's not standing there when I walk home. <laughs> Teach has been through an emotional ringer today. Oh. <laughs> I did not expect to take more damage than I did in the boss fight today. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, well, well, technically not true, but you know. On the plus side, you're already at the doctor's. <laughs> I don't think I a doctor would need these right? wounds. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to the spa, so that will heal your mental wounds. Oh my god. Okay. So. Okay. It is. It is time. What we are going to do here is we are going to play out this scene with at we're going to follow Beretta and we are going to follow Bijou for a bit. Take as long as you want, etc. Afterwards, anyone who is involved with that scene, I understand it is late. Feel free to go to bed. I want to cut back to teach one more time and do not want to keep you up past four hours because that is not cool. Christian, if you are cool with it, I would like I'm to go cool past four it. hours. With you. I'm cool with it. I'm mm. fun. Take us to five. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> but I want to make that abundantly clear because I know it's late. For everyone in the in that scene, feel free to bounce after you're done. NBD. Um. So. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's. Let's, let's go to a funeral home, folks. The Hime Club goes to the funeral home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Beretta, Holy real crap. quick, you unlocked something way back in that earlier scene. What? Um, yes, of course. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. There it is. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh. It's the, the, it's the delayed reaction bond that's almost as powerful <laughs> as the delayed reaction bullet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh, an exploding boy. round. So, uh, Roll20 has broken all of my music, as it does, so I'm just going to be hunting for a track that works. Uh, you know how it is. Um, you know how it be. It's fine. The one you were playing a while back is working for us. Maybe you just need to refresh. I'll, I'll refresh. If it suddenly if it suddenly breaks and I'm banished to the shadow realm after this, I'm sorry. Yeah, it happens sometimes. It time. happens. Listen, Roll Twenty is an incredibly stable program that definitely doesn't break all of its music as you play. And wasn't made by owls. It was not. It was not. <laughs> Somebody in the chat said, Atreus, we have bonded. Now never come see me again. <laughs> <laughs> Persona rules. No, but literally that happened. Yeah. <laughs> let me see. Um, let me try to play this one that was playing before. Where are you? Yes. Okay, yeah. it works for me. Oh, Fantastic. Yes. We're Fancy. back. Okay. So you, 
Yeah, you go to Seaside, you go to the Deltano Funeral Home. It's a place that you are familiar with, but for people in Old Town, they mostly use the church for its funerary services. This is this is a different this is a different side of things. This is a far more um I'm trying to avoid saying the word just richer, but I'm just gonna say mm, richer. <laughs> Man, I love Metal Wolf Chaos. <laughs> Everything here is gilded. Okay, let me make sure everything's prepped on this map because the slug the slug has been provided. Um let me let me drop her. Optional slug added. Yeah, you got that optional slug. Uh, side, side. Doink, doink. Okay. So you approach the funeral home. It's this incredibly large and gorgeous building. This this overrotten, beautiful, honestly like fucking stone ass place in the middle of Seaside, which was intentionally built up to be pleasing to the eyes of foreign traders. And you're betting this place was spared at no expense to make it the place that were you to die anywhere near Indigo, you would pass through these pearly gates. Mm -hmm. A bit gaudy, mm -hmm. if you ask me. <laughs> kind of stands out in a weird way. Yeah, in the way that a funeral home really shouldn't. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Back in Xyphos, mostly funerals were handed by burning. <laughs> See, that's she... a lot cheaper. It is. Mm -hmm. It's it's efficient. Um, graveyards are a new concept. Well, I mean, it's gotta be pretty hard to maintain a graveyard when <laughs> the bodies could just fall out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is an interesting point. You dig a hole too yeah. deep and you just lose the body forever. Yeah. <laughs> I could see the efficiency of well, burning the bodies then. We... Well, hmm. 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 I'm just trying to make sure. Do we have all our all of our little ducks in a row before we head in? You you have established. You have set up your crew, various crews. They are on standby. <laughs> uh, you are you are set to begin the operation. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, Nakjoy, do you know what we're doing? <laughs> she looks over. Frankly, no, but I can I can go along with it. I'll be good. I, 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 I think it'll I'm be better good. if you just go along with it. <laughs> I'll go along with it. Just just give me a lead. I'll follow. Okay. All right. Um, I guess we'll approach. And as we do... <laughs> Beretta will extend her hand to Bijou to hold. Of course. Shall we, my dear? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Noctua, Noctua smiles and blinks at this. I do not understand. <laughs> she is... The process going through her head is people are so loving in this city. <laughs> Everyone is so loving. Everybody is so loving here. <laughs> you, uh... After you? Oh, you're so kind. <laughs> you slowly open the door, and a uh, man inside stands up. He's like, he's an elderly, rousing gentleman. He, he, he stands up and walks over. Oh, uh, yes, um, hi. Uh, a pleasure, a pleasure to make your acquaintance. What are you here for today? Are you here for a funeral or for a wedding? Well, it is a fissure, so of course, a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Oh, are you planning on getting married on the Day of Veils? Mm, no, we, we find that to be a bit too gaudy. We're going for the day <laughs> afterward. A bit cliche, <laughs> actually. <laughs> yes, of course, yes, of course. We'll try to get you booked right away. I'm Do sorry, I... sir. Um, is it, Could I be... Sensing that you don't recognize me. He stops and turns around. I'm 
I'm, I'm actually terribly sorry. I'm relatively new to the city. Uh, and whom do I have the pleasure of main, making the acquaintance of? Um, why don't you, when you're trying to fit us in, why don't you let them know that B uh, Beretta P Pietro is trying to get married today? Of the Pietro family? <laughs> the Pietro family? Oh, yes, yes, yes. That seems to ring bells with this man. Yes, <laughs> I'll be right back. He runs away and begins to discuss with the secretary. Come on over, come on over. That sped things up. <laughs> <laughs> Black Knight, I've been waiting to get married here for fucking you. 10 hours. <laughs> <laughs> she just whispers, I can't imagine what would have happened if I said my family's name. Who? <laughs> they go to the back of the line. <laughs> <laughs> you uh you walk you walk in and the the secretary uh like smiles at you. Reader moves away. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> um Hello. you said you wanted to plan a wedding the day after the day of ale, so the 16th. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is our uh this is actually our wedding planner, Miss Normalson. <laughs> Hi, it's a pleasure to meet you. We have many wedding aspirations. <laughs> She's doing great. <laughs> She's a natural. She takes a step forward and decides to state with confidence, do you have any birds? <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, birds would be positively perfect. <laughs> birds, 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 birds. Are you thinking, oh, you want to unleash a flock of doves when they cross no, the threshold? Absolutely not. No doves. I am terribly <laughs> allergic. <laughs> I'm actually not quite offended that you would even mention such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. to is smiling, looking, ba looking back and forth. She's like, she's happy that she appears to be blending, but is also terrified of having this this pure focus directed at her ever. Yeah. This is the scaredest she's yeah, been Noctua. in her life. <laughs> yes, if you have some sort of exotic, um, um, um. Peacocks, ooh. albino peacocks. <laughs> yes, a flightless bird would be positively divine for our wedding. <laughs> so you want us to unleash a Unleash a flock of flightless birds as you cr that would cause trouble in the reception area. Hold on, I need to be right back. Um, you're with the Pietro family, yes? Of course. Okay, yeah, I need to go talk to my boss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be real for half a second. I forgot what we were doing because I was having fun. <laughs> <laughs> I love these two so much. You guys are terrifying. Yeah. Hear me, power. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, you see, not you. Slamma. <laughs> you you see that Noctu is sweating. She's probably not sweating, but she has to lie. <laughs> She's just seeing the fucking fear that's radiating off of you. And uh, a little time passes, and you wait outside, and there's nothing, there's a little bit of silence, uh, but eventually that's broken up by a crack in the door, and uh, you see... I see a man come out. Mm, let's see here. Oh, I can't seem to move my legs. That's fine. <laughs> I will provide. This is a different pog. <laughs> hand oh, yeah. squeeze, hand squeeze. <laughs> this gentleman uh, kind of rubs his hands together and then takes a deep bow. Ladies, it's an absolute pleasure to have you here. My name is Jeremiah Del Tano. Oh, well, it's, it's a pleasure you. to meet you, Mr. Deltano. We're here to plan a wedding. Well, we just happen to be in the business. So, care to join me in my office to have a discussion? Yes, I would much rather that than screaming down the hall. <laughs> you should be able to do that now. <laughs> I gave you your legs. Yep, I got Probably it. Probably fantastic. <laughs> well then, come on in, ladies. <laughs> Jeremiah holds the door open like a true gentleman and uh, gives a polite bow once again for each of them as they pass on through. Oh, you're too kind as well. Come on, Nod. Not, <laughs> not oh, doing. I flick myself. Ah. Very respectfully nods and walks past. 
let's see here. Uh, Marissa, thank you very much for handling that. Yeah, no problem, no problem. They're, um, that's, that's the heir to the Pietro family. Don't worry. I'm well aware. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you notice as you walked on by, there was this sign over here that says, try before you die. It seems like a... <laughs> 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 Jeremiah hands behind his back. Well then, this is a, I must admit, quite a surprise. I like to consider myself a fairly well-informed individual, and I was not aware that you were uh, intimate with someone. That's wonderful. Congratulations. Oh, thank you, sir. I, I do try to keep my love life private. Of course, of course. I just, someone of your stature, I just thought that was a little surprising. But all the same, well, all the more reason that, to make the celebration even bigger. Absolutely. I 100% agree, which is why we're going to need those peacocks. <laughs> peacocks, you know, we've never done that before, but that could be rather stunning, I think. I think the juxtaposition of birds with ocean should be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Deltano, I plan for my wedding to be unlike any that you've ever hosted before. Pietro, believe me, every one of our weddings are one of a kind because we're in the business of making once in a lifetime experiences. I mean, look at our other business. He just gestures around the room. <laughs> <laughs> so, peacocks are a given. What else are you interested in? Actually, what I was interested in today was perhaps trying on some dresses. Do you have them on site? Hmm. I'm sure we could get something straightened away for you. I must admit, normally when it comes to the actual uh, design of dresses and suits, uh, whatever tickles your fancy, um, we normally do that more off-site, but I'm sure we could at least get some ideas rolling. Oh yeah, you have to understand, I'm very busy. As I'm, I'm sure you understand, but... You're uh, really uh, if, we, if we could get it done today, it would be preferable. And I think we can make it worth your while financially. Oh, of course. Uh, when Biju speaks, Jeremiah's head like snaps and looks to her. And for a moment, his smile falters when it comes back. I don't believe I'm familiar with you, miss. He extends a hand. Jeremiah Deltano. The future, Miss Tiffany Pietro. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany. Interesting. Hmm. Well, and I assume this must be the wedding coordinator that of course. Yes, yes Miss Normal, sir. Hello, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. There's suddenly a loud knock on the door. Your um uh your secretary sticks her head back in. I'm calling the tailors right now. What <laughs> <Bless> you <laughs> hmm. Yeah, so we'll have some tailors popping on by to uh, assist with that design. Uh, what in particular were you thinking? Was there a color you were? I assume for, with peacocks, probably a green. Well, no, we require white albino peacocks, so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, to match both of the brides, we'll both be in white. <laughs> ah, that makes sense. That's a very good idea. I'm very partial to the color myself. He stands <laughs> up and hands yeah. behind his back. <laughs> now then- I must say, uh, you are a very well-kept gentleman. <laughs> why, thank you. It's, you know, it takes hours to get it just right. And he brushes his hand over his bald head. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's my, I'm sure. I'd, I'd love to know your skincare regimen. <laughs> well, I could I'm apply sure just an ounce of that forehead shine to any amount of my skin <laughs> well i you wouldn't have to worry about that at all and besides this is all genes i'm afraid <laughs> so hmm no this is admittedly a pretty interesting turnaround time for a wedding he leans against the uh casket about two weeks we're looking at i'm not saying it's not doable. It just may require a little more effort, considering the time frame. Well, being the the baby of the Pietro family, I'm not used to waiting for things. I'm sure you could understand. <laughs> oh well, as a Pietro, you shouldn't be waiting, anyways. I just wanted to give you a 
heads up because the last thing we need in our life are little surprises, especially at the end with the bill. Well, of course, the price will not be a problem. Mm -hmm. I am genuinely curious, Miss Pietro. Uh, your father has a reputation for shooting often. <laughs> Our yes, he does. Yes, is that going to become a bit of a problem? Well, our firearms not permitted here. Oh, no, actually quite the contrary. Uh, I myself keep one on me all times. He pats his jacket and smiles. <laughs> oh, would you mind if I took a look? I'm just fascinated by them. Why, of course, Miss Pietro. Uh, he reaches into his jacket very slowly and he's like looking around very suspiciously at all of you. Uh, he's like waiting to see if there's a reaction at all. Um, and when he reaches in, he quickly pulls out it's a stick of gum. <laughs> I seem to have misspoken. I always keep gum on me. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Will. I would love one, thank you. Why, of course. Is there anything I can roll to, like, analyze their reaction as I was reaching for my gun. Yeah, give me a roll to do really quick. Or, no, sorry. This is this is on everybody else. Everybody give me rolls to die. And remember your bonus. Okay, she's fine. Oh, Beretta. Mm. Beretta, Bijou. Oh, yeah, no, that's a bad, uh... Bijou has, so your DC was a 10. Noctu and Bijou actually don't flinch. They don't flinch at all. Beretta, you don't flinch necessarily, but your eyes go like bug-eyed a little bit for a second. You're used to guns. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, I'm not used to gum. Yeah, no, like the fact that a gun wasn't pulled on you is why you flinch. Like <laughs> you you have this like big and noticeable reaction. Meanwhile, the other two were 100% cool as cucumbers. You know, I'm sorry, I, I suppose I was expecting a gun. <laughs> no, life is full of fun little surprises, which is why I think it's important we talk. I couldn't help but notice, Beretta, I have an eye for these things. You seem a little jumpy. I, <laughs> I make it a, a sort of responsibility as the second in command for the Deltano family to keep an eye on folks. Uh, your reaction just now, it made me think of an individual who's either looking for a fight or maybe in your case, afraid of the fight looking for you. <laughs> I can't imagine why though. That would be a big one. <laughs> well, you know, a bride does get nervous on days before her wedding. Of course, of course, it's a big day. <laughs> so, what else are we thinking? There's a, uh, there's a knock on the door. Hey, I'm the, uh, tailor. Is this, uh, <laughs> looks at all of you sitting around, feels the tension in the air. <laughs> oh, told, uh, we'd be, yes. Yeah, fitting people for dresses. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, we have very special guests. Uh, we have Beretta, Beretta Pietro and, uh, her soon-to-be wife. <clears throat> Oh, Pietro family. Okay. Yes. Um, okay. I'll uh, I'll do my best. I know you will because you always do. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> he looks <laughs> he looks genuinely nervous at this. So, uh, should we? Is there is there a private room we could use? Of course. Um, just down the hall. Um, we that is usually where we uh, demo off the bodies when we gussy them up. No one should be in there. <laughs> he, uh, he he opens the door and holds it open for you, uh, Beretta. Am I doing both, just one, or...? Well, um, I think we should start with me, and I'd mm. much prefer that Tiffany doesn't see me in my wedding gown before our big day. Of course. Oh, of course, absolutely. That'd uh, be ridiculous. Mr. Deltano, you seem to have a remarkable sense of fashion. Would you mind? Assisting? I'm actually a bit 
blind when it comes to picking out styles. True, she always wears the same green every day. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah narrows his eyes for just a moment and then a big cheesy smile. Well, I suppose I could, but I, I, my sense of fashion is far different from yours. As, as you can see, I, this is how I dress every day. Once I oh. find one thing, that's what I do. And for you, I, <laughs> oh, there's so many possibilities. I just don't know if my opinion would have any value. Uh, I, I think that you underestimate yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh. that's a high compliment from you. <laughs> it certainly is. A Pietro would never lie. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, I hate to just leave you two alone in here. Um, let me get Marissa real quick. Uh, excuse me, Marissa. Uh, yeah. Could you do me a solid? Yeah. What? what what's going on? Well, the uh, the wedding planner, Ms. Normalson, Normalson. and uh, uh, Tiffany were <laughs> uh, going to be hanging out in my office for a little bit. If you could keep them company, provide them coffee, treats of the sort. Oh, yeah, of course. No problem. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Well, Beretta, shall we? <laughs> we shall. I'll see you guys soon. Good luck. <laughs> you, uh... You guys split off, and I think we should temporarily focus on Bijou. <laughs> yeah. Now, tell me, do you have any sort of catalogs for what sort of wedding cakes and and different foods you have available, or is that something that we have to contact a separate catering company for? No, no, no. Um, we we handle the catering as well. Uh, How wonderful. Of course, the Deltano family provides everything from the cradle to the grave, including all of the food required to keep you alive. Um, she, mm -hmm. she, she wanders over and uh, actually pulls out a catalog. It's it has similar branding, shockingly, to the uh, to the, I was going to call it the fucking amusement park. You know, this amusement park you're hanging out at. <laughs> it's got similar branding to the funeral home, and she hands it over. Hmm, wonderful. Let's have a look at it at this table here. It's quite heavy. I don't want to hold it. Hmm. You, uh, you put it down on the table. <laughs> Join me, Miss Normalson. Of course, of course. She looks at all the foods. <laughs> hmm. Now, you're my dear friend, and I trust you with any sort of dietary things. I... What, are you, what are your opinions? Because I'm thinking that we should definitely have a vegan option. Oh, of course. Um, we should definitely... Noctua does not know what a vegan is. <laughs> yes! We should definitely do that. Um, we should have foods for... Struggles with a word. And turns around and looks at the secretary. Is there any sort of... Hmm. Our wedding, we want to... We want to represent the bets that Indigo has to offer. Now, these Deltano brand foods are certainly high quality, I can tell by looking at them. But supporting the local businesses and gaining some local flavor would be a good idea as well. Perhaps they have a vegan meal. <laughs> Tries to pick up uh, Bijou's pass. Oh, yes. Well, of course, there's plenty of, plenty of restaurants in town that have vegan and vegetarian options. I mean, hmm me think i'm i seem to be forgetting them at the current moment my brain is just in 10 million places at once um could you uh what am i thinking of that one lovely place down by the dock oh yeah um oh boy yeah there's a few places down there uh they aren't i don't i don't know if they do uh vegan i'll i could give them a call um i'll be right back thank you she scoots out of the room Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, the first thing she's going to do is she's going to look around before anything happens. Okay. Uh give me give me one of them rolls to snoop. Snoop is that a do or die? That's a do. That's right? a do. Do to let's, snoop. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, fuck it's all that 20. <laughs> oh, Bijou's so fucking good at that though. Bijou, you um you 
Oh boy, yeah, you quickly you quickly cast your eyes over this office, so I'm gonna give you one real juicy piece of information. Mm -hmm. Okay. In this office, you're you look you look around really briefly and you you scoot around and you're you're taking a look behind at these various ledgers and you remember what the secretary said. Um she said they handle everything from cradle to grave, sustaining the city, blah, 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 the food you eat. And you find a ledger that corroborates this. It's yes. something simple. It's just the movement of food within the city. Oh. Now, the Deltano family doesn't charge an insane rate. They, they have a deal worked out with most of the farmers around the city. They work with the farmer's guild. They make sure people don't get absolutely price gouged. And mm. you're flipping through really, really fast. Um, mm. And this is your reward for a 26, and you stop on the page of the university. And those prices look mighty high. Like, mighty, mighty high. And... Wow. <laughs> something... The air in the room changes as you come back around to look at the, uh... To look at the catalog. Your, your eyes look down at it again. And um, you feel almost like the slightest bit of cold wind in the room. And you're not, you're not quite sure exactly where it comes from. But you, you feel this chill. Like, and then um, <laughs> you, uh, you feel something behind you. <laughs> Give me a moment. And a face, one that you could probably never forget if you saw it once, is grinning down at you from behind a fan. My, my, did you find everything you're looking for? I certainly did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, she, she looks you up and down. You can really only see her eyes but you can tell there's a smile. Well, uh, I'm not entirely certain where Jeremiah has wandered off to. I apologize for such rudeness. Oh, don't mind. We we were being... Oh, where did that secretary go? We were being attended to, really. He's off with my fiancé. Oh, I see. <gasps> How lovely. Like, uh, the air changes when you mention fiancé. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the door cracks open. Uh, hey, yeah, called a few places. There there are local... Oh, hi. Um, I didn't expect to see you here today. She goes into a deep bow. <laughs> oh. So, I would like to say one thing. Okay. <laughs> Is that... I knew that this would happen, and when I had said she takes a look around, it wasn't to look at stuff. It was to get a cursory view of the room and who might be doing what she is doing. Oh! But, okay. But if we want to play ball like this, I'll go with it. Okay, fantastic. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Delilah turns around. Oh, it's not a bother at all. Uh, I'm just glad to see that uh, everything's being handled. And besides, I needed to be here to ensure that the kitchen was managing the various delicacies necessary to uphold the Deltano name. Of, of course, of course. Um, if they're with you, they're in good hands. Um, just call if you need anything. Of she course, dear. Thank you. Smiles and closes the door. Hmm. My, my. A wedding. How very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> you just feel the poison in the world. <laughs> I'm, hmm. I'm, I'm debating something right here, right now. Okay, okay. <laughs> can you give me a minute to think? We can cut over to Jeremiah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Well, well. This, this casket seating area is just lovely. That's yes. so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, you know, uh, admittedly, our initial purpose was for the departing, not just putting people together. Um, so there's been some necessary revisions, and honestly, it's embarrassing. We should have gotten to this one first, but we really wanted to focus on making sure that everything else was ready to go. Um, I don't, no, I'm actually fascinated to ask. Um, there haven't been very many deaths in Indigo recently, have there? <laughs> there certainly haven't. And uh, admittedly, it's been... This sounds macabre, to put it mildly. Uh, I think it's rather concerning, not even from a business standpoint. <laughs> but I can because see how it would hamper your business. It does, but that's not why I'm concerned. It's Why are you concerned? It's unnerving. It's uncomfortable, the concept that people don't die suddenly. You know? I can that see how that could be an issue. It doesn't weird to a... you out? Well, of course it does, but I would never wish for bad health on anybody in this city. Of course not. <laughs> I mean, uh, but... However, yeah. as one young capitalist to another capitalist, I could see how it might put a hampering on what you might be doing here. And especially considering our lines of work. So... <sighs> it at first it was one of those things where it was like ah business is down but so be it these things happen but after a month you have to raise an eyebrow and go okay what's going on here that's not right have you so, looked into this matter at all he spins around have you no, like I said, I would feel guilty wishing death upon anybody, even if it did make my gun seem more useful. But <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Well, I think sure. it should be applauded that your organization was able to adapt so quickly on the turn of a hat, really. I thank you very much. Um, Delilah was not enthused about the concept at first, but she eventually agreed. Now, I've been looking into this for a little bit now, uh, but honestly, it's all so very boring. And we need to talk about you and your big day with, um, oh gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm so bad with names. I, I um, Tiffany. Tiffany. <laughs> My lovely bride to be Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany. What a wonderful name. <laughs> Do you know any? No, I've never met a Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see you haven't been to Wilder's Hook then. Such a shame. <laughs> <laughs> I like to pride myself on knowing just about everyone in Indigo. It is my job and responsibility. You see, I have the luxury of being known as the man who's buried the most people in Indigo yet never killed one. Because is so? I, it is. It's a very interesting fact that I'm quite proud of because I think it's far more important to gain information. Information is, God, I love it because you can, <laughs> it's so much more scary than he reaches into his jacket. Gum. <laughs> Bread well, I can see how that. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Over the course of this conversation, as Jeremiah launches into each of these lines, this guy basically measuring you for the dress, it goes from being like a, yeah, this is a distraction to actually being terrifying. Like, <laughs> he's, he like measures your arm and it feels like you're being held in place. And like, <laughs> this is a shockingly effective uh, intimidation tactic. I'm so know. sorry, girl. <laughs> 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 but we shouldn't be thinking about death. We should be talking about life and the beautiful life that you and Tiffany 
are gonna have together. Oh, with all those albino peacocks and <laughs> you know, I'm I'm very excited to see how that's gonna all pan out. Oh, I'm very trusting that you guys will be able to manage a beautiful day. Hmm. <laughs> well, it's our commitment to ensure that your commitment turns out beautifully. <laughs> 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 Should we come back to the other room? I feel like that's a good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, okay, let's come back over here. Meanwhile. So how's Delilah looking? Um, she she definitely has like a little bit of sourness, but then it comes back to the smile. Like she clearly took like a deep breath and got back into, um, what what you would assume is her normal. Uh, 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 presence. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, Bijou has the catalog or whatever, and she has casually made her way back over to this seat and is just flipping through it. Now, hmm, I'm looking through this and at all the different, the different array of things that you have to offer, and yes, oh, I, I can't help but wonder. What is it, what is it that, hmm, that Snake Daringway might have done to cause you to charge him so high? <laughs> <laughs> Whip it out. <laughs> uh, Delilah smiles and uh, she just goes, well, you clearly are very good at your job. <laughs> or I would presume. We had this lovely article about the um, university discussing such glorious changes that I knew when I first read it. At first, I believed to be, well, malarkey, to put it politely, but then I saw that Darren Way wasn't the one making the changes, so my faith in the honesty of the grapevine was restored, thankfully, and I'm very interested to meet this Martha Teach who's interested in change, unlike some people. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, there is a slight hike in price for the university. Now, normally if I were to share such information, I would be quite concerned where it might venture off to. So, can you enlighten me why I should indulge such details? Well... Did you know that on a list of names, that the Deltanos were the very last ones he called when he was in trouble? Delilah actually cocks an eyebrow. He contacted us. Yes. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> this is a wild he may club. <laughs> Delilah slowly turns. How fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> Information so important these days, after all. <laughs> it is my line of work. <laughs> and your name is? Oh, it's certainly not Tiffany, but your friend doesn't know that. Hmm. <laughs> well, I guess we can both keep secrets from one another, can't we? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Then what do I have the pleasure of calling you, miss? Is oh. it Bijou? Well, that is the name that you might have heard um, on that paper, but no, I'm surprised you, you being the most canny, you wouldn't have recognized me, though, yes, that's the point. Chantilly Iris, you know my father? <laughs> I am aware. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, boy. So, I'll be straight with you. I'm here because I want to find out what Daringway is doing. And why he has chosen to align himself with... Well, he tried to align himself with sorts that you wouldn't expect. You consider us to be just a negative sort? No, of course not. But I, was, I was going to say, considering your position, you would understand that we are allied. 
Do you mean we as in our collective of families, or do you mean we as in yourself and Daringwit? <laughs> our families. Yes, of course. But here's the thing. As a fledgling who is yet to spread their wings, not a lot of secrets are handed to me as a gift. Hmm. Understandable. Uh, Delilah, uh, she actually uh, lowers her, her fan and uh, gives you a very, very small smile. Well... The reason is because Darren Way betrayed us. I we had. Much. Hmm. I bet you did. No, but barely. Hmm. Just that phrase, and that's what's got me so curious. Go ahead. Yes. Well, you see, the deal was simple. Should we need assistance, the university would assist us, and vice versa. It's a very simple deal. Nothing wild or crazy. There's, and I can't stress this enough. There was no blackmailing or trickery. It was just a sign of good faith. Well, on the empty night, as you're well aware, cops went crazy. Vile bastards. My apologies, such language. <laughs> <laughs> but the Riviera family needed to get involved, which involved us Deltanos. And all that we requested of Darren Way was to keep the university open. He locked us out. Every one of us. He hid in his little fortress to protect himself. Because he didn't want to deal with the consequences despite the fact that he agreed to our terms. He had nothing, there was nothing more he needed to do than to keep his door open, but he closed it. And then he has the audacity to ask for opportunity to knock once again. No, Deltanos shan't. So, we came up with a admittedly rude action, but considering the way that that night played out and we lost a large portion of good men and women from our family who helped ensure the security of this town when the cops did not. We decided to raise the price on food, specifically for the university, with the hopes of either him resigning, coming back and apologizing to ensure a form of truce once again, or at least what he's doing now, taking a heavy slice to his salary to ensure that his students may eat. Now, I need to make this very clear. We want the university to succeed because it ensures a brighter future, brighter civilians, a brighter populace. But with a man like that in charge who's willing to throw away everything just to keep his own skin, is that really someone you want to lead the people? with such moldable minds. Certainly not. I'm glad we agree. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> well, I suppose my curiosity into his situation has dragged me into all of his trouble, so you'll have to apologize to me for that later. He doesn't even know I exist, so. <laughs> That's a shame, because you're quite charming, Bijou. <laughs> She just smiles and gives her like a cheeky look. <laughs> hmm. Now, I've, I've been rather open with you. Hmm. Is there any fun, interesting things regarding Daring Way in the university that we Deltanos might not be aware of? Because. We like to ensure some form of control. Obviously not to manipulate the people. That's the last thing we want. We just want to ensure the safety of everyone. And this town has been strange for a while. Indeed it has. What could I give you in return? You know, with this line of work, of course, I've been sworn to secrecy for many things, but... Let me just think on it a moment. Was that small bit, was that secret at all? 
I gave you I a pretty good that... secret. Yes, you did. You did indeed. I don't think that this little bit is a secret that I was specifically told to keep to myself. I don't know where he got them, but he was in possession of several police badges. Delilah cocks mm. an eyebrow. Mm. That is very interesting indeed, dear. Did you happen to find the names on those badges? No, unfortunately not. It was a very heated moment. I wasn't supposed to be there. He didn't know I was there at all. And... With, uh... With all of the chaos that the police did... Did ensure through all of that. I see. I'm not sure... Uh, I was just going to say, is there anything that I can roll to mm. determine if Biju is lying about not knowing any of the cops? Because that's not true. <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's this... true. I didn't even catch on that. I just said it. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh boy. Yeah. Uh-oh. My bad. Biju, give, <laughs> give me a roll to die. Um, no, Del my defense in that is that she was specifically talking about the badges yeah. that she mm -hmm. was looking at. She yeah. doesn't know about Cassius's badge that he has. <sighs> so you want to do a roll to what? Uh, give me a roll to die, Biju, really, really quick. Let's let's see what that looks like. Oh boy. Praying. Boy, I'm, I'm sorry to bring the keep back to you, Siv. It's okay. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna do a roll to do for Delilah. Um, let's let's do this. <laughs> hey, can I get a can I get a fucking uh, match my steps or something going on here? <laughs> oh, and attempt to clash against her? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Um, so. In this instance, you would attempt to match your steps to Delilah, setting her to the same color, and this would become a clash. So, let's let's give this a let's give this another roll. Um, so instead, uh, you can lock in any of that those colors from that roll to die if you so wish, and you get to roll to do now. So that is a crit for Delilah. <laughs> what are we supposed to do? <laughs> oh, like this investigation crazy. going badly. <laughs> um, I feel uh, like we can't beat her. No, you you can crit too. It's okay. You can you can do this. <laughs> okay, so I I roll to die again. Or? You roll to do. You you hit that roll to do button. <laughs> nope. Uh, uh, good try. Uh, it was a good try. Oh, Delilah. Delilah, you smell something is fucking fishy about that. Really? Uh, I would say also, yeah, I'm gonna give it a sec of that's fishy, and then, uh, Brennan, I would say the investigation has hit a snag. It activates my secret action. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we'll give this a sec. Uh, Delilah, you get a second. You get some time of grilling. I see. How oh, very interesting. Mm. I've never been a fan of liars. You know, I met a liar once. He toyed with me for quite some time. Played my heart real good. Do you know what happened to that man? She leans in real close. I watched him drown. <laughs> I... At that, you feel a tug suddenly, and Bijou, you are just put behind Noctua. She doesn't really offer anything beyond, like, physically inter... Mm -hmm. Like, she physically interjects herself, and she is very tall, and she just puts a hand behind her. You have been extremely gracious with us so far, but I think you've gone far enough with her. Delilah lowers her fan again. Heavens, I must admit, I have been incredibly rude. I must admit, my curiosity got the better of me, and I should not have assumed that a reporter would lie or provide misguided information. My, uh, 
she looks like she's about to say it, and then she catches herself. That was very rude of me, Biju. She bows again and gives like a actually a little curtsy to amend such a crude activity that should not happen involving a Del Tano, especially Madame Delilah Daffodil Del Tano. I would like to provide you. She, like with a flick of her wrist, a black card appears in her hand. These are Del Tano Dinah Delicacy cards. <laughs> uh, and she hands them to you. It is a pure black card, but like if you get it in the right light, you can see the Deltano crest, which is um, just, it's kind of got a, like a fish, it's, it's like ocean themed essentially, mm -hmm. but it's like mm -hmm. this gorgeous like purple and blue chameleon shimmer back and forth. But then like, if it's not in the light, it goes per back to perfectly black. Mm -hmm. Provide that at any of our wondrous cafes, diners, restaurants, wherever you please present that and dinner will be on me, personally. Well, I very much appreciate that. And almost... She kind of, like, oh, like, looks down at the ground. It's like she's been, like, thinking since since Delilah did the whole, like, oh, I'm gonna fucking kill you. She's been thinking, <laughs> like, turning it over in her head. She can't tell what set her off. She doesn't know what lie she thinks she heard. Oh, oh, oh. Bichu doesn't fun. know that she lied. Oh, now that is interesting. Mm. Um, and like, Noctua does her best to interspose herself between you two. But yeah, no, there's only so much a giant slug in the way can do. Mm -hmm. But there's a noise from the far side. It's almost like a like a like a smashing sound and you you hear you hear a disruption someone yelling Brennan would you mind reading out your secret action oh i'd love to hold on let me find it <laughs> oh boy got it okay um the bullet has rolled around the harp the secret action is that if bijou's snooping goes south Harp is on standby, on standby with the boys at a nearby eatery, ready to make a big ruckus and distraction for us to maneuver around when they get here. <laughs> so, that eatery I interpreted as this eatery. So, there's a ruckus happening on the far side of this funeral home. It cuts through the tension like a fucking knife. Delilah, what do you do? Uh, if y'all excuse me, there seems to be uh, a disturbance of some sort. I wish you the best of luck with your wedding. <laughs> and, De and Delilah goes out. Uh, and calls after her. We'll talk soon. <laughs> uh, Noctua relaxes for a second and then actually grabs both of your shoulders, pointy fingers sort of digging in. Hey, hey, are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm just trying to figure out why she got mad. Normally I'm good at reading that sort of thing. I guess we're going now, right? Uh, I, I I guess. Um, do you want to investigate more? Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, no, I'm I'm seriously confused. What did I do wrong? Um She's like she's fidgeting. Hmm. Okay, if you say you're okay, that's that's okay. Um hmm. let's 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 find I think I figured out a mm, decent bit. Uh with a cursory look, is there anything really quick that I can glean? Um, you can maybe take shit if you want. Oh, <laughs> like, I'll take pictures of the stuff that I was looking at really quick. Oh boy, okay, you yeah, did. you 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 file through uh, Jeremiah's desk and you take some pictures. Um, Noctu is looking back and forth. Um, and uh, she 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 looks back at you. Okay, you ready to go? Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, Brit is smart enough to get out of here. Pfft, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Meanwhile, Beretta, a disturbance has just occurred. Jeremiah, what are you going to do? Ah. Uh, hmm. Okay. If you'll excuse me for just a moment, I hate to be rude. Oh, I'm sorry. Marissa! <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to talk about my bridesmaids' gowns. <laughs> of course, Beretta. Believe me, darling. You, they're gonna look 
spectacular, yeah. but not yeah. as one of the, what the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> there's, um, there's a disturbance on the far side. Uh, so Mr. Del Tano, I'm losing my patience. <laughs> oh, Ms. Beretta, please, just, just a oh, moment. Oh, he no, looks to Marissa. Yelling. There's perfect yelling. Send more guys over there. <laughs> <laughs> but, and then, and then and there, the wait, <laughs> you have things to do, darling. Very pointedly, he looks to her. Remember, no violence. That's not what we do. She uh, nods. I am terribly sorry. This seems to be a small kerfuffle, and I believe um, your soon-to-be missus is uh, uh, done with waiting. Hmm. But Tiffany, what? Tiffany, stop! Stop! You can't! You can't see her. <gasps> I don't care. We have to go. I'm <laughs> what did you guys do to her? I you didn't have vegan ice cream. <laughs> no vegan. I, I've been a vegetarian for my entire life. <laughs> German knows eyes. We absolutely have vegan ice cream. We are the Del Tano's. We are the master of food. How on earth could we not have that? Not too much. <laughs> Did I miss the page? <laughs> not too much tries to lie. We were discussing. We were discussing the local eateries, of course. The, the ones that could provide food because we want a taste of indigo, not just the Del Tano brand. It is a failure of those other places and not yours. Del Tano, uh, Jeremiah raised an eyebrow. You realize the taste of indigo is the Del Tano's, right? <laughs> <laughs> She's I'm, I'm uh, Mr. Del Tano, allow me to apologize for my wedding party. <laughs> We just, uh, we simply have a, a maid of honor who is very, has a very long list of allergies, and we'd hate to trigger any of those. Oh, of course. I couldn't agree more. That's absolutely important. I just find it curious is all. <laughs> I'll obviously speak with everyone. Uh, most notably, um, the madam of the Del Tano family, seeing as she is the head chef and the biggest reason indigo has the taste it does. Oh, well, that's fascinating. Yes. <laughs> I get the feeling she, was, she like, and I have a thing out in the hall and like stomping it's her okay. foot. It's okay. She, She's very upset. J Jeremiah looks uh, at all of these women and uh, as he comes out the door, he just smiles. I get the feeling that considering who you folks are and what precisely has happened today, I think Delilah and I are gonna have a lot to talk about to make sure that the next time we meet, it's unforgettable. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I bet you have a lot to talk about. Make sure you get all of your information on the table. Let's go, honey. <laughs> Fake pouting, stopping the line. <laughs> you thinking in her head, but you won't tell Delilah that you were on the phone with Daring Way, will you? <laughs> Uh, the two, the two by the door, uh, <laughs> the two by the door wave you out. Thanks for visiting the pearly gates. <laughs> oh, I'm sure we'll be back. Long, like, like a daisical wave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> you make it outside. <sighs> Ooh, As they're the running away, Bijou just continuously, I'm sorry I messed up, I'm sorry I messed up! <laughs> no, it's fine. It was a very difficult situation that I had to put you in there. How did it all go? Oh, um, well, not a bit of dirt. Uh, missed a couple steps, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> we well, I'm sure we have a lot to go lot. over. Oh, boy. <laughs> Noctu you were, walks ahead. You were great in there, Noctu. I don't think yeah. I was. I don't oh, think I'm well. Fine. I don't think I'm well suited to espionage. All of my lies sound like um. She stops and thinks. While I'm thinking of them on the spot, how do you lie like you've thought of the lie before you say it? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. I just do it. Yeah, same. <laughs> I guess you either have it or you don't. Yeah, you let the panic take over usually. Oh, I've I've done my best to never show any panic, but. You two don't either, so... Are you panicking right now? 
Yes, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I hope. Maybe we'll stop by for ice cream on the way back. <laughs> well, let's make sure it's vegan. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, you exit the Deltano funeral home. A little bit, a little bit wiser, a little bit scareder. <laughs> you managed to obtain the information that uh, Darren Way fucked up <laughs> so yeah. bad. Yeah. And the question is, what do you do with that? You also get the feeling that your next conversation with the Deltanos might be under different circumstances. <laughs> so, this is the point where I'd like to invite anyone who can't stay up any later to, uh, to, to please go to bed. Um, get the fuck out of here. We love get, you. Get the fuck out of here. We love you. Uh, we are going to follow up, however. Thanks for giving me PTSD, Will. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I, love I you may too. just be a humble southern lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> you guys did so. So good. That was phenomenal. So, Teach! Uh, oh, yeah, boy. what? What's up? <laughs> teach, it gets light. Okay. You're forcibly ejected from the clinic. <laughs> That's fine, whatever. You are not allowed to stay any further because a certain someone is taking over your shift. Um, okay. Siobhan is staying behind, and there's still a little bit of daylight left. So, mm. uh, teach. There's a few yeah. things you can do right now. Mm -hmm. You could go hit up that spa. You could, alternatively, catch up with the friend who texted you this morning. Hmm. Okay. Huh. The choice is yours. Just let me know what you're planning on. All right. Do I know the friend? Yeah, a certain man uh, by the name of Garm. My boy. I have yeah. to. Okay. <clears throat> so, he is over on Hall Street, so I just assume yeah. you're going to navigate your way over there. Absolutely. I got... I got my... We'll take that spa day a different day. I got a nice chill bath, I guess, so... I got, I got yeah. some time to just sit down and relax. Okay, so you're doing that. Okay, okay. Mm. Um... Teach you, um, you start walking over there, and there's a few stops on the way. Shortest path is to cut through Cassius District, and you'll, you will pop in and check on him and check on everything just on the way over, naturally, okay, to make yeah. sure that nobody is out of bed. Mm -hmm. But I have to stop you early, because you don't even make it that far. Oh, okay. So, Teach, mm -hmm. you walk onto this screen. Uh -huh. <laughs> And you see someone hopping back and forth on a uh, on a thing of hopscotch. <laughs> she yeah. jumps to the first position, then the fourth position, then the first again, then the fifth position, then the seventh position, then the ninth, then the fourth again, then the first, and then all the way back to the fifth. And then she just hmm. holds herself still. <laughs> you you clap and she turns around looking she looks at the box for it first and then sees you oh hi teach she Hello walks there. over breaking uh like walking through the fucking hot scotch mm -hmm. <sighs> having a riveting <laughs> evening i see yes i'm testing one of the legends of the city uh which one it's Something of an urban tale. If you hmm. jump on this hopscotch in exactly the right order, the person that you want to see most will appear in front of you. Really? Did it work? She looks at you and smiles. I'm pleased to say it worked. <laughs> she smiles. Oh, like, she just very like, slightly. She holds her hand up. That's very kind of you. Um, she, she turns around and looks down the way, uh... Uh, like, there's this long path to the overgrown district, looks back. I was hoping to speak to you alone, actually. Um, okay, sure thing. Near the end of the month, I've been invited to something of a social get-together. Oh, really? I've, I've been asked to bring a plus one. I was hoping you would accompany oh. me. Oh, 
Oh, really? Of course. What uh, what social get together would that be? It's a meeting for all the small business owners on Hull Street. It's being held oh. by. Actually, hold on. She reaches into her um, uh, what you call it? Uh, she reaches into her coat and pulls out a uh, pulls out a card, and um, God. It sure is the same inky black card that the other party just received. Yeah, I see. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She kind of like inspects it on the front and back. Well, alrighty then. Hmm. Let me think. She thinks about the day. She thinks that she'll be busy. If she's not, well, um, I can make time. She, uh, can I keep this too? Mm -hmm. Or is it uh, better you keep this and then I just come with? Oh, no, that's okay. You can keep it. Excellent. She slips it into her, her lab coat and then raises a hand forward and then takes Archer's hand for one moment and kind of takes a small little bow. I would love to accompany you. Oh, <laughs> that she she doesn't like 100% respond to that. She simply nods along and Arch doesn't smile, really, but you can get the impression of when she's smiling internally. And yeah, yeah. no, you're getting that vibe currently. <laughs> Teach does smile very openly when she realizes she's getting that vibe. And uh, she just like, huh, yeah, hm, that's very exciting. I was actually potentially going to ask you if you would like to have gone somewhere as well, but that's, I think that's a good one. I think that's good for me. I like that. <laughs> Nods. Um... And then, like, starts to, uh, like, stands up, having accomplished her goal. She starts to just walk away like she does. <laughs> okay. She <laughs> smiles. And she kind of turns around. Person you're most want to see, huh? <laughs> hey, Arch! <laughs> the corner. What's that combo? What, what do you got to do? I'll, uh, I'll type it out for you. All right. She, she recites that and then exits. She stops for a moment. Smiles and then thinks, "Wow, real quick doesn't hurt." One, four, one, five, seven, nine, four, one, and she lands the fifth. Who are you thinking of? Hmm. I wonder <laughs> who. Is hmm. it somebody who hasn't been able to leave your mind all day due to a certain event? Potentially, yeah. Is it someone related to a flaw of yours? Potentially, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Teach, you, uh... Oh, man. You, um... You hop down on that last one, and, yeah, you, uh... You, uh... You touch down, and... Fucking, of course, nothing happens. Yeah. Mm. Nothing like that exists. <laughs> she kind of stops again and pumps her chest a bit, but I do. <laughs> Teach down this way. <laughs> okay. She stops. Wait a minute, I'm going the wrong way. She says, she's like, broken. I'm a broke. <laughs> I'm a machine broke. She starts uh, proudly heading off across the bridge. Yeah, you, uh, you wander away. Meanwhile, um, arch down the, uh, down the line. She, uh, she peeks back, having realized something. She just fully processed, like, teaches own, like, sort of awkward, like, oh, man, uh, I was actually going to ask you out to something as well, but I guess this is good enough. Turns it over in her head, two plus two, doing math. <laughs> thinks about the holiday that's coming up, and then an actual deep blush colors her entire face. Oh, and yee. she goes back and starts walking <laughs> off. Meanwhile, Teach is sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, you you walk over to Hull Street. You check on Cassius. He's doing paperwork. Um, hmm. and you uh, yeah, you, you arrive over here. Okay. Oh, you've got a mind absolutely full of heavy thoughts. Hmm. So she just kind of like relaxedly saunders off across the street, kind of just looking ahead. Um, Stop right there, really quick. Mm hmm. You make it this far, sort of lost in your own thoughts. And uh, suddenly something hits you, and you hear the mm -hmm. 
slightest squelch. Thunk. Oh, ah. hi. Hello. Sorry. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Oh jeez, I'm I'm real sorry about that, miss. No, don't worry about it. You're hard at work, no problem. You look down in her hand and she's carrying uh what appears to be a bag of food from the underworld. As you can see <laughs> oh, it is. Break? Or delivery. Uh delivery actually. I got a guy who's being real gruff and tough and doesn't want to go there in person because he's too shy about it. And he wants me <laughs> to come and deliver it to him. Oh yeah, really? Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Uh, she kind of stops for a bit. Prying. What was her name? Oh, uh, you know, I can't actually just tell that to you. That's very illegal. <laughs> and I'm not known for doing I... that. Oh, okay. Fair enough. She just kind of nods. Make a roll to die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, um, uh, that's a ten. You beat the ten. Okay. I got yellow locked out. No, you do not beat the ten. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, thanks. <laughs> yeah, no got problem. So She's going for forward. Ha <laughs> ha. Nope. I owe you blast off, and you see um, you see your boy, at the end of the street. Hey, hey, Garm. Oh, hey, uh. How's it going? Um, I, uh, God, you doing okay? You got a hell of a look on your face. Oh, do I? Hang on. She kind of like slaps her cheeks a bit and smiles up again. Yeah, sorry about that. I've just been, oh, it's been a wild day. Yeah, it's, this has been one of the heaviest in a while. I don't like paperwork. Yeah. yeah, I don't like it either. So that's why it's my off day. So I thought I might as well just stop by and see how you're doing. Yeah, um, doing pretty good. Thanks to you, mostly. Last resort's getting more work. We're working with the university now. Yeah. Kind of like I'm flexes an arm. Out. Yeah, we're a real one-man army, but hopefully, maybe, they might actually give more people to you now. Yeah, no university's paying us for some of what we do so we can hire people Wait. again. Maybe you can get a good meal. I'm thinking about, like... I'm thinking about asking for an alliance between us and all the small detective agencies that exist around here. Oh. Like, we've all been working sort of independently so far. I think it hmm. actually helped now that we have money joined together, you know? Yeah, maybe so. Um, well, I was going to... Well, I'm going to be working with one of them. The Palm de Terre Detective Agency. Oh, yeah. They're, they're great. Uh, no, they're great. A nice guy, and he's going to be working at the university with us. Potentially. Oh, wow. He's doing paperwork now. Yeah, there's there's that one. There's the, there's the guy who works on the far side of town, Sonder. A um, mm -hmm. <laughs> few others. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to reach out, see what I can get. Yeah. I might try to honestly scout that Dodge kid. He's good. Yeah, well, he's going to be there, too. Ah, yeah, anyone you can grab. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, ah, that's work, though, okay? That's not, that's yeah, not Yeah, no, that's, that's work. I, I, that was supposed to be a smooth segue. Um, he, like, okay. he, he like, slicks <laughs> back his hair. I was, um, like, it's been a while since we hung out in any respect. Mm. Like, I got busy. Yeah, really. And your life's taken a turn for the better. I mean, you're the damn hero of the university. My life's taking a tur you, turn for the better. I've got a job again. Um... So I was thinking, how about I take you out for drinks one of these nights? Oh, she kind of thinks of it. Drinks, huh? Hmm. She kind of thinks, that's the second time I've been asked for that. Like a date? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I think I'd like that. He smiles. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, like later this oh. week, sound good? Sure. Martha's got a lot of dates lined up this month. Oh, um, really? Yeah. Who's the who's your who's the other? A nice other... lady named Arch. Oh, she works at the pawn shop, right? She does, and she's very pleasant. Oh, she seems nice. Ah, oh, good she, on you both. She's adorable. Um, she smiles a bit, and you are too. She kind of pats your shoulder. <laughs> hey, thanks. Uh, teach you um, you pat his shoulder, and in doing so, move him out of the way slightly.
and um, see people heading towards you. No. Oh. Three, uh, three calamity tempest folks spot you. Start, start walking up. Hang on a second. I think I have guests. Uh, hello. Yeah. Can I help you with anything? Uh, this man up front walks forward. His steely gaze focused on you. <laughs> it's been too long. She blinks. No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> That's Uncle yes. Bear? <laughs> <laughs> Garm walks over. Oh, okay. I guess it's fine. <laughs> and then walks back. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not, uh, not the water bears anymore, so you don't gotta call me that. Um, just Sid's okay. fine now. Okay, fair. Yeah, I heard about that, that little name change thing. Yeah, um, I don't, there's no easy way to say this, but our boss wants to talk to you. Uh, oh, okay. Garm takes another step forward. You sure you're okay with this? I mean, he, she stops a bit. That was kind of my off day. Um, she turns, yeah, I'll be fine. I was expecting this to happen eventually. She kind of, like, pats her shoulder. On for that date. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Walks uh, off and... Now? Yes, it would be mo... It'd be best for everyone if you did it now. Okay, sure. Let's let's go, then. You, uh... You walk with Sid and your Tempest Escort. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Christian. <laughs> Don't worry, oh. two good things happen to teach. Two, two good things happen today. That's we're good. That's, that's fine. You uh, what the fuck? You head to the, oh, boy. Boy. You head to the Tempest headquarters. Teach, you know this place. Mm -hmm. This is the old city hall that's been remodeled into a fortress. This, this place used to be a combo of the biggest library in the city outside the university and the place of political power. It's been taken over. Red spotlights of, in these, like, awful, horrible devices <laughs> radiate a constant and just hideous light that always pollutes the light within Old Town. This is very dour, Sid. I'm not a fan of it myself. <laughs> Uh, thought maybe I mean got news on the paper I'm sure you like if it's about that it's fine like like yeah it is about that okay cool then I feel confident <laughs> I feel confident I feel confident you go inside this gigantic fortress that's been very very rapidly remodeled ha 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 this oh way. my goodness. You gotta put all that money somewhere, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, hmm. Wow. It sure does seem like a fortress, all right, though. You guys, uh, guess our name pays well. Yep. <laughs> it's all you get. <laughs> okay, Sid, hang on a second. She stops. This is business, I understand. I'm, look, man. I'm gonna go talk to her. You do not get to get away with doing that. You owe me a drink. <laughs> he his, his expression softens. Fair. <laughs> okay. I frankly, I feel, I feel awful. Um, <laughs> he he smiles and like. Almost, he punches you in the shoulder, and for a second you <laughs> feel the old Sid come back. Mm -hmm. It's kind of incredible. The, uh, the young girl I used to watch over. Two dates in one night, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'm a little popular now. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta admit, I'm proud. <laughs> Thank you, Sid. I hope you go well. Me too, and I'm sorry about business 
Business is business. It's always business. Every day's business. <laughs> Don't I know it? <laughs> Make it to the top of the stairs. <sighs> okay. And you're starting, it's starting to set in the fucking enormity of this place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> kind of impressive, right? Like we've come this far. Yeah. This man nods to you as you pass by. I've been a few tents. <laughs> much, much better, I guess. You realize you're standing far, far above the armory that you passed over mm. earlier. Yeah. The weapons Ugh. that you got a glimpse of were not. Those aren't the weapons of peacekeepers. Those are weapons of war. Yeah, she kind of looks. You know, I was kind of curious why they'd have a bunch of crazy assholes like you guys running defense here. Worst fit. Worst fit in the entire damn country, if you ask me. Yeah. And that's uh, a bit concerning for someone who's made their home here. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you guys know that. We've done our best to keep clear of you, but it's clear at this point that we need to at least reach out, do something with you. Um, mm. Boss is up ahead. Hey, uh, do me a favor, kid. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Don't break her heart, okay? She thinks, oh, God. Oh. Mm. Okay. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> she steps forward and moves up and places one hand on the door. It pops it open. Grabbing her confidence, she adjusts her glasses and steps on inside. Yep. You see the hey. person. You see the person you've been trying to avoid since you heard of her existence. Sitting on the far side of the table, fully armored despite being indoors, with her big stupid desk. <laughs> May I take a seat? <laughs> she slowly nods. It's a pleasure to see you again, I suppose. Martha Teach. She drums her uh, fingers on the table for a second. Thank you. So, what would you like to talk about? I'm pretty busy with the university right now, as I think you know. Of course. That's actually what I wish to discuss with you. The university. It's, it's come a long way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just in the last day or two. It's yeah. been my responsibility to watch over this town and, as a result, keep measure of its growth. Mm hmm. You seem to be the one growing it. I mean, I'm not really. I'm, I'm just got help. It's, it's all right. <laughs> she shakes her head. I think it's okay to be a little prideful in this moment. Indigo has been stagnant for so long. Frankly, stagnant even before we arrived. Mm. So, yeah. shifting the times along with yourself, I think is something commendable. Thank you. She I do on. appreciate that, that a lot. No. I don't know if Sid said as much, but we've attempted to give you your space on the far side of town. We have attempted to not interfere in your life as a sign of respect. Thank you. I appreciate that, and I hope you're not here to tell me you can't do that anymore. To a certain extent, that is exactly what I'm here to say, but... <sighs> she sits back in the chair. I don't think that has the same connotation that you expect. Uh, what do you mean? Hmm. Sarisa relaxes. This is this is the master of the Calamity Tempest and the most dangerous person in the city bar none. And she she relaxes for a second and uh you can you can feel it. Not not because you can see it, but because part of you and part of her are very very similar in this way. You can feel her smile in the slightest, slightest. <laughs> she she seems pleased. 
Mm. Um, she, uh, she, she leans in again. I'll have you know, you're someone I looked up to greatly. Uh, in geez. fact, I model a significant portion of who I am after the legacy that you left behind. Mm. Yeah, you're wearing the <laughs> title after all. Hmm. <laughs> she uh she looks down at her arm and opens and closes it. It's not a kind thing. Mm hmm The red. She leans in again. That's something that's lumped on people who aren't meant to survive. You wanna know why they call me that? Your red hair? <laughs> no. I wish it was that simple. I can't seem to can't seem to stop taking a wound, no matter how small the fight. Come back covered in my own damn blood. Now, I wanted to say that I look up to the legacy that you left behind. The legacy that you left for the various mercenaries. Legends have value after all, but I wanted to meet the woman that set it all in place. Hmm, I see. I'm um, sorry to disappoint, then. Uh, Quite the contrary. Huh? If you were some thoughtless brute, we would have suppressed you a long time ago. <clears throat> the legend of the Red isn't... It doesn't match the legend of Martha Teach. And for me, I think that's a good thing. There should, yeah. at any given time, only be one red. Well, don't know about that, but I can assure you that there is only one right now, and that's you. <laughs> she seems satisfied by that answer. Excellent. And so long as it's going to continue that way, our happy coexistence can naturally continue as well. Actually, <laughs> I find myself, <laughs> I find myself willing to <sighs> bend a rule that I set ironclad at first. Mm -hmm. No one, no one outside the Tempest should be involved in our business. You either join or you are part of the city. I think you're Tempest enough. <laughs> she leans in. There are ways that this city can be helped that my hands cannot reach. There are things that violence and order cannot resolve within this city. You seem... <laughs> you seem to be invested in the growth of this city. If I ever spot something... Something that we can't intervene in. Perhaps I could send it your way. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm just a university teacher, but I suppose that would be a very generous thing I could give in return for you not keeping your hands out of my pockets, I guess. Hmm. Very well. I'm glad we understand each other. Mm -hmm. And it really was an honor to meet you. Yes. She uh, she kind of sits there for a little bit. <sighs> right. Okay. I. I'm sorry that. I I haven't really. I'm sorry that I don't really have much to add. <laughs> You're already but... adding more than enough. If you were adding the presence of another red, that would be a little too much. Mm hmm Okay. Well, um, she kind of stops for a moment and uh, realizes something. So, if you're really all taken from the legacy, I hope one part would survive. The idea of family being important. 
There is nothing more important to me than the Tempest. There is nothing more important to me than my students. So just uh, be nice to them. And please do not do anything to bring them harm or otherwise. I know some of them can be pretty rough sometimes, but I think that's all I'd ask. Sarisa, Sarisa considers that. Okay. Mm-hmm. If you if you stay clear of mine, I will stay stay clear of yours. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> I'm I'm an old withered pillar at this point. I don't want to put the paint back on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sarisa smiles at that. Very well. Thank you for agreeing to meet with me on what I believe is... She actually pulls out a fucking piece of paper, flips it over. Your scheduled day off. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for uh, being upfront with me, but... Hmm. She kind of thinks a bit. Really no free time to schedule that another day. <laughs> Sarisa shakes her head. I think it was important to establish where we stood. I wouldn't want Jeez. you to, I wouldn't want you to be afraid of the Tempest barging down the door and taking the university. Tr- full transparency, you are saving us a huge amount of work by handling it yourself. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Glad I'm glad I could be of assistance then. She kind of just sits there at that point. Is there anything else? Of course not. Oh. Okay. Mm. No, hold on. There's an old memento of yours down in the armory if you want it. She stops for a moment. Uh, What kind of memento? A weapon that the people around here worship a little too much. I refuse. (laughs) <laughs> she nods very well we'll keep I'll hold have... of it mm-hmm. I'll have no use for it I don't think that was the answer I was hoping to hear Teach kind of goes to the door and uh, kind of reaches and starts to crack it open a little bit and she stops for a moment oh hang on a second um do you have someone who, who confiscates stolen goods? I need to get a phone back. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to Morph about it. He'll, he'll find it. Thank you so much, <laughs> little rascals. <laughs> Teach steps out the door, closes it behind her, and just kind of stands there for a moment. Jeez. Uh, she kind of, yeah, I said. How you holding up, kid? Okay. You're, uh... Listen. You're not the only one who doesn't want to see you go back to the old way. Um, puts a hand on your shoulder. I, uh, haven't been able to say it straight because I'm a bit of a coward, but I'm proud of you. Thank you. I'm proud of this life you've built. (laughs) Thank you. I don't want to... I don't really want to go back either. Uh, glad she likes it. Hmm. I don't think she does. <laughs> oh, really? He walks, he walks forward. That frustrates me more. Mm. I'm going to tell you right now, this isn't anything close to what I wanted to teach anyone. Well, maybe you could be the one to teach her that there's something better. You seem to have found that. He cracks a shitty old grin at you. Really? Fine. (laughs) I'll give it a try. (laughs) I mean, you already seem busy enough. But if anyone could... Mm, Yeah. Sure thing. (laughs) Jay, can I do something in post? Yeah. Absolutely. I would like to attempt to empathize with Sarisa. Yeah. 
No, it makes sense during this moment that you actually got hmm. uh got context from yeah. uh, Sid. No, and I am going roll. to. I'm going to use uh, light for this one again. Third time's the charm, I guess. Oh, boy. Oh Let's boy. see. I got to gotta wait to see. It's not Holy loading up shit. yet. Lagging. Holy shit. Okay, you might win this one. All right. It's, I haven't even seen what she's done yet, so it's still lagging for me. Pa! Oh! <laughs> no! Oh, no, 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 no. It didn't work like that. <laughs> Oh my Give god! Give it Thank another you, roll! Oh, okay, okay. Hey, you guys ever seen a reverse werewolf apartment? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me, uh, it's it's lagging again. Sorry oh, for the, it's, it's like, it's the you build know, up. We it's need the, the build tension. Mm -hmm. Oh, there Holy it is! Holy shit! Give it. God bless you, Siv. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so. Oh boy, you um, you clash and you gain the ability to lock her out of two colors rather than one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What colors are you going to lock her out of? How does she react to that meeting? I want you to tell me. Okay. Not with red. Okay. No and... order. Not with blue. She's going to react with her yellow stat. Okay. Fascinating. So, yes, you automatically, if you clash and win on an empathy roll, you win because you functionally lock them out of two stats. Unless mm -hmm. they have hidden attributes. Mm -hmm. And you know what I am happy to reveal for you right now? What? Sarisa has no hidden attributes. She is nice. 3d6 yeah. like everyone else. And so, I'd yeah. like to uh, claim another thing since I won that light roll. Yes. As um, I kind of go off and try to find that phone with Sid, I kind of like ponder on that a bit. It was my name after all, or at least the old one, Red Tower. Hmm. She sure did like that. She learned from it, but... <laughs> you might be mistaken. That mm -hmm. was something foisted on her. Same as mm -hmm. you. Well... I guess I might teach her how to deal with that. I'd like okay. to declare Theresa as my student. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you do it. <laughs> <laughs> and you feel like you understand her just a little bit better. Because, a lot like Noctua earlier, this is someone who has once carried a burden that you carried. It was so big, it almost broke you. And taking a look at this horrific red fortress, you can see the weight of what she's carrying now. And that is where we're going to cut away from Teach. Nice. That was fun. You did great. Thank you. That was awesome. There is one more scene that we need to do. Before we leave off. And uh Christian for, for suffering, uh you're gonna you're gonna get a treat. Oh <laughs> oh so uh Brennan, I am sorry for taking the reins of your life temporarily if you are still here. Um you Yes, I'm threatening teach in the chat. Yes, you <laughs> are going to have a date today. What? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So but later that later that night, you decide to follow up with someone. Let me... Someone you made a promise with a little while ago. <gasps> Boop. And yeah, you uh it's you walk tough. into this. You walk into this, like, hazy little cafe, nighttime on Hull Street, and, uh, yeah, no, you, uh, you recognize Captain Anset, one of the Tempest Guards. Apparently, someone relieved them of their duty after some big shot arrived at, uh, Tempest HQ. <laughs> 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 uh, that happens. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of annoying, like, if they're gonna call me into work, they might as well have me work, you know? Sit down well, here. 
I'm glad you could meet me on such short notice. I did happen to have an opening in my schedule. <laughs> Post screaming, running away. Yeah, um, hold on, I'll, I'll order for us really quick. They walk away and you you start to like turn over the events of the day. You're, you're processing a lot. You're going to follow up with Girls' Night a little bit later. Um, there's, there's a lot for you to think about, but Beretta Pietro does not miss a date. <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that is out of character. She, uh places her order and sits back down um looked over well i've got some new information for you oh do you yeah um mm, well here's an interesting one uh and set snitches on absolutely everything that just happened in <laughs> <Tempest> <laughs> hq <laughs> is that so <laughs> <laughs> Not what happened in the office, just the fact that Teach came in, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Any idea who she was meeting with? Uh, Sarisa? Probably. Gotta be the boss. Uh huh. Of course she was. <laughs> <laughs> but enough about me. Tell me about yourself. This is this is not a work date. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, me. Oh boy. Um. Well. I think I'm like a lot of people. I was inspired for, by a bunch of tall tales, picked up a sword, and started swinging it around. You know the legend of Hideo Fumikaze? Oh, <laughs> yes, I'm familiar. <laughs> <laughs> oh. My father used to tell me all the time these stories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. You know, I I've just... met him, actually. What? Really? <laughs> yeah, a long time ago when I was a kid. Oh my god, in the flesh? That's that's unbelievable. People did he turn into a bird? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want to ruin legends for you. Okay, okay. Sorry, I got I got really you met my childhood hero. That's kind of incredible. <laughs> no. I just just really wanted to be a swordsman, you know? Like like the the kind that would never ever lose, that could bring justice and do all that cool stuff you you they get like they started pissed off but uh like the more they get into this the more fired up they get um wait uh hold on a second i'm gonna hold on i'm gonna take this stupid armor off give me a sec to change <laughs> oh, nice yeah uh, walk to the bathroom pretty much um and uh right around then to Tempest grunts, wander in, sit down, and begin conversing extremely loudly. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. You can hear you can hear the barista getting a little pissed off at the, the <laughs> amount of noise. Oh boy. Um and oh boy. uh <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, it's some real bullshit. Like, they drag us mercenaries out here and we don't even got anyone to fight. Door cracks open. Somebody walks back in. Aww. Aww. Having taken their armor off, they kind of wander over. Big, big, like, I don't know. She's like, yeah, she she walks over, looks at you. Hey, uh, yeah, I got finally got the tin can off. Yeah, I'm sure it must be stuffy and every day, except for that strange snowstorm that happened a couple of days ago. <laughs> that was weird. You know anything about that? I do not. Very uncharacteristic of the weather for this time of year. <laughs> weird, weird, weird. This city's so damn strange. Um, you guys, you guys sit and you wait for your drinks for a little bit, and the noise over in the corner gets louder and louder. Until finally, hey, what the fuck? Where's their service? And you feel um you feel a presence touch down behind you, Beretta. Uh, oh. something is something is placed on the counter. And uh, you hear uh, your flat white mist. <gasps> I, I probably like the, uh, the pattern. Uh, you notice there's a little revolver engraved and like, just like milk on it. <laughs> wow, this is lovely. I, I can't believe I haven't been here before. <laughs> I take, I take my time to very carefully craft it up. 
Oh, goodness. I have high profile people in here today. Thank you for gracing my establishment. <laughs> no, thank you. You seem oddly familiar as though we know each other from a past life. <laughs> really? Huh. I don't hold the same thing, but I mean, I'm bad with that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, sorry, there's some people yelling at me right now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what, what the like? hell's with the service in this place? Time taken for every dish, you'll enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, okay. They both they both sit da- back down and relax. This Beretta, you look across at one of the local legends. This is Sun Jaba. He's a wandering swordsman. He's been around the world and apparently come to rest. At a place where he can simply brew a nice <laughs> cup of coffee. <laughs> I just want to make coffee. <laughs> <laughs> but we aren't done quite yet. There's one last little thing. Oh boy. <sighs> Somewhere. Somewhere else. Deep, deep within the earth something struggles against its bindings and it says dynamic lighting and we'll take a second to load okay here we go <laughs> don't like that <laughs> one of these creatures worms its way up against the roof sort of Oh, is uh, is it black for everybody? Yeah, no, yeah. Okay. Should be able. To, oh, nope, it's black for the stream too. There we go. You guys get to see him temporarily. Something worms against the ceiling. Still can't see. Oh. There we go. <gasps> oh boy! <laughs> it it struggles trying to sort of wriggle its way through the earth, but something pushes it back. It's unable to leave this place, at least right now. Then a sword sticks into its back and strikes it to the ground, where it scatters, almost dissipating into little bits of flame and ash. No, no, not now. The city has earned a break from you. He takes a step forwards. Of course, my work is just getting started. He draws his sword. And attempts to do battle with something massive. And with that, we will call this session to a close. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Session done. Hey, Thank you, everybody, fantastic. for staying up. Oh, no, that was worth it. That was a great session. <laughs> nice interlude. Yes. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> you enjoy the downtime session? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very much so. <laughs> Fantastic! So it's late. We've got fan art. Let's do it. Let's yeah. do it. Absolutely. Can I stop streaming to you? Yes. Yes. Thank Bye you so YouTube. much. Bye. Bye YouTube. Thank you so much. Yeah. See you no YouTube. Time. Thank you. Bye. You gotta click the button on your end. I did. Okay. Okay, Thank you guys you, be able Vern. to see my you view now? No, no. Yeah. It's burning for early for I you, see I it. Yeah, I see it. Okay. All right, let's quickly go through fan arcs. We got a pretty good chunk of it. Okay. Cool. So, first up, from Kari Space Queen, we have yo, the sailor. Yo. Oh my gosh. Yo, 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 yo. Holy shit. Oh, oh yeah. A, a, street, a screen out of Thunderbolt Fantasy. That's rad stuff. <laughs> That's yeah. so goddamn yeah. cool. And from Lester 2020, we got a few. We have... Hey, Blood hey hello. I just hey. want to... I'm there, here Amy. for a second. I just want to say, whoa, that fucking sellout. Okay, bye. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, we got the uh, Floodlights by Lester 2020. Oh, oh my yes. Also, the whole gang. By Lester 2020, we have Beretta with her transforming gun bots, Megatron and Galvatron. Soon. <laughs> Soon. Holy <laughs> shit. Hold on, uh, I gotta I gotta find the Imgur really quick. I gotta I gotta join up with you guys. I'm Keep streaming going. it to the channel. Oh bless you. Oh uh, my god, bless you. Yeah, and then also from Lester 2020. Oh Lionel Johnson. 
<laughs> for a lion. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then we have a big old Discord delivery from Three. Simon Says <laughs> I'm in the outcast. <laughs> sneak it out there. Uh, Check so, it out on the Discord. Yeah, go and do that. And then from Chad. <laughs> bathroom cachants. That's how she subsisted uh, over the last week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and from Jasper. I love her expression. I live here now. <laughs> then. Uh, from Sour Badger, we have a late for school with I'm late for my wizard awakening. <laughs> Who is it? All right, then from Devotedly Star, we have... Ooh, bathroom croissant. Bathroom croissant. Oh, I'm so glad that croissant is getting the recognition as a character that it deserves. <laughs> Finally, after all this time. Then, from Monster 2020, we have a missing popular on a milk carton. Oh boy, yeah, no. <laughs> Atreus internal monologue, if only. And we have a <laughs> and the wizard man. Of course. How <laughs> mysterious. And from Monichi, we have this. <laughs> so sometimes at night I'm in a gang. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god. And from B. Croissant. 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 I so love important. it. Then, from Tiny Electric Gremlin, we have a Teach. Teach. Mom. Teach. Mom. Mom. She had a day. Yeah, she, she had a day. day. From but she got the date, so it's okay. No. Oh, I love it. The cowboy hat looks like a red mage hat. Red mage, yeah. 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 Right. yeah. Thank you very much, Sammy Simo. And from Drake Sore, we have the spread of Stanji. <laughs> the gazebo. The destructive power and durability is insane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Elephant potential. <laughs> And from Drax. <laughs> no! I technically no. appeared in this episode, so I get art. <laughs> Help, please. And from Chad, we have Moth Goinkers. Oh, oh. So Sim, Sim deployed the good Moth War, and I'm like, oh, thank you for the moth. sad part of moth. the like, It's such a good lore. From Jasper, we have oh. Cassius and Dodge. They're tired. Vulcan Arm Boys. God. Uh, get some rest, you idiots. And from <laughs> number one Atticus Dragon fans. Smitten! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you nice. just did that. Beretta's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> she really wields it. <laughs> yeah. And from Chad. <laughs> oh, his, little, his little face. Yeah. And then, then from Devotedly Star. I'll come <laughs> back for you! <laughs> the fucking boys getting grounded. <laughs> and from Divergent. The most powerful gun is the finger gun. Yeah, the horn! Then from Chad. Uh, Wood Feral Teach. I love the expression on this one. Oh, holy shit. Yeah, yeah, you did. That's rough, buddy. From Manichi. <laughs> I need you to rest, Cassie. <laughs> oh my god, every part of this is perfect. Oh, uh, yeah. And from B. I'm just doing my best. Oh, no. Oh. Hey. Loser duck. From round. Don't worry, she's going to be sad when she gets grilled. <laughs> uh, round, Go back yeah. to bed. From me. I thought I he like was flipping that. her off. Uh, yeah. Fuck like, you, like, old lady. I was like, like Cassius got hairy legs here. Yeah. I love that. I also, like, she's got white pants. She looks like she's Kiryu in that shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and from number one, Akis Dragon fans. Oh, Killing I said that. <laughs> that. <laughs> you did uh, that. Uh, I got so close yeah. to giving you another wound. From I know. So I'm close. so happy it didn't get that happening. You good, good use of no, 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 it didn't happen like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> From Divergent. Ye <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> Look at the guns. Yeah. What I like about this when I first what saw What is that, this, a gazebo weekly? <laughs> yeah. When I, when I first saw this, I thought it was like a giant poofy dress made out of hats. <laughs> the <That's laughs> ultimate dress. form. <laughs> Tiffany and I. And from Sour Badger. <gasps> My boy! <gasps> boy. Oh, oh, I love you. Yeah. I've been sent here to help with fire! Really? <laughs> from Ultra Perp Stinks. Small. 
Smog tour. Smog tour. <laughs> and from Chad, this is a <laughs> piece of carbon interface fan art, actually, and also this is uh, sad yeah. boy Cassius. Oh well. my heart. Two one-eyed sad, sad one -eyed boys. boys. <laughs> yeah. So oh done. my heart. Then from <gasps> Good God. Ah, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I love the that. Boots are uh, fresh. They are. Oh, I love that the flash and the yeah. dual jellyfish. And from Chad, we got <gasps> Galford. Yeah! Oh, he's so pretty! You got oh, the tired expression! Tired! Then from Ultra Perv Stink. I've never met my good friend Bijou in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> he has it. He wasn't lying. <laughs> then from Assassin Whale. Aww. You're doing great. Keep it up! Oh. Thank yeah. you, Gallif. We all need that. Right well. <laughs> we all need that right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> it ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> then from drags. <laughs> Rest two. <laughs> God, Dodge tried. Oh, he did. I, I appreciate him. <laughs> Is she gone? <laughs> And from Lester 2020. Time to roast this man! <laughs> <laughs> and from Divergent. Oh no! no! Oh no! Oh, that one has Screaming. high feelings. Oh no. Uh oh. And then from uh, Divergent as well. Part two. Oh God, I dropped my glasses and spilled my juice. <laughs> Shot and chaser, fucking. Oh, that was wonderful. Wow. Oh, my God. That's exactly oh, how it shit. happened. It, that that is so stop. good. And from round. Oh. To the draw. Uh -huh. <laughs> and from Chad. <laughs> the you can was knock to a vision. The fucking <laughs> Dorito chin. I love it. Oh hey, Nocti. Like one of Sparkle your mango SFX. girls. From Chad. Scotch. <laughs> I'd like to believe those are sequential. From um, one oh, Dragon's oh, fam. So good. Oh, th this one's great. Maybe the world is blind or just a little unkind. Don't know. Seems you can't be sure of anything anymore. Although... You may be lonely, and then one day you're smiling again. Oh, That's, thanks for Punky uh, Brewster. Thank you for Punky Brewster. <laughs> then from Lester 2020, we got an Alcott with a sneaky peach in the background. <laughs> Getting ready to fucking sink the submarine. Taking that floaty. Hey, sorry. Hey, sorry. I came back again to cry. Uh, Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, then from Jasper. I can make bones. <laughs> <laughs> She's my favorite Naruto character. Oh no! <laughs> From the middle, we have Scotch. Scotch. She drank. And she From can Sour Badger. Oh, no! It's like a My Little Pony. Beautiful. Then from Monichi. Don't worry, I'll keep it light. Pour some <laughs> 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 so, so I will say I did have the bullets time up. That if I wasn't already S rank from before, I would have been after that. <laughs> <laughs> and from smile, we because that was concerning. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking cool. Oh yes, that's excellent. And then from MSB snaps. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the wedding suit. Oh, yeah. Ultra, she looks so confused. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, precious, the guns and the slugs and the burgers. <laughs> then from Tiny Letter Gremlin. <laughs> and I said I have nothing against Miss Alcott. You know, like a liar. <laughs> <laughs> and then from Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Cold. And then cool. from Chad. Mom, she did the teach. She got so mad that you called her fucking yeah. Selim's mom. Man, and then uh, from Agent Jable. 
Illman less than a month ago. Orbis, you will not have him! Chat tonight. Illman, you will not have her! <laughs> uh, oh, boy. And from Monichi. <laughs> you know I used to dislike you. Yeah, me too. So, shall we get married? Yes, let's. <laughs> Oh, man. That scene, I, that exchange yeah. was, oh, I sure. think, my favorite. <laughs> yeah, that was. Very real. Very real. Very real. Very real. Very cool. Very cool. And from middle. Yeah. Oh, oh, my wedding, wedding gun. Yes. Oh, man. And from Spacey oh, Chase. Oh, oh holy oh, shit! Oh, the baby, oh, baby girl. girl! The 27 year old baby! It's <laughs> fine. My daughter! It's fine. Not this 27? From, oh yeah, no! Oh, the trash. Oh, oh, hey, Pain! Oh no! Hey! Hey, Pain! Hey! Oh. Pain! Thank you, we really then like from it. From the heart, we have oh, a few. Oh yeah, uh, no. Oh, yes. Yes. I love her so much. There she is! Yeah. Yes. And then She's from great. Agent J Wall, we have a we have a slowly approaching male girl. She will be in eventually. Male girl arrives sooner than thought. Male girl is approaching at alarming speeds. Male girl is going so fast, losing track of male girl. Male girl has reached Mach one. We have lost visual on the male girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. Moving too fast. Can't even spend time in the plot. <laughs> Creepy <laughs> chat. Oh. Green girls getting married this session. <laughs> It's happening. MSB snaps. <laughs> box. Box. All box. Box. Loud box. snoring. From MSB snaps. Oh. Oh. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Sure. <laughs> and from Yasper. Oh. Oh. Now that's yeah. sweet. Look and from again. MSB snaps. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm no. making this seriously. The upside down oh. heart. From Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, there man. it is. more <laughs> homeroom <laughs> uh, Homeroom means welcome. <laughs> no. <laughs> this, is, this is homeroom next week. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. From MSB snaps. Aww. Aww. Yeah, I love these expressions right here. Yeah, I, well, I was so I was so honestly surprised by that. <laughs> 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 Chad. Oh, no. Everybody hates Jeringway. <laughs> Married like and inspired by Chris Rock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried that it's the final season. That doesn't bode well for me. Let me just quickly refresh. Holy shit. Oh, it's oh, more beast. I'm crying. Do you do you Ooh. Oh my heart! My heart, it is there. full. Almost there. Okay. <gasps> Fantastic! Uh, it's oh. just Yeah, damn. Just a handshake. Just yeah. a handshake. Oh, yeah. For the last oh, time, we see each other. <laughs> if Christian, by the, just for the record, if you expect Sarisa to show up in your fucking homeroom, that is not oh, happening. Fuck no, <laughs> fuck not. Just so I you know. I didn't fucking invite her to my homeroom. We will find out. We will find out if people die at Indigo if that happens. We call this uh, private tutoring. Yeah. Ah, yes, of I can't course. Wait for I can't experience with that. Every faction leader to come sit in her homeroom. <sighs> see, I you see, the loophole is, is that Peach can't have Cerise in her homeroom. Doesn't mean Cerise can't have a desk just outside the door. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She <laughs> <laughs> couldn't fit in the door. She's sitting on well, the windowsill just... outside like a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we just go for more walks outside and just bump into Cerise outside. It's easy. Mm. It's easy. Hey, Cerise, want to chill out with our homeroom? Oh, look, what's no. this? That's okay, good. bye. <laughs> okay. Out here in the park. So, great session, everyone. If you want more content, go subscribe to the Patreon at $9. It's like a few more scenes that took place over the course of this day and other days. Yep. Go check them out. Go check out the Windrose Patreon. Go check out the Discord. Fucking let's go to bed. Oh, uh, good, good night, night, chat. Thank you so much. Good night, everybody. Good night, good night. Good night chat.